so today, this on this this Saturday, we're here early today, so that's good. Part one completed of what my plan was. There's going to be another day with Horizon. Um, there may be, I'm either going to do one big stretch of a stream today of this game, or potentially I break it up and maybe I break for a bit to eat like later on in like six hours or so. Or maybe I just throw up a BRB screen and just eat something quickly. I don't know. Maybe we switch to a game if I get bored of Horizon after like six or seven hours. That's a possibility. But really, the intention is to play a lot of this game, to try to complete as much of this game. Because next week, technically on Tuesday, Final Fantasy Stranger Paradise comes out. And I do want to play that. I think I've decided I do want to play it. I do want to play it on stream. But I don't want to start it until I'm like done with Horizon Forbidden West. Like, I don't want to play both of those at the same time. So, in a perfect world, I finish this game before the game comes out. But, if the game, if Stranger Paradise comes out Tuesday, and I'm not done with Horizon Forbidden West, I'm not going to rush through Horizon Forbidden West just to play Stranger Paradise. And we'll wait till next weekend or so to start it. That's basically what I'm looking at here. So, just as a heads up, that's plan let me get this up here so that's gonna be our saturday though maybe i get bored of playing more than six or seven hours of this game at once and we switch you know maybe later tonight to something else but my intention right now is to play this for a, a bit today this is this is the saturday stream basically auto save manual save we'll see how i can do We'll see how I can hold up. Um, also, I realized uh, last, since the last time we played this, I this is really going into the weeds, but I was like, where's the other... I was like, where's the other fucking little board game person for beginner level? And I technically... I think I've beaten all three. And so I was holding off and doing the manual just because I was like, I want to do the three beginners first. Um, but I'm a fucking idiot and I re-looked at my map because I was like, I literally, I ended the stream last time we played this and then I was zoomed around the map and I was like, where is, where are the fucking three people <laughs> for this game, for this board game thing? And I think I found all three. I really scanned. Let me see if I can actually find them. It was one beginner. It was, I got to look for basically the settlements because those were where they are at. Now I'm not going to be able to find them. Now it's going to sound like I'm nuts. Was it here? Um, is it here? No. There's two. What was it up here? And then three. There we go. So one, Machine Strike Beginner. Machine Strike Beginner. I think this was the one I wasn't finding. It was tucked away. I did do the Dum Dum. That is wholly accurate and a good... And there's three. So really, I was running into all these intermediate players like here. And I was like, wait, I don't want to do the intermediate until I do the three beginners. And this whole time, I've been fucking around. So I may go back and do the intermediates once we get this thing done. Let me test around audio. Let me shoot a bow and see where the audio's at. Uh, I could probably stand to be a little turned up. Oh, you're talking about the YouTube video? Oh, what do you mean? Did I do something wrong or are you saying you're just watching it? Because now you're scaring me. You're making me think like I did. Dun, 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 dun. Doo, 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 doo. Now I have now I'll have Africa stuck in my head the whole way we play today. Oh, but I'm a rebel, you see. I don't listen to the man. I did consider it, but the thing is, well, it was two things, right? Um, 
I already had, I mean, this isn't a spoiler by any way, but like, I are, I make thumbnails in advance, you know, so I already had the whatever, and I kind of wanted to just get the video up. I could have thrown together a new thing, but also like, so I could have done it, right? But then I'm also like, I have like, I have a strict, I have a strict policy about I mean, I, I joke when I say it, but a strict policy um, that uh, I want my series, if someone was to just run across the series, I kind of want it to be, for lack of a better term, mysterious. Not mysterious. What's the term I'm looking for? I want people to go in as, if they're watching the game for the first time, as blind as me. Whether if they were to come across a thumbnail as like a suggested video or if they were watching along the series the whole time. So I kind of just wanted to unify it as like a one thing. Of course, then exceptions are made. Like when I did like obviously Undertale, like I kind of broke that up because that w that to me seemed justified. So that was kind of my thinking. Good, you've returned. The chief is in his throne room. Oh my god, she's giving me attitude. The visions on the way. <clears throat> she's giving me attitude because I left to go save at the campfire. She yelled at me when I left. And now she's like, oh, good. You came back. Does the game feel weirdly quiet? Let me see. Or is it just for me? Who can say? Once they start talking, it'll be easier. Like, once I'm in a conversation, it'll be easier to judge, but... Okay, I think what I did was I... I've done all the things. I went to all the monument glit or video things. Video screens, whatever you want to call them. And I think I just have to talk to... What is it? The leader? The chieftain? The man? What is that? Is that a thing? Okay, here we go. Hall of Heroes. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes. This room is dedicated to the memories of Roberto Medina, who financed and led the campaign against the federal government and suite of General Synthetic's battle drums. <coughs> There's something stuck in my throat. Uh, Colonel Edward de la Hoya. Commander of JTF-10, the brilliant strategist and veteran soldier who held off numerically superior federal forces. Uh, Colonel Anne Faraday, the legendary order who oversaw early reconciliation efforts. And all those who lost their lives during the campaign and at the Battle of the Mojave. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? Oh, dude, I couldn't be more ready. I'm ready. Good. Come. I could not be more ready. Is it going to be a big buff dude? Why is it looking like it's going to be some weird reveal? Is it going to be a mystery? Mystery man? It's underneath the throne. Oh, she she needs to get in there. She's like, fuck this guy. Oh, he's I'm missing an arm. Soon, the savior of Meridian. Oh, that's someone else. Okay. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. I did. I did. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior and a man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. I like his face things. You are here, to pledge your service. That could help considerably. 
I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. <laughs> He's like, shut up. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With Great. my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. Always strings attached. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives more than you can count. I count the corpses of Marshal slain. I count hundreds more Tanaka, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too. If you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now? And taking what I need to save everyone. Okay. You silly person, Aloy. You try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Route. I've sent out a call for the competition. Since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. I like his cape. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clan. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the Cool Route. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Takote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit. Do whatever is necessary. <laughs> I can't hold the cool group with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Cathala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. Yes, let me ask you everything. Uh... I'm sorry about Fashav. He seemed like a good man. More than a man. A bridge between Tanakh and Karja. No outlander ever earned our respect as he did. I had hoped he would be my voice in Meridian. That peace with the Karja might become something more. An alliance? An exchange. The Karja have much we lack. Our deeds are written in ink upon our bodies. Our memories die with our flesh. But the Karja never forget. Their deeds are written in book and scroll. You wanted to learn from them. As I learned from Pashar. We wanted to learn how to you use scrolls. Witness. What exactly is the cool route? Where once the clans fought each <clears throat> other, now we fight as one against the machines. That is my law made manifest in the cool route. Each clan must send contestants whenever I call for the ritual. These contestants face trial by combat against machines in an arena just beyond these walls. Those who distinguish themselves become marshals who bind the tribe together as peacekeepers. You called them peacekeepers, but the marshals I met at the embassy were warriors. Warriors, yes, but more. They renounce the clan that birthed them and pledge themselves to order and peace. They enforce my law. They settle disputes and stand for Tanakh in parlay with other tribes. Without them, I cannot rule. Which is why you must ensure the next cool route takes place. Fashav called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. <laughs> really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals. 
the point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. After we turned back the red raids and tore down the battlements of barren light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not see the cost of such a war, nor the benefits of peace after the Mad Sun King fell. When I accepted Avad's entreaties, she went mad, called me traitor, challenged me before the marshals. What did you do when Regala challenged you? If you were to knock, you would know that such a challenge cannot be refused. It was not easy to subdue her. I bear seven scars from that fight. Seven. The other marshals wanted me to execute her on the spot, but I found I could not sever the bond between us. Her loyalty had been as boundless as her rage, so I spared her. Rather than mercy, she took it as a humiliation. Mm, one she okay. will never be free from. So she's just pissed. She's just like... just a temper person so regala wants you dead she does but that will not be enough she won't rest until all three clans fall in behind her as she marches on meridian who knows with machines under her control perhaps she can raise it to the ground it's been tried before so i hear <laughs> uh, why won't the sky clan send contestants to the cool route of the three clans, they have the most defensible base, protected by a mighty wall called the Bull War. Oh, they think they're so good. The commander believes he can wait out the war between Regala's forces and my own, safe behind his barrier. Staying strong, while you and Regala weaken each other. You think like a seasoned marshal. Good. Why send me to deal with the Sky Clan? All to not respect strength. And you drove Regala because I've heard all you do is chores yeah, for other people. Marshals are dead. Correct. What about Might as well Tala. send you. Can't he do it by himself? He is maimed. They will no longer respect him. That hardly seems fair. What is fair about losing an arm? Whether they respect him or not, Catalo still has worth. He knows the Sky Clan. He was raised in their base. He will guide you well. You said you saw what's in the basement? I did. On the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years. Killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor. Or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Gaia dies, and Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter, and suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old ones spoke, and what they said changed everything. What did the Old Ones say to you in this new vision? The one called Faraday foretold the growing danger of the machines and said we must unify to stop them. She called for marshals to enforce the peace. Then the vision faded, never to be seen again. I marked the spot where it shone with my spear and I took Faraday's words to heart. Renounced war between the clans trained warriors to fight machines, ordained marshals through the cool route. Since then, the tribe has been at peace until Regala attacked at Baron Light. And the chamber beneath the throne, you went in after the vision? I did. Inside is an ancient device. It hums with power. You will see it for yourself after the cool route. This I swear. Oh, I better. I'll do what you want. And go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised. If you succeed. Speak to Deco on your way out. She will arm you for the road. Oh. Ahead. New weapons, please? New armor? 
new something? Oh, I, was, I thought I was going to be able to go here and then it'd be like a, a giant thing that I can do. Unfortunate. Carl said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the what way. What did she just hand me? And our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Machines and rebels. Nothing I haven't faced before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. Strike true. Cleaving sharpshoot bow. Tear precision arrows are now available for one of your sharpshoot shot bows. Sharp, sharp shot. Sharp shot. These powerful arrows deal tear high tear damage with a compressed air blast. Use them to remove armor plates from tough opponents or detach useful components. Yeah, buddy. Let's take a look at it. And we got some character boss to check out as well. Okay. Uh, let me clear this from the resources tab. We got some things there. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So, I would imagine this is going to... I'm going to replace this sharp shot bow I have for this. Because it looks as if, now that it has this ammo, it already does more piercing damage with its regular bows. I think this is critical hit chance. I'll lose that 5%, but 25% draw speed is really good for these types of arrows, I'd imagine. That's nice perk. It's a Noth trophy taken from Awesome Trespasser. This handy long range bow uses powerful tear precision arrows to remove armor and machine parts. Yeah. Plus, having something that can easily get rid of pieces, like dismantle pieces, component tear perk, overdraw damage. Yeah. An easy choice, you could say. Um, it's replacing... Oh, wait. Did I do that wrong? No, no, no. This was Q's shop, sharp shoot, shot bow. The one I got from that one mission. So that's unfortunate. This was a cool weapon for the whole... Um, that mission that we did. <laughs> Remember that mission? Uh, but I think... Um, yeah. Does it already have a coil? Let me edit. Yeah, it does. An open slot. Tear damage up. Hmm. Overdraw damage. Interesting. Critical hit chance. Knockdown. I don't know if that's actually going to help. Reload speed. Interesting. Reload speed. What's the difference between reload speed and then draw speed? Well, obviously. I mean, we kind of know. I mean, I, I guess it makes a bit of sense. Let's go. Honestly, let's just increase tear damage. It's not much. It's 6%. But, like. Or do I want critical hit? Let's do critical hit. I'm choosing to have the. We'll upgrade. We'll be able to upgrade the weapon once we get to a, a thing as well. Where is this place? Oh my god, it is up. We go up. Oh, we only have three arrows in that, and then eight arrows here. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna need. I'm gonna want to really upgrade these. Um. If I'm gonna get ether, guess I'll have to play along with Akaro. I better meet up with Marshal Catalo at Stonecrest. Let's clear these. Be faster if I ride a machine. Question mark and okay, there's actually gonna be a couple things before we probably go up there. Speaking of overriding machines, as she said, let's go. Let's go. Isn't there a fucking? 
let's go do this cauldron you know let's go do this cauldron let's go find the intermediate machine strike or whatever the game is called let's go clear out some of this other stuff we've got a long day ahead of us we can be doing things you know what is this question mark leading to where is this is it really like oh it's oh it's a thing up here i see oh i have to like get up there somehow it's probably like a black box or something right A black box or something inside of the that downed plane. I'll put these in my pack. Also, I need a lot of medicinal berries. We need to restock. So this is good. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. The memorial grove. Okay, I imagine I can climb this somehow. Get up here somehow. Boom, 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 ba -da boom. Or just go up this hill. Like Skyrim this right now? Is that what I'm gonna do? Oh, it's working. There might have been a better way up here, but... Why fix what's not broken, you know? I'm sweating everywhere. Oh no, she's sweating. Okay, I see it. So we gotta get like around here. Hoi, 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 hoi. Aha. 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 How much do I get in? Is this? Oh, okay. How do how was how was one supposed to get in here originally? I don't know. Am I doing this right? I mean this is this is a weird area. This I don't think is actually it. Awkward. Well you could probably climb through that. How how does one access? Is it through the front? I'm looking for a hole. I'm looking for an entry of some sort. I could reach the wing. I might be able to use that to get in. The wing? This wing or the other side wing? Probably the other side wing because I'm looking and this doesn't look to be... Oh, well. Oh, here we go. You could have used... There's like a thing here. I'm looking underneath. I don't think it's probably other side then. Oh, there's another one. Let me try the other side just real quick. Clearly I'm not seeing it. Let me see this side. <laughs> I'm going to spend an hour walking around this thing being like, where the fuck? Like, I'm determined to find this. Where's my entry point? I mean, I can go down now, now that I know I can jump, right? So if I was the game, right? You zip up. And we go, yeah, yeah, I'm checking this out. Is it a wing like up here? Is this considered a wing? This is like a tail. <laughs> no, no, don't fall. Ooh. <laughs> Close to killing me. So that's fun. Used up some good berries. Hmm. 
I'm trying not to fall again because I know that's going to be a bad time. Is this? Where's the exit? Here's the hatch, right? Clear. What is this? Hatch. Campfire. Where's that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's campfire. What is this? Grapple point. Okay. How do I get in here? I mean, fucking in. I need to get inside. There's a flight recording nearby. I could add it to the collection at the Grove. Yes. Brilliant, Aloy. Now, can you figure out how to get in? Drop. I mean, can I... There's a resource box. Oh, is that a thing? Is holding up. Hong Kong. Oh my God! Did I find it? Oh, 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 oh! There it is. There you are. There's the hole. There's the thing. Oh my God! I'm so dumb. Why didn't I look back here? Come on, Skyrim up the fucking mountain. Yo, 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 yo! Come on, Aloy. Oh shit. Oh fuck. It's close, but not close enough for me to be able to get. Can I, let me see if I can do something. Can I like get up here and then like parasail kind of thing? Can I get like a running start and... I don't think you can go from parasailing to grapple like that. All right, new plan. Put the mountain. Up the side of this. Wow, how did I not see this before? My goodness. That's upsetting. That is truly upsetting. And it's so obvious, too. Nice. I forget. Can I listen to these things? This is Romeo yeah. requesting status update. Flight 41, you need to adjust your course to avoid the swarm. Can you respond? Over. Flight 41, please acknowledge. My sensors are showing their cabin to <coughs> Great. All right, so we got that. Let's read these character bios. Hikaru. For centuries, the three Tanakh clans fought for control of the Memorial Grove, the tribe's holiest site. None could hold it, and countless contenders perished in the attempt. Then came Hikaru, the most fearsome warrior the tribe had ever known. Killing all who stood in his way, he seized the grove in the name of his native lowland clan. But on that day, he saw a vision that no other Tanakh had ever beheld, one that called for unity instead of war taking this message to heart. He changed his ways, uniting the clans under one banner and appointing marshals to keep the peace. He has ruled the tribe ever since, trying to guide it towards a peaceful future. His efforts have even included overtures to the Karja, a hated adversary, in hopes of staving off another war like the Red Raids. Many in the tribe admire strength and foresight, but others like Regala curse him for betraying their warlike spirit. And Kotalu, the one-armed person, uh, raised by the Tanakh Sky Clan inside the impregnable bulwark, Katalo 
As a stoic and imposing warrior, as a young soldier, he fought valiantly at the Kohl Root and renounced his clan to become a marshal, one who serves the Tanakh chief, Hikaru, as a roving peacekeeper. As one of the chief's most trusted confidants, Kotalo took pride in his role. Using his influence to sidestep political machinations, he brought representatives from the Sky Clan to the Karja Embassy at Baron Light in direct defiance of the clan commander's orders. It was at this embassy that Katalo and Aloy fought off the traitor Gala and her rebel forces, but not before he suffered an injury that deprived him of one of his arms. In a culture where physical prowess is valued above all else, he's seen as by many as a broken man. But that won't stop him from fulfilling his duties as marshal any way he can. Nice. Alright, we got another black box. Do I just immediately go take it and return this it? Is Romeo requesting status update? Oh, now it's playing. Didn't mean to do that. Whatever happened to the people on that plane? They weren't there to respond. I'm right near here. My focus has detected another flight recorder. Wait, there's another one right near here? Or is that a bad line? I think that might be a mistake. I'll go turn it in since I'm like right here. I have two songs stuck in my head now. I have Africa by Toto and I have You Ought to Know by Alanis Morissette because that was playing while I was in the shower a little bit ago. Are you the only one listening to these voices? Oh, no. The others who captured the Osaram Delver heard the voices from these ancient warriors, too. They spread the word, and now a lot of people are talking about them. <laughs> Soldiers are interested in old battles. I have more voices for you to preserve. You honor the fallen. Alright, like I said, it's probably just best I take the legendary stuff first. I don't see any reason not to, basically. Storm Cannon. Thank you. There is so much we still have to learn about this war. Every voice you bring helps me to understand more. Oh, I'll bring them. Oh, I'll bring them. you find what you want from these recordings. Oh, I'll bring them. Okay, so like I said, before we go up here, I wouldn't mind doing some side stuff. I'm upset I still can't do this, this tall neck for some reason. Um, but let's like, let's do a cauldron, you know, let's have some fun. Let's go do whatever this is. There's this whole little fogged up area I never went to. Some unknown campfires. Yeah. And then we can like do some machine strike. <laughs> Those are always fun. Maybe I can head back here and maybe I'm strong enough to do these. The stealth strikes in one move, because that's pretty pivotal, right? The thing is, I can I can fast travel to that this campfire, kind of get right in there, right? I'm gonna get right in there. Cauldrons. There we go. We'll get three skill points. We'll get a nice exp boost. Find a C. It will be our first cauldron, basically, right? This is our first. Um, I assume I'll be able to override new machines which i think i think could actually be pretty good once i can override more machines i think stealthing in to like an encounter overriding a machine and then having it like basically just fight alongside me potentially i think is gonna be good i'm gonna be good for us <laughs> i think it'll be good for us all right let's go find where's that campfire out of here doo doo do -do 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 -do. Basically, it's just the baseline to you ought to know. That's really stuck in my head, if I'm going to be 100% honest. Do -do 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 if you don't know, it's Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers uh, does the uh, baseline there. 
was brought in to do the bass line to that song. That's why it's so fucking funky, dude. Da -da, da -da, do -do -do -da, da -da. Mm-mm. 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 Ah, yes. Oh, hello. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That's cool. I was trying to stalk. Oop. I thought I could notch multiple arrows, but I, that's like back in the base game. Or the first game. That's my bad. I'll keep some extra on hand. All right, I'm gonna stock up medicinal berries because I might need that for the cauldron. I don't. I wonder if the cauldrons are gonna remain basically the same from like that first game. I'd be curious. I do be curious. What is gonna be that? What is that unknown mark? Might as well get this marked on here, right? <clears throat> Is it just two of these fellas? Could I take this? I can take these guys. I can override one of them, right? Because I don't have a current mount, I don't think. I don't. This will be simple. Do -do -do -do. Oh, it's three. Oh, there's like... Oh, one is like stuck in that one. Look at that. Don't worry, you don't see me. Yeah, those two are like... St look, they're like stuck. They look suck stuck. Oh, I could have overridden it, but it was... Oh, it's not gonna work. This isn't gonna work. They're searching for me. <sighs> Go away. Turn around. Here we go. Easy. He's mine now. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna, oh, oh, they're fighting. Oh, well, he's running away. But thank you. My friend helped. Uh, he's now just like, he's like, how did you, how could you portray us, Thomas? I like to think that the one I just got was named Thomas. What a miss. Okay, it's fine. I mean, do I really want to... Where is this? Where is this point on the map? Across this little bridge. Maybe it'll be something interesting. Maybe I won't be able to get to it because it's like in the mountains. I do be in the mountains. Oh, we're in the bushes. It's working. Don't worry. We'll climb if I must. Oh, Jesus. I'm, like, lost in here. Oh, it's something. Oh, is it Fire Gleam? Is that what it's called? It is Fire Gleam. We'll get some resources. That's fine by me. It was easy to get here. I say very much worth it. All right, to the cauldron. Our first cauldron, man. Oh, fuck. Enemies. We're not trying to just get over a away from them. I don't want to deal with it, honestly. It's the hoppy fellas. It looks like hoppy fellas and maybe some more things. Am I going to have to go in there? 
Is the cold is that the cauldron right there? Leap slasher? Have I not scanned this before? Oh, is it because it's a fire canister leap slasher? Is it? Oh, yeah. I see. Apex, acid, fire. All right, we may have to fight because. Hard water ammo should do the trick. Oh boy. Okay. Can I stealth kill at least one of these? Nice. Nice kill. There's like one, two, three, four, maybe five of these. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to try to get this one up here. Do, 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 do. I wonder if there's another cauldron with override data on that one. It could be the one that we're right next to. All right, yeah, you hop along to me. I'm going to get you here. Well, or you could just run away. That's cool, too. <laughs> Come back. Come back closer. Come a little closer, son. I think you should be coming back to me. Don't miss my chance here. Oh, did I not kill him? Oh, that's going to hurt. Now you're dead. I guess we're fighting. You don't fucking fight. Ow, fuck. Uh, come here. Help me. Ooh. Everything's fine. Uh, I should probably maybe try and get something like that. Okay. Well, this sucks. Uh, that sucks. Oh my god. Come back. Uh oh. Oh shit. Ow. Fucking hell. Let's fucking go. Ow. Nice hit. Not nice hit. I gotta get up close and personal, I think. Did my buddy die here, potentially? Hmm. Die, just please. It was, I think he was getting repaired by something, wasn't he? There seemed like there was some repairage going on. What is that scan going? Do you see that pulsey scan? Something seems to be happening. I think my mount definitely died. Did I kill him? I don't... Did I Did I kill him thinking it was an enemy? Potentially. Okay, I definitely see... Might as well bring him over here. Don't bring that tail around here. I can't see him. The, the the brush is too much. Ooh, what a dot. Gok, 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 gok. The controller be making sounds. Gok, 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 gok. That was good. That was good. That worked. 
That worked for us. Is that the cauldron that I see up there, or is that something else? I can't. It's too dark. I can't tell. I mean, the mark. Oh, but no, it is pointing up there. So I don't know why the marker originally was like, "Oh, go up there and do something." <laughs> go up there and do something, Mickey. Oh, goofy. I don't know why I'm doing goofy voice, but. I wonder what the cauldron is like. I think I remember liking the cauldrons in the first game. Oh, buddy. Okay. It's like watching Guard. Yeah, it wasn't going to work. Okay. Here we go. That worked, actually. If it's just this one fellow, I should be able to just stealth strike him and then just beat him down, right? If you just get a little closer. I'm coming for your booty, 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 booty is coming for your booty. <laughs> nice. Easy. Oh, Mr. Fox wants to get in. Ooh. God. Nice. Should be able to hack this open. Alright, our first cauldron experience. Let's go. Cauldron moo. No turning back. What's on inside? Yeah, no turning back. Let's climb. <laughs> You're about to enter a cauldron and won't be able to exit until you complete it. Make sure you're prepared. Oh, I guess the game is. Like, you're not going to be able to get out. Which is strange. I, I don't... What's going to prevent me from just walking backwards? Am I going to get locked in? Possibly. Possibly. I'm gonna need to get, like, go to my stash here, I feel like. No, this is definitely a thing. I think, what, the cauldron, was it fighting? Did I do a lot of fighting? Is it a lot of platforming? I don't, I'm kinda trying to this recall. Table seems straight enough. Oh boy, look at this. I think there I think I remember it being like platforming and then you'd get to the final room and it'd be like you gotta fight a dude. And I'd be like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna fight a dude. I'll fight a dude. Uh, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh shit. Oh, we're doing Here Oh. We go again. Uh oh. There's a lot happening. Oh god. She's she's Oh wow, this place is giant. Cauldron be large. Alright, so we're gonna have to do some fighting, probably. I'm scared. Okay, I don't think we can walk through this. Yeah. Not gonna be happening. As stealthy as I can be is gonna be probably our best course of action. Nice. That's a good kill. Is there something in here? There is. Worth it. Blast pace. I think the blast pace is what I need for like these, so 
it's probably best that I find these. I just don't think I can carry much originally, you know? So that's upsetting. Oh, shit. I didn't even see this fella. But I would like to stealth kill him. Oh, come on. <laughs> like I said, as long as... If I can kill these guys without rustling a ton of jimmies, that's going to be better for me, right? I don't need this whole cauldron coming at me. Gas emitted by vents can provide a stealth area. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's a smart way of doing, like, stealth in the cauldron, because there's not going to be, like, tall grass around the whole area, you know? So if you need a place to rehide, that's good. I like it. I like it. Should be able to get across if I hack that node near the gap. I mean, the pouch is full, but the pack is weak. Alright, I can get us across here. What's up there? Some more resources. Ah, oh, more blast paste, good. Always love more blast paste. What happens if I fall like down there? Is that death down there? It sort of looks like it. It sort of looks like that's you're not coming back from that. So I'm going to try very hard not to have that be a thing. That killed me. That kills me. What's this map looking like? Hmm. Hmm. I would love to be able to carry more potions. I need that upgrade as well. Lots of upgrades needed. Not enough time, you know? That looks like another shield up there that I can't get past. I don't know when an enemy is going to come. I'm so, like, ready to crouch constantly. For a smoke bomb with four blast pastes? Ugh. That's just cruel. Yeah, I like how big the cauldrons are. Big monstrosities that just make machines and shit. I think it's a cool concept. You can say I'm a fan. Oh, we got more enemies. Great. They're running into place. Yeah, they're ready. They're ready to kill me. Oh, damn. More machines. We're fine, Aloy. We're fine. Child's play, I say. I gotta find a way to do this. Can I not just glide? I hope they see me. God. Alert potentially starts going my stealth. Um. Double notch, braced shot. Dang it. What, what are they going to do? What are you guys going to do? What do you think you're going to be able to accomplish? <laughs> Did I... Li Does my accuracy just go down when I do a double notch? Like that? Oh, fuck. Now they're shooting at me. Oh, but they can't hit me. That's fine. Bam. Whoa, that actually kills. Okay. Hit that weak spot on the top of them. This is working. It's fine. Yeah, you keep moving. Oh, he's going. I can't shoot him there. <laughs> it's like, oh, God, I can't. Come back here. 
yeah, I can't shoot through that thing. How how smart of the robot to go. But now I can't. The we I shot the weak part off, so. Ooh, ooh, he got me. Okay, that killed him. We're fine. Okay, I assume I can just glide across this. No pr problem. I have to get past this shield. Give me this. Thank you. More blast pace is nice. Perfect. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Oh god. I think they're pretty cool. It's a nice change of pace from like the outside, you know. You should be able to climb these stairs by time it right. Oh, it's one of like, okay, it's a we got a climbing speed puzzle here. Do 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 do. I'm going to let it reset again. Cuz if it just drops me, that's oh, I think I just land there, but Oh, they blink. They blink when they're like, "Hey, we're going down in a sec." <laughs> we're going to We're going to go down here. Give you an ample amount of time to just kind of climb and then just hang a hang a right here. It looks like. Oh, great! I mean, I assume I just kind of shimmy my way, shimmy over there, shimmy. Just that ledge. Nice. Shimmy, 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 jimmy, jimmy. What's this? Oh, this looks scary. Don't burn yourself. Whoop. So yeah, it's a bit, it's like a platforming puzzle with a couple enemies you can kind of kill, and then it probably is like a big baddie at the end. Maybe I can use that arm to get across. Oh, that's some bullshit. The fucking enemy just comes out. Whoa, he went through the... Hmm. Easy kill. These guys... Scroungers, no problem at this point for me. I can combo them up, get them dead. Easy. Give them the old one, two, you know? Jumping onto that arm should be easy enough. So far, so good. Now I just need to jump off at the right time. Oh, this is scary. If I was her, I'd be shitting my pants right now. This thing's moving around, and I'm like, oh god. Trying to keep my balance. I, I'm not a very balanced person, you know. I'm not a very. I have good. I feel like I have good reflexes. I've got some good hand-eye coordination going for me, but I don't have like balance. Natural balance is not my. Not my uh, forte. Wait, do I sneak in here? That's like a thing I do? I thought I was supposed to like go down here and hack whatever this is. It's like a hackable thing. Is this like a choice? Could I be like, oh, I want to go through that way or... Let's see. Do -do -do -do. This seems a bit more out of the way, so... This is like a secret route. Showwalker's got him in the route. I wonder what it's got in that container on its back. 
Well, wouldn't you like to know, Aloy? You hang back while it forgets about me. Or not. I don't think you can see me right now. I think I'm fine. Is it just this one enemy? Weak to acid. What is that? Oh, it's a manufacturing arm. Alright, I've got acid ammo. I'm good. Ooh! Oh, well, I'm just gonna back up. Don't, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm hiding in my hole. Oh, it's slow and it tracks. Oh, it's slow and it tracks into my hole. That's not great. This sucks. This sucks. Ooh, they're fast now. Okay, you know what? I should probably try to go through the good way. The normal way. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I don't have a lot of room to work with down there. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's uh, take a look. I gotta hurry. All right, we're back. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Uh oh. Fuck. You didn't like that. I thought he was weak to acid. Come on. Ooh! Drop your shield, you asshole. There we go. That should eat through it a bit. I craft. crate not my cleanest fight for sure um mm, electric water or something Ooh, electric water. Those metal carriers can get me closer to the core. But how do I reach them? We climb. We're gonna take over the world like we always do. Are there mushrooms growing on a thing that I just cannot reach? <laughs> can I reach that? I don't think I can get those. <laughs> Very good. Am 
What's the thing? Jump on to the metal carrier. Okay. This, These metal carriers, probably. How do I get up there? Don't jump into the goo. Don't jump into the electric goo. Don't do the goo. Do I have to go up? I probably have to go up at some point. Let me see. Da -na 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 -na. Looking up. Alright, there's the metal carriers I think the game is implying to climb up. But... As far as vantage point... Oh, up here. I was looking in the wrong direction. Yes, this will help. Yes. Yes. Spinning. Spinning. Rotating. Doing it all. Huh. Huh. Could try getting to that arm below. Oh shit! Well, it just passes by. <laughs> it just it literally was like, nope, we're uh, nope, goodbye. How do I? When's the timing of this? This looks scary as shit. I don't. There we go. Huh. Wanna get to those vents, problem. I can make that jump. Easy. Huh. Oh, are these gonna retract? Please don't retract. Please don't retract on me. Oh god. I'm like, please don't retract. Please don't retract. It feels like it's gonna retract. There we go. There we go. Jimmy, Jimmy. Bring me to the core. I made it this far. Just have to hold on a little longer. I believe in you, Aloy. Hold. I'm gonna have to get off this thing soon. I'm gonna say now. Those arms can help me reach the core. I just have to get to them. Is it gonna bring me closer? Ah, uh, yes. Huh. No, don't go away, don't go away. Uh, no, it's, it's, a, it's a bit too far. For my liking. There we go. That was a little sketchy. to cross the goo. I better time this right. I don't know, that seems right. Seemed well enough time to This is so sketch. I would be freaking out if I was her. For sure. This is not my jam. I assume if you fall into that you're just dead. Like that is just straight up your dead moment. <laughs> You're not coming back from that. Where do I go from here? What is... Is it that? Oh, is it... Do I get on a ride from... Oh, it's probably... I see. I have to get on top of another... Mmm... Those metal carriers should get me to the floor. Oh, she's got to reach. Oh, boy. Okay, the, the timing window on that is not 100% ideal. Let's see. Oh, oh, the timing is scary as shit. Okay, it's fine. Oh, her arms are wiggling. Wiggling arms. 
Ooh, she, her arms are given. <laughs> it feels. Oh. The damn Aloy, come on. To the core. Oh, there's medicinal berries. I bet this is going to be a fight. This feels fightish. I wouldn't be surprised. This is basically what I'm saying. Like that. I guess it's deactivated for now. Yeah, for now. That's a, a pivotal point this game is saying. It's like, oh, now if for now, you know. Let's see. I mean, it gave us some machine muscle and stuff, just in case if you were low to probably go into a fight. A wide maw. Yeah. Damn. Weak to purge water. I don't really have that. Tusks, detachable resource container. Vacuum unit, detachable weak spot. Are any of these a detachable weapon that I can maybe get to? That'd be nice, right? Ability removal persists when killed, contains resources if intact. I just strong versus many basically you can see strong against a lot of elements except purge water weak spot vacuum unit can you tag multiple parts you can so I'm gonna go vacuum vacuum unit vacuum turbine the chain reaction is probably not gonna be that good because it's not weak to Electric, you know. Purge water sack. I'll mark that as well. Because that is explosive. Um, the only thing I have purge water wise is going to be traps. So I can try to lay a purge water. Oh, do I not have? Oh, I'm out of them. I think I used them in a fight earlier, right? I can make it though pretty easily. Let's craft. Craft. This is me being very smart before we get into this fight, I feel. I'm gonna lay a trap. Now I just need to access it. How am I doing on berries? So I should leave those there. Well, I'll pick it up because what's what's the chance I actually during the fight I'm like have my wherewithal to get that. Oh, that's a bigger. Oh, it's bigger stem as well. That's good. Here it comes. It's All right, lay a trap time. A fight. Trap. Have fun. Come into it. Start it. Ooh. Missed. Ooh. Mm. I need to draw him more towards me. Fuck. Come on, get a little closer. Yep, into the trap. Come on. You're so close, sir. This is like a good natural defense here. Nice! Okay, now can I... That was... I made a mistake again. Got back up. Oh, great. Oh, my God. The backups. Oh, my God. The vacuum. The vacuum. Everything is going to shit. Run, Aloy. Run. Oh, the fucking hell. Why is there got to be a second one? Really? That's just suck. Expose your vacuum or something to me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Attacking the backs.
Do I think I can lay another trap in here? While it's shooting at me? Probably not. Nice hit. Nice hit. Nice hit. Oh my god. Ooh, I tried really hard. Ooh. Fuck. Fuck. That hurt. Alright, laying a trap. Come on. Set it faster. Let's go. Oh, he's releasing things. Oh, I'm about to get one of them, which would be really nice here. Make this a lot easier. Okay, I think the exposes the thing in the mouth when he tries to vacuum suck. Hmm. I think I missed. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, fuck. I didn't see the second one there. Leave me alone. Fucking hell. I forget where I laid my trap. Which kind of sucks. Fuck. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that was a good slide. Okay, that one's dead. Where did I lay my trap? Because I don't want to run into it. Would I be able to find it like this? Where is it? Where did I? There it is. It's right here. Now I gotta get him into it. Right? There we go. That sucks. Look at that. Okay, so the purge water combo into the freeze to make him susceptible to, like, I think it's double damage when you're um, frozen or whatever. Looks and then. Like has been upgrading the cauldron security grid. Oh, no, I wanted to grab those. Oh, they're sinking into the ground. Look at that. <laughs> it's funny looking. Um, yeah. Freezing is good. Um, I think if he didn't have the purge water effect on it, then it'd be pretty resistant to getting iced up. Be prepared. So then the traps really help there, honestly. Um, yeah, that's good. I'm trying to look around if there's anything else to grab. I know there's this one that I killed that I want to grab. Yeah, give me your shit, man. All right, and I think Cauldron done. I think that was, you know what? That could have gone a lot worse. It always could be, you know. Should be able to override more machines with this. Yeah. Override unlocked Burrower, Scrounger. Nice, Grazer. Corrupted override unlocks. I can restore it like I should be. I forget what the parts thing means. I think I have to go back to the main base, that main base thing, and do something. Something along those lines. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Hey, level twenty-two. Look at that. Some skill points. 
I should be able to override this machine. Oh, it's going to show me now that I can I override, override these guys. Now. Can I ride the scroungers, though? That's the curious thing. That'll, I, I bet not. I bet that doesn't mean... I have some kind of buddy. Oh, fuck. Down. Did they kill my buddy? I think my buddy might have gone down. I don't see him. <laughs> Whoops. Whatever, he helped, sort of. Oh, you want to fucking fight? Easy kill. What a combo. Alright, so Cauldron down. That was fun. I enjoyed it. I could fight things. I can do things. I do need to upgrade pouches and stuff. I need access to more resources. Would be really nice. The problem is I, that means I have to kill like random animals that I need to find, and who the fuck knows, you know? Like, will this have what I need? <laughs> Pigeon. What a miss. Who's got what I need? Oh, baby, you. You got what I need. Uh, I've got 207 rocks. Jingling, jangling in my pockets. That's cool. I love that the running gag of the series is me kept, like counting every time we pick up a rock. It's just like, man, imagine. I've got I'll save the extra stock for later. so many rocks in my pockets, dude. Look at that. We did good. We did a thing. We cleared a cauldron. What new resources do I have? Huh? Oh, I cleared whatever it was. We also have skill points to spend. Now that we can hack more machines, maybe Machine Master is something to look into. Also, I'm starting to use traps a bit more. I bet there's a thing in here that allows us to set traps faster, right? Select a trap, place traps faster. Yeah, 1.6 seconds compared to what is it now? <laughs> What's the, what is the... Bolster resolve and increase the buildup and effects of elemental attacks while gaining a greater resistance to elemental damage. Elemental buildup 100%. This is pretty good. Build up quicker state this the, the state duration up so they're in the state more and then also resistance to elemental effects craft tools traps and potions faster recover more and higher quality resources when deconstructing traps that's nice too these are actually kind of nice i mean they're really it's really like are you going to commit to using traps and stuff but I'm not against it. Take less damage when triggering your own trap. That would be nice. Skill boost and other effects from food last longer. That's less great because I don't really. <coughs> trap limit. More traps and trap wars on the. Oh, see? See? This could be cool. This could be something. Let's do it. I've got five points to burn.
Since they're both skilled. Mm -hmm. There we go, it's unlocked. No, I don't want to necessarily at right now like put more or equip this over the range thing that I have because I think the range thing is just more um what's the word I'm looking for more it has more applicable moments you know quickly launch a tripwire of your currently selected type with a preset length wire explodes or deactivates after a limited time oh that's cool so you can just quickly set out two traps you don't have to like aim it two spots that's pretty good if you if an enemy is just charging you quick let's let me see the video how long it like does it arm itself too like immediately not immediately but again, it's like, this is like, I'm just going to quick set up some things. That's not too bad. Fire rope that you attach to any part of an enemy, including armor, without needing to fully draw the weapon. I don't use the rope caster much, but that would probably make it more appealing. Makes it more appealing for sure. In the face. No, you can't run away from me. You cannot run away. I'm not allowing you to run away after I've wasted two arrows on you. Alright, now we get to decide. Do I really go in and do the machine strike stuff? I'll get a couple skill points if I do it. <laughs> That's the, my justification for doing it. It's like, well... I'll at least get skill points. Skill points are worth it. Some wild meat. Okay, I think what I want to do first is try to see... I'm going to go to a settlement and access to my stash and a workbench of some sort. What's the nearest one? Well, I can just fast travel. I'll stash this away for later. I'll fast travel to one. And then um, see if I can upgrade any of my pouches and shit. I think the only time I've used um, a whatchamacallit uh, uh, like a, uh, the thing that allows you to fast travel not next to a campfire. What is it? A travel pack or something? The only time I've used that is, um, the, uh, oh, remember this? This was where the lady was like, let me take a look at you or something. I'm curious if she's changed. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the only time I've used a fast travel pack was when I was trapped underwater and I was about to die, I think. You. If you Let me take by, a look at you, stranger. Listen to rumor. Oh, now she's doing something. You're the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. Oh, she's saying something finally. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the Martians. Yep, as yep. far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could oh, share I'm gonna them sit on the... you, aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. What is she going to well, tell me? There's a tall neck south of here that's been acting twitchy. Something's wrong with it, but I'm not sure what. Might be smart to stay alert if you run into it. Good to know. Oh, she just has a. What's wrong with that tall neck? If I can override it, it'll give me useful data on the surrounding area. I should check it out. She's just a rumor lady. She just gives me. Keep that... your eyes open out there, soldier. Interesting. I've got 
nothing to report. So she gives me a thing. Let me see. She said to the south. It doesn't mean like all the way there. I think that was already on her. Twitchy, was she talking about this one maybe? I think she was probably talking about this one then. I mean, she said to the south, so. It probably is that, let me see. Yeah, I think seems to be malfunctioning. Okay, so this was the one that, interesting. So that's cool. I mean, you can find a random person and they'll be like, here's a thing. Now, why wouldn't she give me the mission earlier? Why was she just yelling at me that she wanted to take a look at me before? I don't know. I don't know what was up with that. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck was wrong with the game at that point, but I'm not going to complain. I think that's kind of cool. If you find a little green arrow, or not green arrow, green exclamation, and they're like, hey, here's a, a thing. I'd be like, okay. Is that? Ooh, I want that. A sliver. Can I kill these guys easily is going to be my question. Going down. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Hello. Damn it, this isn't working like I wanted it to. Oh, look, override him. He can help me. And then I can just... Ow. Fuck. They're fighting. They're fighting. They're dueling. They're dueling. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, I am just getting... Help me, friend. My new friend. Help. Oh my god. Do I have to bring him? Come on. Help me. Help. He's gonna charge. He's gonna charge. Oh my god. I'm scared. There. Now he's going in. Look at this. He's doing it. Now he's fighting. Gotta make sure I don't hit my friend. Ooh, I'm just smacking under him. Got him. Oh my goodness, dude. <gasps> I can mount them. Look at this. Do do do. <gasps> yeah, I got a big boy with me now, dude. I should repair him, right? It's not gonna take much to repair him. All right, he's my friend now. Two hundred ten rocks. All right, well, I guess this is my new mount. He's a chunky boy, but maybe not as nimble as the other guys I would ride a lot, but. I like it. I don't get what that symbol is above it. I mean, I see the symbol when it means it's like a thing you've overridden, but I don't know if I, it's, it doesn't like describe what I've accomplished, like, like overridden state if that makes sense a lot. Oh, what is this piece that's tumbling? Just a, a loose piece. All right, I think we're gonna do. Oh, I can do this. Let's do. Uh, let's find the. Let's find. I'm thinking. Let's do at least one of these machine strike people. Uh, the thing is, I'm going to have to find them again. Where's... Here's one. Machine strike... Okay, let's... I, I'm pretty sure we've run into all three, right? Machine strike, intermediate. That's one. I think there's one in here. Two. And then, like, where's another settlement? Was it... You?
I want to say, was it the... I keep wanting to say Silk Song, but that's the fucking Hollow Knight thing. <laughs> Plain Song? Is it around here? No, you were a beginner. Okay. Uh, it's a workbench. Oh, I wanted to get to a workbench, too. I'm sure I could look it up, and then I could see if I've run into the person or not yet. Could be that they're somewhere else, too. It's not there. What's the new tool that I got? Oh, advanced purge water trap. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, so at least there's two I know of. One and uh, two. two. Oh shit, why is my phone going off? Another Amber Alert. I had an Amber Alert rant the other day on stream. I don't need to do it again. <laughs> Trust me, I don't need to do it again. Okay, maybe I've only run into two. Maybe there's a third one at the wherever the mission is, you know? The story mission I'm currently working on, you know. There's a workbench here. Let's go to that. Alright, bye. Well, actually, let's take you for a ride. Oh, you can get a move on. You can actually run. I believe in you. We'll be able to heal all that. Once Guy is strong enough to capture Hephaestus. Hephaestus. Where on the map? Oh, he did a little jump. It's not as nimble, it feels. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, 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 the animation. Whoa, the animation. Oh, he's trying. See, I think this guy is more, probably powerful. You know, he's powerful. He can do some things. But he's he's big. He's a chunky boy. I could probably fuck some robots up with him. But he's not going to be... running uh through pouch upgrades hey what can i make right now food pouch that's probably the least important one <laughs> spike holster i can hold more spikes yeah yeah with my rabbit bone carry bone prairie dog hide sure the ones i wanted are like potion pouches and i need squirrels squirrels pelicans this this would be good what do i need for this goose feather j feather hmm This thing is what I want to increase, upgrade. Bellowback sack webbing. Snap gnaw, snap gnaw, snap maw circulator. And then shell snapper shell bolt. Got the new uh, stats and got component tear up. That's nice. I like it. Bellowback sack webbing. Oh my goodness. I would get overdraw damage unlocked. Mmm. It would be nice. I think all these other things I don't have. The other things I've equipped. I mean, these unequipped things I can upgrade, but I, since they're unequipped, it's like, what would be, even be the point? What does this do? 
two times skill improvement. What does two times skill improvement mean? Oh, I think it means like increases resistance and then two, two skill improvements, which would be, it looks like if I go in, um, Valor Surge Master would go up a point and then I would unlock Sound Strike Gain is what it means. I would love that. Um, I would need things I don't have. So I think I'm pretty sure, I mean, you can get resources by random chance, obviously you can tell. I think, though, the game very much specifically is like, hey, they're, we're picking, like, really specific upgrade things that you'll need to pick up. So if you want to find this, you have to, like, and they make it easy. Like, you can make, if I click into here, you can create a job. And I assume that creates, like, a fake little mission for it, and it'll point you in the direction of finding enemies to go do it. And then, of course, highlight the enemies, the parts that you need, and go from there, I think, is the whole deal. Um, so they really want you, if you want to find this upgrade, they want you to specifically go out and try to find it, I think is the whole deal. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm glad I got like one upgrade on the, um, on the bow, the, the recent bow that we got. I'm also going to go in here and deposit these weapons that I'm definitely not going to use, you know? So it's basically... Like this, we're not going to... Stealth... I mean, stealth damage is fine, but... It's clearly I've chosen this, the strong arm one, better than this. I do like the idea of stealth damage, but honestly, as a perk... And then these things, right? So again, this is going to be used over these two things now at this point. So goodbye, Q Sharp Shot. I just would rather declutter things that I'm just not going to use on here. So now we have, look at this. This looks clean. And I can do the same with this, right? So Infiltrator, I'm probably going to, even though this looks dorky, <laughs> I'm probably going to use Utara Whisper over like the Nora Champion here. You can see stat wise, this is just better. It's obviously got slightly different like perks and skills attached, but and it's not like I'm going to sell these. I mean, I have arrows or arrowheads as currency. I don't need to like sell shit like that. At some point I'll go in and sell like the shitty weaves probably but I don't think I'm running into any kind of like storage problem with those so I think it's good let's uh fast travel though fast. catch a break from this heat she's hot wait was it did I was this the was this one that I had found earlier or was pointing out to I don't think so one two and was there one up here or do i keep thinking whatever whatever let's play machine strike <laughs> yay machine strike i don't think it's i don't think machine strike is bad per se It's just a break in the, the regular gameplay moments. I can beat these people though, right? This is going to be easy. I do have to go to the restroom here, so I'm going to... Who wants to play some machine strike? I do, sir. Ah, a challenger. Yep. Alright, the mission... These are going to probably be a bit more difficult, so... So if I beat this, rewards, 100 metal shards, special rewards, defeat all the opponent's boards to earn a Sky Drifter Strike piece, and then if I get this, two skill points as well. Wait, two skill points if I beat all three intermediate is the thing. Okay, uh, I'm going to mute myself really quick.
I'll be right back. I right go to the restroom, and we'll be, uh, yeah, shouldn't be long. Be right back. Oh, I'm in view. I've arrived. I'm back. Okay. And I've equipped a jacket onto me body. Because it is nice and chilly in my apartment. So I'm not going to complain because I enjoy it. I like being cold, but I think my arms are like the coldest thing. So, All right. Here we go. Oh, locked. Whoops. You must use at least seven setup points to play this set in a game. Do I not have seven setup points? Let me see. Why did they delete my setup? It's strange, right? Okay. Wide Maw. Look at the Wide Maw. It's three victory points. So if I use this, I need to like not let it die, right? That's the whole deal. It's like a risk reward, right? This machine does not have a skill. It has seven health. Two movements. So it's just a chunky. Um, it also has a nice attack range. And then three attack. Hmm. I think I can dominate him, right? I have five more points. I think, I, I think I'd rather use stronger pieces than, like, a bunch of tinier pieces is what this ends up kind of being, right? Plowhorn. Tagging a machine on grassland terrain will turn that terrain into forest. Interesting. Attacking from hill. There isn't a bunch of those. Attacking a machine on grassland. Attacking from grassland. Gain one combat power. But it's weak. Taking a machine on grassland. I mean, turning it into forest doesn't really do much for me, in my opinion. This, I think, is going to be good. That's fine. Doesn't have skill. I can use a piece that has one. I will use... Yeah, that's fine. 
uh, save. Use. Confirm. The board, set. the board is set. Okay. I'm going to think. Wide Maw. Doesn't have a skill, but is beefy. I'm going to put you in there. Four attack. It can just mash some pieces. You know what I mean? Attacking from grassland. You're attacking from grassland. I'll put you next to him then. I'm going to put my swooper in here. High movement. Nice attack. I'm attacking from grassland. I always think this opening setup thing is just like, I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing. What will I do? Ow. Oh my god, it's overcharging. Oh no. Not a great start for me. Gonna admit. Don't like it. I would take one damage there. Do you do when attacking from grassland gain one combat one damage? Dash type. Oh, so it has to be able to dash through. I remember. Mm. So it can't even attack like that. I kind of fucked that up, didn't I? How far can you move? Oh, you can sprint, but. Go again. I'll take the three points. Another piece off the board. Lost all the health, but not too pressed. Now I'm not gonna just move this so that he can take it. I'm not doing that. That seems like a foolish thing. I'm gonna just what is this movement? It also swoops. It also swoops, dude. I'm going to move here so that it can't take the high advantage point, right? I'm going to play defensively. All right, I'm up. Let's see. <gasps> that bastard. The board you go. He overcharged to move. Mm. That doesn't sit well with me. And now I can't attack it. That bastard. Oh my god. If I overcharge, it can't move and attack, right? I forget how this game works. <laughs> mm. Fuck this. This. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, I think I overcharged to do that. That seems foolish to me. Let's see. Uh, let's turn. just see what he does. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's all about oh. strategy. Oh. Your turn. Did you just yell at me and say it's all about strategy as if I'm not using strategy? Fuck this man. <laughs> Fuck him to heck. Okay, if there was a way to kill only one damage, 
Really? Well, I can't really... You hit a weak spot. Well done. I did hit a weak spot. I can't overcharge because that'll kill him, right? <laughs> that just would kill my own guy. Such as that. That would kill that. I don't want to kill him like that either. down I have to move him don't I all right he can use this piece and try to take this thing out I won't be too upset what the thing is if can he kill both the pieces Guess we're putting that piece away. Yeah. He's it's really coming down to like next piece wins. I don't know where he's going to start aiming at. Probably shouldn't overcharge because it's not going to do enough damage to knock. Like, this has good defenses. Is this scrapper I don't know if that's the way to do it I don't think there's gonna be enough defense there ow all yours oh god that only gives me one attacking this would only give me one point I need two points I need two points. <laughs> I get, this guy can't overcharge either, so I can't like attack and then attack. Oh, yeah. that's such a. And this guy can't like run. Man. Minus two health. F fuck. I need to bring him to me. I think this is just the... The thing is, I've only got one health. I can't... What is your movement? Two? This might be really silly of me. If I overcharge, does he lose the two health immediately? Or at the end of the turn? If it's immediately, that's really silly. And I'll lose. But why would the game allow you to do that? Why would the game allow you to overcharge? I 
I get the point first, right? My best game, I must admit. Yep. Okay. That works. I say good on me. Maybe Second board time. Win. Honestly, the setup phase I feel is kind of lame. It just is like just fucking just pick a places. I don't care. It could be random. Pick a pick a, pick, pick a place. As long as you just don't do something like stupid, I feel. All right, I'm up. Maybe there is some strategy to it, and I'm just not smart. Fanghorn. Fanghorn. Everybody wants to fang on. I kind of like I, the idea of like having the enemy come to me and then I just start attacking with all my dudes. My turn. Oh, you think you're clever. Go ahead. Oh, you think you're clever. Come on. A solid move. Oh, he pulls. He's got a pull type. I don't even think about this. How much damage can I? Two. <laughs> One push back. Hmm. Well, I don't want that to be the case. Guess we're putting that piece away. Guess we are. I'm gonna do overcharge to attack again and just yeah. What will I do? Ow. Piece off the board. He be swooping. Alright, my wa my the wide maw, we just continue to mm. I'll admit it. You know what you're doing. Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, don't want to push him into my own guy. One down. Oh, he's playing defensively. I need what? Three more points? This Ravager is four points, dude. No defensive. It has nine health, though. So I'm going to like slowly move people in there. I can always preview. I kind of like the idea of taking... to do now wow he's playing so defensively yeah he's scared he's like oh shit we fucked up and i'm like yeah you did you did done fuckle Go 
your turn. Okay, now he's just running away. <laughs> I'm tr I'm trying to get go after him. But he's running away. So I'm going to have to like pinch him. Pinch maneuver. I just got to make sure I don't make a dumb mistake, right? Like this is like that's this isn't good. Oh my god. This fucking asshole. <clears throat> I'm not too pleased about that. That makes me upset. Not how I thought this game would go. I should be fine. If he kills this, that's totally fine. Cause wait, no, it's not. <gasps> no, it's not okay. Oh no, opponent has five. Oh, I miscounted the victory points. No, <laughs> no. He can easily. Damn it. This piece sucks. Good game. Stop with the amber alerts. I don't give a shit. Nice. Fuck off. I'm pissed that I lost. <laughs> I'm just mad that I lost. <laughs> God. It's the bad the worst thing happened is when the my wide mall went down. He got me with his runaway tactics, which is upsetting. I fell into a trap. Go ahead. He triggered my trap card. I triggered his trap card. Okay, I have to go first. I'm gonna go right in here. Just fucking, he has one piece that's just by itself. I'm going in. What to do now? Your move. That's fine. And then honestly, overcharge and take the v yes, yes. This is a stupid piece. You and your stupid piece, your big boy piece. Is everything else just two points? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bam. Bam. That machine's done. Well, now what are you going to do, sir? You have no hopes. My turn. yours I, mean, I just gotta kill one of these push Um, two, three. 
Give me the win. Well, Fuck that you. Was an honorable win if there ever was one. <laughs> well done. Oh, it was honorable, you say? This is going to be interesting. Is it? Just their remarks are very funny to me. Oh, this is going to be very interesting. Okay, I think putting my two strongest pieces together ends up kind of working. So then if one piece kind of gets... And my three other little dudes can be a little pack. In case if they get separate, you know, they won't get separated. All yours. Alright, what pieces does he have? 1.3 Claw Strider. 2, 2, 2. So taking out a three and then two twos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to play defensively. And put you there. And I'm going to put... What you there. You can come to me, son. Four damage. Oh, boy. Go ahead. That hurts. That hurts. Four damage on a shitty scrounger for one victory point if I kill it is less than ideal, for sure. Just gonna do that. Guess we're putting that piece away. Guess we are. And off the board you go. Oh yeah, let's see in my turn. Damn. Another piece off the board. You fucking asshole. Hmm. Do I just ignore this thing and just start attacking this that's like out of, you know, potentially vulnerable? off the board now I just need to kill one more thing he still needs to kill multiples that machine's done multiples I say I lose yeah you do it's the last of my boards guess that means you deserve a proper reward give me it yeah sky drifter strike piece yay Get me out of here. Oh, it's nighttime. <laughs> Dude, she stands up from the board and she looks at him like, fuck you. I'm so much smarter than you. I love it. I, I love it a lot. I think there's a missing tool for me to do this is the whole thing for that relic area which sucks but you drunk me out boost I know I want to do the other sky sh or strike machine thing machine strike yeah but I want to do something right in between so that we're not just doing both of those at the same moments the same time I'm trying to let's look at my quests let's do the side thing right we're somewhat nearby it too so it makes sense we can do the side mission here I feel like I hear fighting going on 
Like, I hear distant screaming. Is it out there where there's like fire and shit? Sort of seems like it, right? Whoa, helio. Oh, look at him navigate these this ramp. I love him. me what this mission is. Drakkar seeks to obtain machine hearts so that his village can trade for water with the clan's capital. With the help of a seasoned machine hunter, his people will die of thirst. Oh no! Not die of thirst. That would be bad. Oh shit. I'm here. Oh, I have all these things I can sell. I keep forgetting that's a thing I can do for more um, arrowheads. Look at all this stuff. Thanks for the supply. I'm just stealing it all. Well met. Oh, you came. I'm touched. You'll have to excuse the mess. Our soldiers use this place to prepare themselves before herding machines into the canyon and harvesting parts. Feel free to take any supplies you need. No, I did. Our Don't. prey isn't far. I'm right behind you. Is it that group of animals this over way. here? The sooner we get those machine hearts, the faster we'll get the water we need. Can't believe an outlander would lend us a hand when our own clan won't. Our so-called commander's always talking about how scarce water is in the desert. But do you really think anyone in Scalding Spear is dying of thirst? Or her own squad? Our clan should be led by someone who knows what it's like to fight tooth and nail to survive. And, uh, Don't look at me. That someone is you? Oh. Let's make sure everyone gets all the water they need. No matter what village we're from. Didn't Jataka say you guys had too little to go around to begin with? I'm sure I'd be able to fix that somehow. <laughs> There's always a way. He doesn't have the solutions just yet, but trust him. Of course he knows. We're here. I'll definitely gather this stuff while I'm here. I'll help you harvest machine hearts if it'll get water for your people. Oh, it will. That's the canyon we draw machines into. Then we block them in and pick them off. Smart. Now, we'll have to climb over the barricade to get in. When we do, be ready to fight. I already lost good people in there. Can't wait to see the champion killer in action. You go and I'll follow. <laughs> uh, you first. <laughs> Very much like a, uh, okay, uh, you go first. Oh my god, there's a bunch. So I just need to kill the machines? We're going in stealthy? Or is he gonna ruin my stealth? Are you stealthy? Are you gonna are we gonna stealth here? Please don't ruin my stealth. Oh he's climbing. Well, I guess we'll find out if he's gonna ruin it or not. A usable weapon. Yeah, I think he ruined my stealth. You 
catch that. Oh, fuck. Oh, what a dodge. Wait, it is usable. Look at this. Fuck. This is good. Yep. Okay. Oh, he's talking to me about... Oh, that'll leave a good scar. Like, fuck off, dude. That hurts. Oh my god. He's in the... He's in the thing I can't, like, utilize. This sucks. Pick it up! Pick it up, please! Ow. Fuck. Mm. Great. There was one ammo left in there. This is not... <laughs> Ow! Fuck, dude. This guy ruined the stealth. Because he's yipping and yallering and shit. Yipping and yallering. All right, we'll do this a little better. Wait, where's the climb spot? Oh, <laughs> just threw myself at the wall. Like, man, he's just yipping and yallering. We got a goat go ram, I guess. Okay, so the usable weapon. Weak to... Weak to acid. I should be using that then. What's up there? Blaze drums. Mm. We also have traps. I should probably be... Braced platform. Get in there, yep. I'm just gonna go in. Now do you now? Get out, get out, get out. Stick him there. Oh, fuck. Fuck, I missed. Damn it. I don't think I did that right. Fuck. He's distracting these other ones for me. <laughs> there I go, missing a bunch of shots. Oh no! Oh my god. Dude, he's picking on the weak fry. I'm over here. He's yelling at me to get up, and I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? And he's dead now. He's knocked down. So what the fuck is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> fuck, dude. This guy sucks. He's like, oh, he's like, find some cover. This fucking man. This 
man sucks a ma massive ass. Okay, take three. I'll get him. Maybe I should get towards the back here first and kill the weak ones with silent strikes. I think it might be better for me. And then once shit does hit the van, stay, start getting mobile. Try to maybe bring them to these traps that are set up here for me. But yeah, just lessening the amount of enemies on screen is probably going to do me good. And by weak enemies, I mean the, the fucking horn things. What are these things called? Horny guys? Horny men? Horn dogs. It's not going to outright kill him, but... Alright, that's one. That's one done. Alright, like I said, stay mo staying mobile now. I can't really help you if I can't see the enemy guy. Oh, here comes. Ooh, blaze! Ooh! Did the blaze work? Oh my god. I am hurt massively. I am hurt. This fucking guy. Don't you die on me. I'm running around. <laughs> Fuck this man. Do better. I am running around fucking. Like, honestly, dude. This guy wants to lead a tribe or whatever. He's got to be doing better. <laughs> I was fucking running around and then... Oh my god. This man... This dude. Alright. Take four. I, I still think this is a good approach. Is going to the back and trying to eliminate the horn thing. First. The problem is once I, sil once I strike it, it immediately alerts this thing. Which sucks. But, I mean, there's not many other options. There we go. Take that thing out first. Make a little less... Oh, he's shooting, he's shooting, he's shooting, he's shooting. Bam. Nice. He set the things off himself. Ow. Oh, God. Staying mobile. I'm getting up here. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. But that's fine. All right. Coming over to these blaze traps now. I'm 
trying to get the weapon off or something. Let's see. Aim. I can't. He can't shoot me from here. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, ass done. Is there a thing? Oh my god. There was a thing behind me. Oh, that works. Yep, yep. And you're dead. Ooh! What is happening? There's madness. Spike! You want some spikes? Two? I got some spikes for you. Oh, don't kill me, please. Please don't kill me. We're doing so good, sort of. Run, 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 run. Dun, 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 dun. All right, more spikes. Spike javelin. Strike true. Huh. I think I missed again. Oh fuck! All right, mobile. Staying mobile. Uh oh. Oh my god, this isn't good. Drink potion. I needed that. Oh, I'm getting shot. Nope, 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 nope. Um, acid. More acid. I've got a, what's the phrase? I got a fever and only more acid arrows will do. Or whatever the fuck. I don't know. I'm just trying my best. Where's my friend? There he is. Oh my god. Okay, I think it might just be these two enemies, so that's good, if that's the case. Ow, fuck, ow, ow. Ooh, I should have probably restored my berries. Damn it! Fuck! Shit! That's on me. Damn, I alerted. Stay hidden. Really? That's so annoying. It fucking turned around. It started heading the other way, and then it turned around. <sighs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> There's also apparently, I saw like a legendary item up there. When I was running around, I saw something. and then it turns around like that. That's a, an asshole move to make. There's a ram, there's a ram, there's a ram. What was the legendary thing? Was it a piece that I had knocked off? Because now I don't see it. It must have been like some kind of piece I knocked off or something. Unless it's somewhere um, else. No, I'm going to say it was something that I knocked off. So that sucks that I don't get that because I died. Gotta love that. Do I have acid traps? What if 
I set an acid trap up here. So when they run up to try and get me, they just can't. Those fan horns have parts I need to fix the override. Trying to let this one get away. Go the other direction before I start pouncing. Okay, it's time. Alright, that's one down. Set other trap. This should work, right? This will be great. Nice, nice knock. Yup! That's what I wanted. That is very good. That is exactly a good thing. This is now when I'm stuck on a rock now, so that's not that's a little less good. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh I was just <laughs> I was knocked down and then the other one started doing it like Fuck! <laughs> Damn this mission! So, <sighs> some water. Let me get a drink from this. I resuscitated a water bottle that I've had for a long time, but was not using, and I figure that it's probably a good thing to have for these long streams, you know? It's a nice water bottle too. It's like nice, nice aluminum, I believe, or something. I don't know, but it keeps water cold, so it's good. All right, take six. I think this is attempt six. I still like my idea of getting one of these guys dead first. one of the weaker guys that I can I can stealth strike and then heavy hit like twice and then it's dead. Set trap. Set second trap. Set third trap. This is just... Alright, taking some hits. Run, Aoi. Fuck this guy. Thing that's on has the acid. It's so close to being dead. And now I'm out of arrows. Please, can my can I send this guy to just kill this thing for me? Like we are.
There. It's been assified. <laughs> assified? Uh, that should help. Oh, that's a miss. I think this might help. Ow, that hurts. Are you trying to give me ammo or not, sir? Shit. I hate this attack. Machine hearts, I'd be grateful. I'm gonna gather machine hearts and shit. I have a lot to pick up, I feel. I'm gonna take this whole place. God, that that fight. Ready for anything, huh? I need to bang one heart. There's one. Ah, some wild beans. I do love wild beans. All right, that took what six attempts, I think, for me to finish. My goodness, I'm excellent at this game. Don't you ever be convinced otherwise. Oh, I got a text. Let me see this. My friend is watching the second uh, episode of that victorious deep dive long form video essay thing. I've, I've yet to, to watch the second part, but um, he's just making comments about it. I feel like the traps really helped. I think the traps might have knocked out some of the um, the fang horns that I was battling there. <laughs> Seemed like an unnecessary grunt there. For how far away it was. Okay, ammo-wise, am I good? Let me see. Probably use some more spikes that I like. I do like the spikes. I like setting them and then having them stick in and then I just explode. They just explode, do some damage. That's all the parts we need. I should take these to Draka. Two hundred twelve rocks. This was hot this was a tough fight. Oh, one of my traps did not get can I? Okay, so you do get back better things more than just the met some metal shards. Because when you dismantled, it was like, oh, you got two shards. Now you get a bit more of the resources back. So that's that's nice, right? I like it. You're not getting away from me. 
feel like I can make more potions, right? Let me see. Well, I can make them, but I can only... I didn't use potions really during that fight, it looks like. After such a fight, I'm definitely getting all the resources here that I can. Make sure I've got everything. Pick this place clean, because fuck this mission. <laughs> Tough fight. But the the traps there did help, I think. I think two of them went off up there. Oh, yep, I killed your friend. I'm sorry. Fox bone. Ten, carry you home, my brother. I got the hearts. We should head back to Arrowhand. Yeah, at least now we can bag and tag these soldiers. Bag and tag. Oh, hold on. Bag and tag. Since you can clearly handle a bunch of angry machines. I want to go back to where the Thunderjaw hit us. And oh no. The fighters there. I can't just leave them to rot. They deserve to be bagged and tagged too. Bag and tag. You come with me. Bag and tag them. All right, this mission isn't over. Damn. That's upsetting. Here I come. Oh my god, he is so slow. <laughs> Bag him, tag faster. We're going to have to fight a thunder jaw, aren't we? To think, so many have to die. Well, just look at him sprint water. down that. That was so funny she looking. Try talking to your commander at Scalding Spear. <sighs> Please, the only thing she'll listen to is the sound of a bow being drawn. About that, wouldn't mind having yours at my side if it ever came to it. I'm just passing through, Draka. Yeah, fuck off. Can't blame me for trying. Pull. Oh. Nice. Oof. The way they hit the ground, or the right, the other ground, is just. Then. Vulture Wishbone. This is it. Where the Thunderjaw ripped through my squad. I see him. Bag and tag quickly before it comes and fights us. They were warriors to the end. We should get started. Am I going to be strong enough to fight get the fall untagged and bagged? <laughs> Please stop saying tagged and bagged. I'm, ri I'm done with the phrase. Someone's alive. By the rocks. No, let's tag him and bag him. Speak sense, soldier. Burrowers. Oh, burrowers are fine. I can do I can do burrowers. Apex. Burrowers is still. What a miss. Ow. Ooh, he backed up his buddy. There's a kill. There's a kill. Ooh, dodge. A miss. What ammo? You say you... He always says he has ammo. And yet, here I am. Un not getting ammo. Ow. I like how faster that thing charges up, the sticking them with that explosive bit, you know? Thunderjaw's back. 
This is gonna get rough. Shit. I knew it. I knew it was gonna be, hey, you're gonna have to fight Thunderjaw, man, so. My storm won't last forever. I can push through the Is it that? I thought the Thunderjaw was a flying thing. But am I wrong? I think I'm wrong. Okay, well, at least I have a moment to, like, prepare, I guess. Level 30? Oh. Fucking hell. We're gonna need acid. Is my guy gonna be a lot of help? Is gonna be the question. Also, can I set little acid traps? Little baby traps? Here we go. Let's, I guess we're gonna find out. Did he just walk over it and not give a shit? I think that's what happened. I should, this is like one of those moments where I should be probably using this. Thing is, they're slow, so I can. Oh, I fucking missed it. Takes a while to craft these arrows. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna try aciding them up first. saying there's He's saying there's dead ravagers around I don't see them Where's the dead raven ravagers That's just rock Fuck I don't understand I mean, my acid is doing some. Where is this? Whoa. Why did it. Why did we just get, like, all of a sudden. What the fuck happened to the. All of a sudden, are we like, oh, fuck, we got fucking. <laughs> Smoked? Didn't think he was running up on me like that. Right, next up. Oh, don't like these. Oh, fuck. Really don't like that. This sucks. Ass. I'm spending my whole time dodging. Oh, did he, he toss some ammo, I think. Nice acid arrows. That's actually really handy. He's getting fired at. That's funny. And I mean, sad. I'm sorry for him, but. I'm 
empty. Damn it. I can't be missing. Fuck, like this. Not like this. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh no. This is doing good damage. Damn, it sucks because now he's going to be unpoisoned. Nice. Now I'm doing good. I don't know what the the game was saying. Like, oh, fucking about some weapons. Hey, do me a favor and get the Thunderjaw's heart. I need to check on that soldier. I don't believe the game being like, oh, there's weapons to go and pick up at all. Like, I, what's that gif? Uh, or not gif? I mean, it is a gif. I think I've seen it a lot. But the, like, anchorman, like, I don't believe you. I just don't. Also, I think animals got run over by the, by the big thing. <laughs> That's good. All right, at least we won the fight in one go. It did take a lot of resources, but... I think worth it. I did strip him of his weapons, and then I didn't use them because by that point I was just doing. Ooh! That's just madness. Oh! <laughs> Might as well, right? Fuck him. Fuck these things. I mean, I just took down a thunder draw. I can take on these. Yeah, come and fight. These might have been the things that the game wanted me to try to take off or take weapons from. Oh, it would be funny if I died to this now, wouldn't it? You wanna fight? Pain subsiding. I think this was what I was supposed to do. And try to take this thing's weapon. Please don't die. I'm gonna be very upset if I die now. Because I'm an idiot. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done what I did. Maybe I instantly regret. Ooh, that hurts. This will help. Drink it. Okay, I skipped the animation, I guess. Ow. I think that's like an actual reaction I'm causing, so. Probably better. Okay. Can my can my friend help me? It's like one of those moments where I'm like, yeah, I regret what I did. I'm sorry. Now can I get some help? 
please. Did I just miss it? Okay. <laughs> I hated that. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Why did I pick a fight with it? I just really wanted to launch the disc thing at him. Like, so bad. And now I've got, like, no healing items. It's really all my fault. But I'll get to my stash eventually and... Hard mode is no joke. I do be in hard mode. I, I always want to point that out. Like, it is my own choice. And I'm not not enjoying hard mode, though, as well. Like, I'm, I like the challenge here. Well, this will do. I should check on Draka and that soldier. That was weird that when we were doing the fight, it all of a sudden switched to, like, the desert, like, thing just weirdly got all dusty. It was like a weird filter just thrown on the game all of a sudden. Didn't think I was going to make it. You did good, soldier. You did good. You're going back home. Thanks to this one. You were the one who refused to leave your people behind. Uh, I know I'm racking up favors here, but uh, would you take those hearts back to Arrowhand? We'll be right behind you. Of course. Be careful. With that Thunderjaw heart in hand, we'll get all the water we need. Hmm. Thank you, Aloy. Gonna be a storm. I need like berries. I've like plucked every medicinal berry in the area here, it feels like. Where's my mount? Come to me. Come closer. He's so far away. Come closer, please. He's trying. Here he comes. feel comfortable running through these potential enemies. Oh no. I don't want to fight that. Definitely not at the moment. Nope, keep going. No stopping. Turn. Yeah, I did. Where's Draka? Just a little late, champ. He's got a half dead person. Gained some extra baggage on the way back. She's got the machine hearts, including a thunder jaws. You should have seen this flame in the desert. Here. Something to commemorate our heroic victory. A victory indeed. Command will be relieved to hear about this. Get them to scalding spear as soon as you can. And tell the commander how many had to die to get them. <laughs> Damn. Huntress, may I have a word? Rumors have made their way west. 
They say that in addition to your bow and spear, you have a kind of second sight, especially for matters that have to do with the old ones. Uh oh. That's one way to put it. Uh oh. So it's true. You've done well by my clan, but our troubles may not be as easily settled as Draka believes. I think your second sight might be just what we need. What exactly is the problem? Not here. Meet me at Scalding Spear. I'll explain everything. I'll see you there when I can. Good. The entire clan might depend on it. I mean... Okay. Outlander, I offer you an honorable trade. We got some... We got a glint hop beak. That's nice. A giant lift spears and metal and meridian. Um... Definitely need to access my stash here. Nice. We got plenty of those. Apex Burrower Heart. I think we picked up during the fight. Um, he gave. I found. Th oh, we got a Thunderjaw Circulator. That's nice. Got those. Do you have any good new weapons for me? Anchor rope caster. Mm -hmm. Bellow back circulator to get it though. I don't mind having, I don't think, like I said, I've only used, I think, one of those so far. But the thing is, like, I think it would be nice to have on hand. Plus, we have all these things that we're going to be able to sell here. The valuables to sell. Look at all this. Uh, sell. I think, yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, so we got a new side mission. The wound in the sand. To cooperate with Chief Hikaru. Yeah. Might as well. I kind of want to finish this side. This, or not side. This um, main thing. Main mish. Main mission. Actually, well, we're going to be up here to do, like, we see, like, Wound in the Sand. Here's a melee pit we can go do. We'll do the machine strikes when we go up, back up here, basically, I think is the uh, way to go. Let's fast travel to our closest campfire. Well, it's actually going to be way up there because a rebel outpost is a thing we can do. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I want to do a rebel outpost on our way there. Yeah, we could do it. It'd be easy. Maybe. Or at least we can mark it, you know, along the way. Let's get a manual save going just so that we don't do something dumb. Okay. Let's be on our way. We can override Persifax now and ride them. And ride them. And ride. Jump. Look at that nimble jump. Trying to get this campfire marked on the map. Oh, I tried to run over the thing. Run it over! I got it, I think. Nope. Oh, it didn't kill it in one go. I don't think I was going fast enough to kill it in one go. I think speed determines. I 
can't I can't hit it. I might be like stepping over it. Oh, I'm determined now. Get him! Get him! Put him out of his misery. What is the heavy attack I can do? Oh, it's like a galloping. Oh, well, while I'm stuck in that animation, it got away, so. Shame. What a miss. What a miss. It's horrible. Maybe it'll be an easy rebel outpost, you know? I definitely see something. Slow down a bit. Search that rabbit. Okay, I'm gonna get off my guy. Oh, it's a level 25. Oh, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm allowed to do that. But the thing is, the mission runs almost through the camp. I gotta, like, do a weird... I don't want them all coming for me. Also, we got a storm of brewing. <laughs> How can I make a large health potion? Five wild meats... No, they stored some weird potion. Three, see, I don't like how when I activate or pull from my stash, it pulls the cleanse potions out for some reason. And I know I should probably check that to make sure like it's not my fault. But damn, you know? Hmm. Doesn't like a good die. All right, I'm running around the camp basically. <laughs> Trying not to get spotted. How far up? I mean, that's pretty up into the map. That's pretty up into the map, I say. Oh, I'm running away from my point. I mean, it's going to be like this way. Which is awkward because there's the bandits. Which direction? I'm I'm spinning around. I'm like fucking idiot. There's like a little watchtower. Cloak of the night. Can enemies not see me as good at night? That'd be cool, right? Almost feels like wishful thinking of it. Too much here. A nice sunwing. Do I want to fight sunwings? No. I really don't. <laughs> kind of taking a shortcut here a bit. Now we've been in this area. Yeah. Yeah, just having three cleanse potions kind of sucks. I don't know why the game defaults to that when I take out of the thing. 
if anything, if literally anything, it shouldn't restore any of your potions if it's going to do something like that, you know? It should just be like, oh, you're going to, you, if you want to pick potions, could do that manually type thing. I mean, I don't think it even the game would have to even say that. It can just be like, that's just how it works. You don't have any parts on you? That's upsetting. I'll take this to a dyer later. You're a dyer. <laughs> take this to a dyer later. Alright, so giant thunder jaw. Scary. Don't think I want to fight it or aggravate it even. Oh shit, goose. Damn it. We want gooses, right? Attack. Shit, it's fucking gonna wait. Fuck. Fuck. Oh my god. We need goose things, don't we? Goose beaks or goose... Not just meat, please? Feather. Feather. Feather's what I need. Is there more geese around here? I hear something. Hear you, chat. Please don't see me. I guess if Fistus was busy making hunter killers. Lost Rider. Unknown campfire here. Let's get that activated on here. Nice. What else is around here? Nice. Prairie dog. Prairie dog bone. I think I needed that too. Alright, just some class striders. Those aren't too bad, right? Not too bad, he says. You can even probably maneuver around him. Carving out the area here. Making progress, doing things, making moves. If you're not making moves, you're standing still. Nice. What is this? Another rebel camp? Really? These rebels are everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to try to just get it on the map and then I can come back later to it because I assume it's going to be even more strong than the other one. What was that sound? Looks like 
Looks like Tanoth rebels have taken over these ruins. What? Rebel camp something something? Breached rock? Wait, is rebel camp different than... Rebel outpost? Rebel outpost? Rebel camp? Yeah, these are different. Look at that. Rebel outpost. Rebel camp. That's weird. I didn't know that rebel camps, rebel outpost, but they are different. You can see. Again, we can come back to it. I, I'm not too pressed to do it at the moment. Um, I'm determined to get this story mission done here. Sometimes resources look like they're glowing blue at night with the way the lighting is. Oh, I'm chasing this animal. You better believe I'm chasing this animal. There it goes. Getting rich meat and any kind of meat I think is good because that allows us to craft potions when we need to. It just sucks that I can't, like... I can't craft because, like, can I send? I wish I could send, like, what, the best solution to this would be from this menu of some sort, me being able to send a cleanse potion to the stash, right? Then it immediately empties out two, or, or go down to two, and then I'd have an empty spot where I could then craft a potion thing here you know what i mean and unless maybe from here can i do it like i fucking doubt it i doubt it um let me see tools sort i can i can sort things but i can't do yeah i doubt it very upsetting Unknown se oh settlement though that would be helpful. Where is it? It's off in the distance. It's right there. I can see it. I'd imagine that's what that is. I'm gonna. Getting steeper. Air is getting cold. Should be getting close to stone crust. Jump over water. Two hundred nineteen rocks. Sheer side climb. Oh, they're training or something. Yeah, I'll trade with you. What do you have? You have coils. Interesting. Impact damage. For squirrel hide? See, you're, the costs are too high, sir. Or ma'am, I mean. Are you certain there's nothing you require? No, I'm never certain. You have a workbench, right? But not a... Prove yourself in the hunting grounds? Your name will be honored throughout the land. Where's the workbench? Is it on the other? Oh, it's up here. Oh, you've got little stairs. Oh, look at that. I was like... Okay, so go here. Store. Here's the thing. I'm not using cleanse potions a bunch. I think they're great in theory, but while I'm on fire or acid it up or stuff, like me scrolling through the bottom menu thing to take out a cleanse potion is just a lot more difficult to do when I'm also needing to dodge a bunch of moves and like two hits kill me normally, right? So I'm going to just go health potions. I'm going to go large and two mediums. And we go from there. Maybe when I can carry more potions, it'll make more sense. But 
I can't at the moment, so... Actually, I have a workbench now. Maybe I can. Pouch upgrades, pouch upgrades. Resource pouch. Medicinal berries goes up. Food resources, perfect. Common resources, 125. Yeah, that's good. And this was because what? I picked up a goose feather. Yeah. Very good. Very fucking good. Um, Karja Blaze on. Karja Blaze on! Blaze on. Blaze on. Uh, Aloy, I can remember Aloy's name, so I kept saying Blaze on because I wanted to say Blaze on, Aloy. Like it's some kind of. Oh, we got snow. Yeah, we're going into snow area here. That's exciting. I guess. If you're into snow. Snowy environments. Blue. It's blue. It's very blue and cold. and Hunting grounds. Oh, there's a hunting grounds area up here. Oh. Get it on the map. Get it on the map. Get it on the map. Strike Carver. What uh, cool pieces do you have? Roller back. A roller back. A level twenty things. Yeah, I need to get back to the plain song ones and do those at some point soon. Around in that billow back sack. Billow back sack. I just like saying billow back sack. Alright, well that's been marked. Nope, don't wanna talk. I'm I'm finishing this main quest now, lady. Winter Paleberry. Got some new resource type. I assume that's like food stuff, right? You make more foods. Uh oh, there's combat music is happening. Whoa! Oh, there's fighting going on. Shit! Look at the trap going off and. Got you. Oh, did I? Who's the bad guys? I can't get a shot in on her. I'm running around like a fucking idiot. Where's? You're dead. There you go. Ow. I'm gonna assume I did good there. <laughs> Couldn't tell. It's dark and I'm like, I don't know who I'm supposed to kill or not. Who's the bad? I set up like a trap and I'm just like... See the shitty rudimentary, like, fucking rock trap just slowly drop boulders on these people and I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> I thought it was, I honestly thought it was fighters, like hunters trying to kill like robots with traps and then the rocks just kind of hit themselves and they're like, ooh. But that was not the case. So, 
dun dun dun. I was like, where's the glow of the robots? And then. Trying to get the Fanghorn site here. I can get these guys. It's just like Watch this. This will be easy. What are the parts I probably need? The antlers, I would imagine. Oh shit. He got up from his meal or whatever. I think it's just really the horns and stuff I'm going to start. these other things though. Uh, dodge. Ooh, not dodge. Good kill. Give me these horns though. Whoa. Grab. Grab. I need to make it back to the that one area, the main hub. Not I keep calling it one and call like main hub and stuff, but it's not really a main hub, right? It's our main base of operations type thing. That type of deal, because I can do stuff there. I mean, I could picked up some drones to, like, drop off, and... Watch this. <laughs> that actually really does well. Oh, come on. I'm not going to be able to hit you while you're running like that. And I just miss. Do this the harder way. Fuck. Oh, you're doing fireballs, dude. Okay, the fireballs suck. knock off its horns while it's on the ground like this? I mean, whatever. I probably can. Though, I didn't see the horns. Did I knock those off earlier? I... Oh, is that the one that I knocked off over up here? I think so. With the blasty. I think that's what. why it didn't look like it had horns. Wait, when did I switch to this? That was my bad. No, don't run. Don't run. I'm... Don't run! That was a wild shot I did. Fuck. It's too smart. Pull! Pull. Oh, it's all the way up there. Can I get up there? Come on. Yep. Yep. Where is it? There it is. It's an owl feather. Hmm. 
Another unknown rebel outpost? Really? How many... Fuck. Outposts a million. Damn it. Outposts a million. I must think I'm so clever. Pull. Just owl hunting. Oh, actual owl feather. What was the other thing I picked up? Owl something else? Owl. Oh, here it goes. What is that? I'll get it on the map. Oh, is there? Where's over there? Oh, animal, or there's that, them. And of course, they're fighting something. What am I looking at? What are they fighting? Purgewater ammo could help here. Spike snout? Interesting. I can't get to this until I have the ability to do whatever with these metal flower looking shits, so. Bummer. I would like to get this marked on the map, but it's like. Go into it. Let me see something. Blocked path now marked on the map. Rebel outpost. <laughs> To get rid of their leader. Maybe then the rest Alright, I marked it on the map and I'm running out. I'm running away. Don't pay any attention to me. Okay, got the blocked path thing marked on there. That was being annoying to it wasn't like marking itself well. And I think I had to get onto the bench thing for some reason. Something wants to fight me. What is yelling at me? It's like a machine making horrible noises at me around here. bizarre I need to be able to carry more a arrows on these two things cleaving sharp shot like both of these especially this only being able to carry two or three I mean bad oh hey is that the one oh they're back I see can make use of this. <laughs> Damn it. I hate missing with nice arrows, you know? Always pissed. I like how they get mad right when I knock the horn off. Dodge. Now, really? That hit me? That counts as a hit? Fucking asshole. A little extra non hit there. Now these guys are like, huh? You want to mess with us? And I'm like, sorta. Ooh, okay. 
I see you. Oh man, this would be a lot better if I could hit. <laughs> cool. <laughs> this would be a lot cooler if I could actually hit. Ooh, knocked down. That was good. I'm trying to get one more before it dies. I don't think I got it. Damn. Whatever. I think I knocked off a blaze canister. Everyone loves blaze canisters, yeah? <laughs> Moved right when I shot. That's cool. All right, we're almost to the settlement here. Hello. Oh, I like the colors. Hello. Hello, people. This must be Stonecrest. Here to learn how to should fight. Be waiting for me. I already, I already know how to Maybe fight. I should look around first. Is this like they built like? Oh, look at how this is built. This is crazy. This is crazy. You, you just lost your balance and fall off. Are you an intermediate strike player? Are you the third intermediate? No, you're experienced. You're an experienced fella. Game of strike. I don't want to face an experienced man. I still have I still have some intermediates to face. Alright, we got workbenches, we got things. Bellow Blast Spike Thrower. Is that better than my prototype spike throw? Probably. Huh. It has two different ammo types, so it has the explodey ones and then regular impact ones. I want it. I would like it. Um. Oh, you can compare max level. That's a ni nice handy thing to see. So yeah, it outclasses that. Um, I just don't have an elemental claw strider circulator though. Darn. You, oh, you have food? Oh, I want to make food with you. I can pick up two different foods. What do you have? Encrusted Snowbird. Don't have foods for that. Mountain Trail Bread. Take less damage while mounted. I'll buy two of those. Good soldier. Thank you. Where's Katolo? Seems like an ass. Crazy. I just want to talk. What's this? This writing. It's Karja. I think it was left behind by Marshal Fashal. Fashal. Okay, Stonecrest. Carefully written Karja glyphs with Fashal's personal mark, evidently part of a diary or journal. My first venture into the Shearside Mountains has been marked by dry, cold, biting beauty and humbling admiration. Whereas the Desert Clan is forced to use old world ruins as a, excuse me, foundations for their settlements, sand makes for poor structural support, the Sky Clan sees the high peaks for strategic advantage. I must admit, being former Karja High Command, I thank the sun that my people never pushed this far into Tanakh territory. We would not have enjoyed it. I'd expected the Sky Tanakh to be nomadic like the Banuk. But quite the opposite is true. We know the Manuk. The clan wars molded them into a reclusive faction that takes pride in their defensive capabilities, which is why they're not coming out. Stonecrest is a formidable example. Serving as both border outposts and hunting station, provides an unobstructed view of the surrounding area and precise control over its entry points. 
any hostile force vying for access to the valley would undoubtedly suffer massive losses. My trusted escorts, both of Hikaro's lowland clan, showed little enthusiasm for my diplomatic mission to improve uh, relations with Commander Takote. I don't know. They grow even more silent as we close in on the extravagantly colored sky markings. My military and tactical observations are met with brooding looks. This is me confused. They accepted a card as marshal after mere months, but the bad blood between clans still lingers after two decades of Hikaro's peaceful reign. It will be enlightening to hear the Sky Clan's perspective on such matters. Meeting this Takote fellow should be interesting. Hmm. Oh, look at this person just looking over. Looking over the land. Do you have a rumor for me or something? Yeah, you do. When it works, I like this rumor system. Yeah, what you got? Nothing happens in this area without me knowing about it. What you got? In fact, I should tell you. A tall necks made its home in an abandoned village southwest of here. They always tell me about But I hear necks. there's other less amenable machines stalking the area. I'd avoid going anywhere near there if I were you. Thanks for the heads up. Cool. But if I can override that tall neck, I'll get a lot of data about the surrounding area. It's worth checking out. Yeah, it is. So where's the other middle uh, intermediate strike person then? It could be just like the beginners where I couldn't find where I had already battled him, but like, I think I've only faced one. So here's the second, and then what's the other settlement that would have had with him? I always try doing this, but then it doesn't work like I think it should. Right? Like, I can do that. Oh, so there's two. That's a mission. That's a mission. Go to the tall neck, it's a mission, not some kind of fucking strike, strike, strike prison, strike prison. It could be like, is there maybe a, well, I don't think there'd be like a settlement of people there, like big enough. Beginner, beginner. If we're following, like, basic, like, oh, you know, as you move further west, the players get harder. Because, like, we have, like, a hard person here. Maybe here? I mean, is it too close to that? Somewhere in here, then, maybe, probably, is another intermediate. There's got to be, like, some kind of land here is probably the thing, right? Hmm. I don't know. Who can say? Oh, Bright Feather was that owl thing that I picked up, but it's just a sellable thing. Unfortunate. Hello, Catalo. This valley is infested with regardless rebels. The scouts from the village tell us that they've been moving machines through here for days. Some they ride, others they herd along, and some they even strip for parts, especially cannons. The path ahead will not be easy. We should get going. My orders are to guide you to the bulwark so that you can speak to Dakota. Dakota. All the good it'll do. Jeez. Not so fast. I'm gonna need a little more than that. And you're gonna tell me all this. For all the good it'll do? What's that supposed to mean? The bulwark has stood unyielding since the birth of our clan. Behind it, Dakota believes himself to be invulnerable. 
If he insists on defining Carl's orders, an outlander and a maimed marshal, I'm going to change his mind. Your chief seems to think differently. And that is the only reason I am still standing here, talking to you. What makes you so sure Takote won't listen to us? A snake safe in its lair hears nothing but its own rattle. Come on, is that all you've got for me? <laughs> Hikaru said you were from the Sky Clan before becoming a marshal. I need to know what you know. Takote is a petty, vindictive schemer. If he had any guts, he would have gone after Hikaru long ago. But instead, he covets the chieftain from behind the bulwark, biding his time, hoping that his foes will weaken one another. Is that enough for you? Hmm. For now? What makes the bulwark so impenetrable? It's made of massive boulders, impervious to any frontal assault. No army or machine has ever penetrated it. I am the only thing that can get you inside. If Aren't you special? We're done talking, that is. Nope, we're gonna talk more, son. What is this place? Stonecrest was built as an outpost, back when the clans were still at war. Its purpose was to guard the entrance to the valley, as well as keep watch on what happens below. And for now, that means keeping watch on Regala's forces. I wish we had enough soldiers to do more than just look on. You were at the embassy. I was. I'm sorry about the other marshals. And their deaths will not go unpunished. <laughs> Looks at my non arm. I'll never heal. But that won't stop me from cracking any skulls that need it. Good thing you're on my side then. <laughs> 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 Why do you think Regala's forces are driving machines through the valley? We've heard similar reports from across the clan lands. The rebels are gathering machines from the wilds, but whatever control they have over them doesn't seem to last. So they herd them into camps. Something else happens there. Something... Something that makes their control permanent. An override with two phases. Don't know about that. You are speaking worse. gibberish. We've heard rumors that the rebels are scouting larger machines. I don't know what kind. Let's hope they don't learn how to override them, too. Hmm. All right. So, what's the plan? The bulwark is to the southwest. So undoubtedly we'll have to cross paths with Regala's troops along the way. We'll either have to fight our way through, or find a way to sneak past unnoticed. Neither will be easy. Never is. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Alright, I gotta go uh, restroom, and I'm gonna stretch my legs and stuff, so I will be right back. Give me like five minutes, and we'll... Uh, We'll have a. We'll come back and do the sneaking or whatever. We'll see. I'll be right back. Give me, like I said, five minutes at most.
All right. Sorry if that was a little, little longer than five minutes, like I originally said. <clears throat> I went and walked outside for a sec and gathered a, a second beverage to grab. It was at least more than 10 minutes because my controller went dead. Whoops. Okay, I'm sorry. We're fine. Everything's great. On me. Let's go. Let's go. How would you convince Dakota to send his challengers? I wouldn't. <sighs> Come on. To knock the respect of Blade and the strength of the fighter who wields it. How good is anyone who lacks that? Well, lucky for us, we're both good fighters, but let's hope it won't come to that. Hmm. So this whole valley is the Sky Clan's territory? Yes. Yes. The Clan has defended it for generations. Against who? The other to knock the clans. Even the Karja, long ago. If you want a history lesson, talk to the chaplains. When you left the grove, how did you know I'd agree to help Hikaru? When the chief wants to persuade someone, he succeeds. Hmm. Rebels ahead. Hacking away at that machine. Gut them. Or sneak around. I will follow. Where are they? see him oh I was like I don't see him yeah we're gonna fight him we can kill him shall be simple Damn it. Outlander. The fallen Marshal. There we go. You heard them. Wow, did he kill? Nice. Dude, this guy can fight with one arm. <laughs> Impressive. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Do do do. Do, 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 do. What is that? There's a thing here. Airstrike request. Column bearing southwest. Survivors from the Reno line. Our uh, Horus in pursuit. Immediate airstrike at coordinates. Please respond right on top of us. <laughs> 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 Useful for making dice. What's my data corrupted noise? Parts, maybe to make more overrides. And Dakota won't do anything? Why would he when he has the bulwark? I grew up behind the wall. It's easy to have a full sense of safety there. Bum, 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 in the clearing. Take the lead. I see. How many, how many are we talking? Three, four? some valuable resources if we clear them out. I hate when they have... It's like, I get it. I get it. But when they have the head armor and I have to shoot it to, like, make it so that I can't just, like, one-shot snipe them, you know, through... It's upsetting to me. Honestly, it's upsetting. 
I want to just be able to sn sneaky, like, stealth kill him, you know? What's the other resources? Oh, whole snowbird? Oh, it's like winter food things. Let me see. Impact. Heavy area damage with knockback. Adhesive. Slows movement. Fire. Damage over time. Increases impact damage. So frost only increases the amount of impact damage you do. I get it. Yeah. So when someone's frosted, I should really switch to just impact stuff. Makes sense. All right, I'm gonna try this again. Well, actually this could do damage. Like rip through. The snow's coming down heavy. What if I set a fucking trap? Are they dumb enough to like run through the trap? That's what I'd be curious about. Okay, I thought that was gonna be explosive barrels, but it was not. So that's great. Okay, the shields suck. Ow. I think it'll break if I hit it enough. Yeah. Why am I taking on two? <laughs> coming from behind we've got you surrounded I'm gonna fight did I get stat I got I think I got slashed by my own guy now let's go my own guy believe it well they didn't run into my trap so <laughs> it's all good i guess what is in here yo rare supplies in the barrel that's pretty cool i would not have suspected that and that was a, i only hit because i thought it was gonna be Explosive barrel. Explosive barrel. So good thing I fought them because I wouldn't get have that. I love resources. Come this way. I feel like an absolute baller having two drinks next to me. Water and caffeine drink. Mmm. Back at Stonecrest, you said the rebels have been moving through here for days. By the time Dakota realizes he's outmatched, this entire valley might be overrun. If not for the sake of the rest of the clan, I would welcome that day. To see his pride ruined. Okay, well. 
Maybe we can change his mind. Here it is. The bulwark. Let me know when you are ready, and I will announce us. You have to announce us? Is there any reason I shouldn't just do it now? We should not delay. Well, you're the one who was saying I had to do a thing or something. An color for my armor? Yeah, go ahead. Announce us, sir. Oh, it's a horn! Horn! Oh. You there! A marshal requests an audience with your clan commander. I didn't know there were any marshals left. We defend the path to the mountain, where the wings of the ten shall find us. All right, marshal. I'll send the lift for you. Oh, nice. Get in the thing. What am I looking at? When we meet with Dakota, I'll do the talking. Why was she looking at that? I'm confused. We'll see how it goes. Is that like a weak point in the structure? Or is that something she's having some kind of idea, I think. I think I assume it's gonna come up at some point, whatever that was. Back again. So this was home. A long time ago. Come on. Cool. Oh, maybe this place has the... There's machine strike thing here. Maybe this will be the... Oh, it's probably going to be another experience, isn't it? I guess we'll find out. But another new big settlement. A melee pit? Nice. Melee pits. What's he doing with an outlet? I'm not sure what's going on there. <laughs> Osram Arrowbreaker. Utaru Harvester. Oh, it's got the dorky head thing again. Karja Wanderer. I kind of like this. Look at that. I like the blue. I like the... Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Well, this is a warm welcome. I heard you got some fresh ink. What'd you do? I think I might head over to the hunting grounds later. Hello, people. Hey, all you people. Hey, all you people. Hey, all you people, won't you listen to me? Oh, yeah. I'd like to see what my die options are on the new this thing. Oh, I really eliminate the yellow. The cool, like, yellow if I change it. Um, I don't think I like the new these colors. I wish I could rotate Aloy to see, like, the other side, but... I kind of like the yellow and the blue accents there. Hey, all you people. Hey, all, what are you? You're a painter. <gasps> what do I have right now? North Seeker. Um, do I have any... I don't know if I like the full face things. Is the pro Not problem, but... Just the, the eye things are weird. It's like I'm just wearing eye makeup. Like, <laughs> just seems silly to me a bit. I kind of 
kind of like, see the Banuke ones are kind of cool. Like that's cool. I do, what is the one I have on right now? The North Seeker, this is cool. I thought this was cool. Um, I like like just the eye accent ones that detail like things around the, let's change it up. Let's change it up. Get fancy, let me see my face now. Yeah, that's cool. Machine muscle. Where's this machine strike person? I thought it was. Hmm. Well, you're a melee pit man. Well, eventually I'll get it to you. A spectacle. Oh, stop Words complaining. Where I, grew up. I never decided which was worse. When they shunned me or when they stopped and stared. Right now, I prefer shunned. The um the machine strike person I think is. Oh, can I get up there? Ooh, yup, baby. Thanks for your random shit. That I will turn around and sell right back to you guys. <laughs> Hello. We're here for Takote. Let us in. Eating. Um, num, num, num. <laughs> the Sky Clan's mighty son. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Bless the ten. Your chief has demanded an immediate dispatch of all challengers to the cool route. We're here to make sure yours haven't gotten lost on their way to the grove. I see. Gala must have dealt our chief a mighty blow if he's sending you two as messengers. This one defeated Regala's champion, Grutta, at the embassy. She fought honorably. I had the sense to bar our soldiers from that embassy, just as I have the sense now to keep our challengers here. If they must fight, then they will fight here, defending our walls, our clan. That wall won't protect you. Not from the machines Regala controls. They're already at your doorstep. <laughs> and what do you know of the battles that the Bulwark has withstood? The blood shed upon stone. I know it wasn't meant to be used as a coward's shield. You were a great warrior once. That was then. Damn. And tell Hakaro, with all due respect, that we will keep our challengers here for as long as we are safe behind the bulwark. <laughs> Here's the door. <laughs> I told you, words are useless with his kind. We're gonna have to kill him. It won't be easy with all those men about. Are you even listening? I don't want to just kill him. For as long as we are safe behind the bulwark, he said. Are we going to intentionally sabotage this place? I need to get a closer look at that wall. Damn. Why? Why? <sighs> a 
The snow brought the chill. I wanted to see the machine strike thing. Let me see. Is it going to allow me to go back in here? The commander doesn't want you in his quarters. But no, it says the machine. I'm just curious. Let me see. Boop. I'm curious. Oh, it's down here. Is there no oh. one here bold enough? Can I see if he's yeah experienced to play a game of strike against me? Be guided by your honor, Outlander. That wall might not be as strong as Dakota thinks it is. Oh, she's gonna rip it apart and just fucking. the base of it and check it out. So basically, sabotage it, which I respect. She's like, fuck your defenses, honestly. Ancient sculpture. Hold on to this for later. I think that's the thing I got at the, um, in that barrel. Barrel, so it's not a good resource, it's just a selling thing. Hey, all you people, hey, all you people, won't you listen to me? Hmm. <laughs> okay, I see. Outfit upgrades don't help at the moment. Nothing weapon wise. Cool. Do I have to get out of here? Beaten already, Outlander. Asshole. Oh, just you wait. Noom. <laughs> Noom. I need to get a little distance from the wall in order to scan it properly. Okay, time to scan the wall. Where's that weak point thing that I saw earlier, yeah? Is that what I'm looking for? Okay, time to scan the wall. Oh, I've missed it. That's what I thought. There's something metal in there. Oh, Error, insufficient in data. Scan. I need to get closer. Might be able to climb up on the left side of the wall near that waterfall. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's getting dark. Where is Hi, this you. water coming from? <laughs> Look what I found. Is flowing into the wall towards a hollow, maybe. The rocks here might give way. Hello. Nice. Melee pit. Melee pit. Chain scrape. Melee pit. We already did that. I wish it would just mark it off. It bugs me. It irks me. To no end. Stalker circulator. Where am I? Game progress. Oh man, not even 30% yet. Man, we've played, what, four and a half hours? I mean, we took a little break, but like, oh, there's a lot to this game, dude. We're fine. We're going at a good pace, I think. I'm crawling. Now, better scan that tank again. What is this? Power core. I'll bet if I blew it up. <sighs> but how? Well, can't do anything else here. Better go find Catalo. I'm gonna blow it up. I 
can hear like people on the other side of the wall it seems from the settlement which is a nice touch don't don't take fall damage please Here you are. Just chilling. The guard said you've been scurrying around the wall like a rat. No. What in the name of the ten have you been up to? Dakota <gasps> said he wouldn't send his challengers as long as they're safe behind the bulwark. Right? Oh, don't remind me. So we take it down. <laughs> Seems a little Did underhanded. You head on the way down here? I'm serious. There's something from the old world stuck in there. And it has a power cell. I could blow it up if I just penetrate the first layer of rock and Even metal. Even if what you're saying is true, it would take a cannon to do that. You're right. Then let's get a cannon. And you said the rebels were stripping them off machines back in the valley. Come on. No. I'm not getting dragged further into this madness. Hikaru ordered you to help me. Damn. You gonna defy him like that arrogant shit up there? good to know they kept curse words after apocalypse and they like life reset <laughs> the rebels might have made camp northeast of here and then what the two of us go up against all of them pretty much yeah oh you may lack sense but you don't lack courage so um back there with dakote like there's bad blood between you two. There is. If we make it through this plan of yours, perhaps I'll tell you. I'll hold you to that. We're getting close to where we saw the rebels before. Well, it looks like the rebels just got a lot more firepower. Whoa. Move out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's what we're going to fight here. That person trying to control this thing is so hard. His best. You wanted your cannon, and that thing has him. This won't be easy to take down, especially with this. I'll handle the big guy. You focus on the others. I'll follow you in. Nice. Here. Oh, he's got a nice little weapon. Okay. I gotta scan this. Maybe I should see if there's anything I can use to take that thing down. My focus can help. Up, Rebel Tremor Tusk. Weakness to ice. Hut support beam. Amplifying sack. Heat sink. Blaze, blaze sack, obviously. Tusks are detachable. Ammo drum. Might as well just mark. Sparker, we don't. Canister will blow if I hit it with a shock arrow. Interesting. Salvo cannon. But overall, weak to ice. We have some. What is around here? What is this? Chill water. Exposure to frost and vulnerable to impact. Exposure to frost ammo will trigger an explosion. All right, we got this. Taking out some of these little guys with stealth strikes would be nice. Don't get seen, don't get seen. Don't 
get seen. What is this? Cargo refining sack. So I'm gonna, it's clearly they've put these around this place so that I can just trigger um, cold explosions around here. I just need to lure them correctly into it. We got some rock traps over there. So we have assistance. It's just gonna be, oh, here we go. Here's this man. Come closer, sir. Nice. Oh. Oh shit, we, this fucking thing is just ready to fight me. Uh, I think we might as well, it might just be time to do it because. I mean, I'm scared and I'm probably gonna die, but it's fine. Oh, nope, he hasn't seen me. Oh, can I? This is either gonna be really good or really bad. Did that do what I wanted? I don't know if it was, but now I'm hurt. Or I'm... Great. Craft, craft. Okay, he's frosted. So now we go underneath. Hit underneath. Oh my god. Run. There we go. Now it's on fire. Oh my god. Shit. God damn it. Okay. Can't aim for shit. Oh my god. Potion. Hurt. Crap. Oh no. I hope the I hope my friend is killing the fucking Ow. Is that I'm getting hit with arrows. What the fuck? I'm, not up. <laughs> I'm getting pelted with arrows by the people that are around here. <gasps> What's this weapon? Give this to me. <laughs> oh, the one shot. <laughs> nice. Okay. Maybe I should see if there's anything I can use to take that thing down. My focus can help. Load up, squad. Oh, Soon we march. The Sky Clan will fall. <laughs> God, I just got one tapped out of this fucking elephant thing, just being like, mmm. Honestly, just mark it all. We're... There's a person on top of it, right? Or in the front of it, riding it? It works. Does this guy have 
head armor. Yeah. This music is like brrrr. I don't know how to. Just let's just start the fight. Yeah, this person on top sucks. This person on top can eat my nut. Did that kill him? No, it didn't. That did, though. Stay mobile here. Where's that weapon that I saw here? I think this will help. That's, that's a good amount of damage, you know? There. I'm taking defense against the rock here, up against the rock here. Oh, hello. You're mucking my yum. Like seriously, I'm battling this fucking giant thing and then it's like, oh, you want me to fight? Good. This does some good damage here. It's not super accurate or anything, but it's not really the intention. There we go. Alright, can I help you guys? Help my one-armed friend, potentially? There he is. I'll go ahead and take those. So now what? K 
kill the... T oh, I get there's still rebels around here that I need to find. Rebels, where are you? Where where are you? Guys, I, I... Where are you? Guys? Did he come in here and kill a lot of people? Did he already do a lot for me? Oh, I guess they're done. Did he finish them? Well, no, it says there's still people. Let me try to find them. Animals, animals. What is this? That ballista could do some damage. Well, it doesn't matter. We. Where am I gonna aim the ballista? Dismount. I don't need to. There's got to be bad guys somewhere around here because it's still. Is this guy still technically alive? No, he's dead, right? Can I shoot these off after it's... No. Is it just glowing because I set the glow to be glowing? I have no idea where these people are. Kill the Tremor Tusk, Tremor Tusk, and the Rebels. Tremor Tusk? definitely dead at the moment um so you would be like okay there's still rebels somewhere the thing is there's probably like a random person just chilling I want this. Oh wait, there are more up there? Is that what the game's saying? Let me see this map. Why is it pointing me... Oh. Okay. Not sure what happened, but... Wait, it says return. Bum, 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 bum. I'm here, sir. Kill. It's because it's some weird long... I'll look around here. Going to please don't be glitched. Please don't be glitched. Please don't be glitched. I just don't see any people. I'll run around and look for them though. Here's our intruder. Oh, hello. Where were you? Was this person stuck in the rock or something? Were you the last? That was the last person. Jesus. My goodness. That is hilarious. I have to climb it. Honk. Give me your cannon. Give me relinquish. I'm all 
looking forward to hauling this all the way to the bulwark. Hmm. Here. I may be maimed, but I've still got a strong back. Damn. I'm surprised Aoi just lets him do that. I'd be like, uh, you After know what? I got it. I'll uh I'll carry it. Hey. I've got two working arms. You fought well back there. I did not think we'd survive. But killing the rebels and the machine. It was good to take the fight to them for once. You really think this thing will do the job? Yep. Well, I do. Soon enough. Setting up the weapon. Read. Oh, I see. He's gonna put it down so I can grab. Here it is. But you don't just need a cannon. You need a miracle. Oh yeah. Coming right up. You don't believe me? Go on. Okay. Gotta blast away some rocks so I can expose the power cell. They'd be like, you're attacking our place. You know what I mean? Like, they should be, like, pissed that I'm doing this. This isn't gonna work. Well, isn't this impressive? Two children playing siege. I hope they haven't hurt the bulwark's feelings. Come now. Stop embarrassing yourselves. And leave this poor mountain alone. This is your last chance, Takote. You can still answer Hikaru's call. This is your last chance. You have it backwards. Leave this place, Savage, now. And take this cripple with you. Jesus. That's so... Damn, they're like, fuck, we're gonna destroy your place if you don't come with us. Like, this seems like a an open act of hostility towards these people. They don't want to come, and they need to come, but, like, Jesus. Just destroyed their defensive settlement. <laughs> Just seems crazy. Like, that's the option. Have you done... Can't hide behind the wall anymore, Takote. Now you have to join Hikaru. Never. Never. We will. We will rebuild it. Immediately. You are not safe. The bulwark couldn't protect you from a single cannon, let alone an army of machines. The only pathway to safety is to unite against Regala with your chief. You decreed that no challengers would be sent, while the clan remained safe behind the bulwark. So send them now. Unless your word means nothing. Send them. I didn't hear you. Send the challengers. I look forward to seeing the Sky Clan's colors in the arena. Got him. Nicely done, Marshal. What's gonna happen to this place? They'll have to live without their wall. But that's better than living apart from the tribe, as pawns in Takote's foolish schemes. If you want to check up on them, talk to Jera, the chaplain of the clan. If anyone needs help up there, she'll know. Yeah, maybe I will. I'll take my leave then. 
I need to report to Hikaru. I'll see you at the college. Good. You may need another miracle there as well. Maybe we I should go up there, see if everyone's all right, and find this chaplain, Gara. <laughs> Might also be a good idea to resupply before I head back out. Can I just get in here like this now? I can. Sorry for destroying your wall, I'm so sorry, guys. I know it's a kind of a mean thing I did. At least I don't have to take the stupid, like, elevator now. Are you Chaplain Jera? Catalo said I should talk to you to see if you need help. Bold move, wallbreaker. Burying Jacote's pride beneath the bulwark's rubble. I, I was just... At ease. Many in the clan agree with you, and Marshal Cotello was right to send you to me. There is something you can help with. A few of our soldiers followed him to the embassy at Baron Light, against Takote's orders. Right. I remember Cotello showed up last, with only a few representatives from the Sky Clan. When those soldiers returned home, Takote reassigned them to an old watchtower, one we had abandoned to the machines. He insisted that with war brewing, it must be reclaimed, but those soldiers are serving no one out there. If, however, they were to return by request of Hakaro's champion, Takote wouldn't have the backing to deny them, especially when their chaplain supports their return. Tell a few soldiers to come home and give Takote another black eye? Sounds easy enough. Go to the cold rushes, a long stretch to the west. The watchtower stands beside the falls. Speak to Kiva there. Kiva. Squad's leader. Good luck. Kiva. It's an errand. It's not even a full-on side quest. How dare they insult me. Oh, God. I'm stuck. My brother will make it. What's going on here? The Wallbreaker. Jekka's brother here went off to get himself killed. He'll finish the climb. I know it. <laughs> Not likely. My brother Pento left to climb the March of the Ten to get his soldier's mark. They were supposed to be done by now, but he's not back yet. Jekka, Rataka, to your training, now. Get back to work and stop your gossiping. Your brother should have stuck to his cleaning duties. Damn. Would you mind checking up on the march? If I leave, my squad leader will kick my ass. And I don't want anyone thinking I'm worried about my brother making the climb. Because I'm not. I get it. You can't miss the path. Markers. Totally not worried. They're by the waterfall west of here. If I head that way, I'll see what's going on. Thank you. Me? Worried? No. No slacking, soldier. I'm coming, I'm coming. Pento, you better stay safe. How do I get up higher? There's one more exclamation point. Wish I didn't have to drill with all this armor on. Less complaining and more climbing, check up. Yes, sir. The outlander has shown us. Were her feet off the ground? Can I ask what you're arguing about? Oh, Sariva won't let it rest. She insists our comrade Farika flew on the wings of the Ten. But I say, hanging on to a Stormbird for dear life isn't the same. <sighs> a Tanakh rode a Stormbird? She went up in the air. But road is a strong word. Ha! Huh, you admit it. You're talking about her like she's no longer around. She's not. After she grabbed onto the machine, it flew off with her to that mountain top. Jesus. Oh, I thought she like fell and died. But we never saw Farika again. <laughs> Just like so, fell from a great height. I'll say. A shame no one can reach that mountain top. 
She was a great soldier with armor to match, and it serves no one lying up there. I'm a pretty good climber. Oh, is it good yeah, armor that I can just take off a dead corpse? Freaka did, there's no realistic way to get up there. I see. For now. I'm telling you, she flew. Still doesn't count. Get some water here. Water bottle, no water bottle noises. She flailed. All right, so we've got. Oh look at this. Soldiers march. Call and response. On hold until the wings of the ten has been completed. What's the wings of the ten? On hold until it's not Talon. Talana arrives at the Osram camp. So you have to. Interesting. Hmm. Tremor Tusk. Gunk. Gunk. Okay. I definitely. Uh, let's see. More of those. More of these. Okay. I gotta take another restroom break here really quick. I'll just mute myself. I won't even. To let you know, I'll be back super quick. I'm not even gonna BRB screen. Why does this look like a chicken wing? Oh, a desert bird wing. Okay. I was like, why does it look like a chi like a full chicken wing? And then we'll figure out which um, quest we're gonna do. I mean, the cow root is this one, so that's more of the story thing. The Sky Clan's challenger's on the way. The cow root is ready to begin. Claim Ether, Alien must ensure the competition succeeds. I assume something bad's going to happen when we get there, and I'm going to have to fight people. But we'll see once I'm back. Give me, like, two minutes here.
Okay, headset on. All right, let's see. What mission are we gonna do? What are we gonna What are we gonna do? How long have I been playing? Five hours. So at most we have. I think I can only. I'm only going to, at max, you know, in one fucking sitting, do twelve hours because that's the longest I can upload to YouTube anyway, as we've learned. So at most less than seven hours left in this day saturday with horizon in my head i'm thinking just continuing with the story mission makes sense these on hold missions are weird very strange right or like just weird presentation in general um <laughs> have eight points to spend deal more damage to machine components and weak spots hmm. kind of want more of these special weapon technique stuff focus shot your currently selected arrow type and depletes a medium amount. Increase your weapon zoom while aiming. Fire a powerful shot that deals extra damage. So increase zoom. There's a powerful shot that deals extra damage. So it does like it's like peak sniping basically. Kinda want it. Cover weapon stamina, earn additional valor when using silent strike. That seems good to me. Deal more ranged impact damage while in stealth. Nice. Shredder mine. Launch a shredder that ricochets off its point of contact before hovering in place. Then shock damage targets within range for a limited time. So it bounces and then it just like... That's actually pretty interesting. What is this? Lob a burst of bombs in front of you. Oh, this is for blast sling though. Oh, interesting. That's an interesting attack. Fire eight bolts of your currently selected type in a wide, short range spread. Boom. So it's just a eight. That's actually really good. Just like eight shots, just poof. with this thing. With this thing. Spread blast. So you can just like obviously just go bam. So that you don't have to like hold, charge up, and then like release to do like a thing. You can just ka -kung! like I want to. I would do it, but I don't want to like waste ammo or whatever. But that seems good. That seems like massively worth it. You can fast travel back here, right? I don't see a point in us not fast traveling back. Just gotta find the um campfire. Get out of this snow. Nice, 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 nice. Pass. Outlander, Chief Hello. Caro and Marshal Catalo await you within. Sounds good. The cool route should be starting soon. 
Oh, are they gonna do it on the stage here? Able to access the chamber below Hikaro's throne. And either. Outlander, the chief awaits you in the arena, past the throne. Oh, there's an arena past the throne. Interesting. Oh, here's the thing. Medina exhibit. Uh, defiance of the federal government, Medina declared that he would depict all the profits of his mind, or dedicate all the profits of his minds to habit, uh, habitation efforts, hoping as many Southwestern as possibly pass. Southwesterners, as possible, stay on their land. This unselfish rallying cry echoed throughout the hot zone, causing other mining interests and businesses to follow suit. The federal government responded by following through on its threat to cut off water supplies. This suddenly galvanized the pro uh, protest movement. Medina's alliance signed a multi-year agreement with the South American water cartel Mariser, joint effort by David Crofton. What is this little, little hidey hole? It's a little hidey hole. Um. Hmm. Another hidey hole. Hidey holes everywhere. Faraday exhibit. Uh, the job went to Anne Faraday, born and raised in the hot zone, Needles, California, and a colonel in the Air Force. When De La Hoya instigated the takeover bases in the region, she had uh, been a dissenter and so didn't fight in the war, but was instrumental in peacefully evacuating other neutral personnel. During the conflict, she became one of the nation's leading voices for a nonviolent solution, which, combined with her familiarity with the region and military background, made her credible to both sides. Three months into her appointment, Faraday gave an address to Congress, Austin ostensibly as a progress report, but actually a ringing statement of purpose. She transcended her usual plain-spoken military directness, passionately highlighting the need for community and unity in the face of an uncertain future dominated by climate change and increased automation. Came to be regarded as one of the finest moments of oratory in blah, blah, blah. I like behind the throne is like another is a wall of something. A wall of light projection. De La Hoya exhibit. Among those was Colonel Edward De La Hoya, commander of JTF-10, deeply charismatic officer with family ties to Roberto Medina. De La Hoya grew up near the Arizona-Nevada border and was res responsible for having the task force based near Tucson. Several of his subordinates had families in the area, all of them were uh, apoplectic about 73H, despising as an unforgivable federal overreach. The threat of being driven off their land, no matter how uninhabitable it had become, resonated with soldiers throughout the unit and beyond, many of whom were conservative states or areas affected by climate change. As the Marasser Agreement took shape, Medina consulted with De La Hoya, who then took the case to his top lieutenants. Everybody agreed that the federal government was likely to send drones against the water fleet. De La Hoya, who came to prominence as a pilot, told the others he was prepared to single-handedly take on the drone squadron in... 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 In who knows. This must lead to the arena. It's a very cool scene. To all guests of the museum, please remember to wear light protective clothing when visiting our outdoor exhibits. Dust goggles, gloves, sunshades, and respiratory masks are available free of charge at the serve desk near the corridor. Crater area has been scrubbed of all radioactive materials and is therefore completely safe. Oh, if, it's, if you're saying it's completely safe, then, then we're all good. It's another part of the ruins. Turned into a fighting ring. Hmm. Interesting. Whoa, look at this. Look at this. This was all in here. I guess this is that pit area that I was seeing, and I was like, I don't know what this is. Oh, this 
could be useful. I got a new armor set. Tanakh Marshall. Oh, it's got a dumb thing on the head. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I'm going to have to do some fighting, aren't I? They're going to make me fight, aren't they? Not bad, I guess. Could be an awesome sports arena with the walls and crater and everything. Would totally see a game here 10 out of 10, but bring in a hot dog stand and a lot more bathrooms. Also, roof and AC. Man, it's hot here. It's not even noon. Jesus, Richie Davenport, Orlando. They turned it into a sports ball arena. What are you doing back here? Can you handle this fight? Hmm. They're gonna make me fight. Don't make me fight. You guys want to make me fight. You want to see me fight, don't you? You guys want to see me fight? You just want to see me fight. Can I get... How did I... How would I get to the other side of that thing? Or can I? I don't know if I can. Alright. Here we go. Aloy. It seems you've had to move mountains to bring the sky clear. Yeah, quite literally. Oh, he said that. Literally. Catalo. My bad. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Cool route. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come for me. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Catalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Great. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. Makes sense. Um, where will you be? I know where I'll be. What about you two? I will be here with the chief, where I belong. Should the fight reach us, we will take the blood owed for our fallen. If it comes to that, the defenses will hold. Hold! Hold! The grove, the arena, it's all part of the same ancient structure? Yes. Here the land remembers the sacrifice of Hold. the ten. Their deeds commemorated for eternity. Sacrifice? The visions tell us that on the ground below, they gave their lives in a fight against machines. We honored them by holding the cool route where they fell. All right, well, I think I'm ready. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the north barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the ten. Strike true. I'll see you when this is done. Have fun, guys. G-O-H-F. I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to just... I'm going to go like this and then I'm going to go boom on people. They're going to get a blast of... Shrapnel to the face or whatever. Guided by the tent. We honor the marshals who fell and this those will be a fall. heavy day. This will be a real Carl show of strength. Favorites will win the honors today. <laughs> They're all yelling at me as I pass them. That was clumsy. Can I get over there? How does one? Will the Sky Clan stand tall after this? 
you have ceremonies like this in the heat? Oh, I can just keep going. Did I not? I didn't see that before. I didn't see just an open path. I think I blinded that. Oh, was he over here just hanging? Yeah, he is. Easterner. Didn't think the Sky Commander himself would be joining us today. If there's a chance, my challengers will be facing Regala. It is only right their commander join in their fate. Or maybe you need to save face after what happened at the bulwark. Got him. Careful now. Sometimes sharp wits bring out sharp spears. I'd save my spear for Regala's troops if I were you. Whoa, nice camera angle. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, I thought I saw something. Aren't you supposed to be on guard duty? I'm going, I'm going. Alright, so I just have to defend this area. The Karo's defenders should be at the end of this trench. This will be easy, right? Especially with this rock. We are not alone in this fight. Right, we got some traps that we can utilize to fight, it looks like. This will be easy. Wait, where is she? Oh, it's like up here. Uh. Focus on the machines. Take them down. And Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Aye, aye. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below. But from above. Oh, look at this. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. Nice. The honor is yours. I love it. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth. I'm with it. Too bad I don't get to watch the fighting happen. <laughs> the cool root is upon us! Our struggle demands new blood! New leaders! Release Ooh. the quarry. Oh. Release the Kraken. Oh, wait. Have fun with that, guys. Approach. All who take down a machine shall be named Marshal. That's all it takes. You take down Remember a machine and you're a Marshal. Strike from the air as they did. And seize your glory. I could be a marshal a hundred times over. Gun 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 gun. Nice moves, fancy moves. Nope, that person loses. Through. Fuck you. Well, this thing, like, ow, fuck. Ow, I'm getting hurt. I gotta kind of lead the shot here. Shoot him down. Go, 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 go,
Down it goes. Ow. Alright, I'm going, I'm going. Oh my god. Ow. This thing. I... How fucking obnoxious. What is shooting me? I... Obnoxious machine, dude. Down it goes. Oh, fuck. I'm... Drink the potion, please. Down you go. Alright, we got some just little guys now, it feels like. Oh, destroy the big guys, I think, first, probably. Kind of like skating along the ground, it feels like. I need more fucking... Nope, there's no more. I thought there I thought I hadn't maybe picked that up yet. Oh, don't hit me that person. Fast up there. Bam. 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 Bam, look at me go. Did we win? Nice. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. What is that? Uh oh. I don't know. What is happening? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh shit, it's a large barrowing thing. Oh, I'm going down to the ground. Smart. It's going under the defenses. Smart of it. Get into the pit. Get into the pit. Of course they're going to make me fight in the pit. She goes. She's just climbing a rope. Look at this. Damn. Son. <laughs> this is less than ideal. Her armor set is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fight this. God. Oh no! That person just burned by acid. Get to the weapon. If I can draw that thing close, open fire. Oh, there goes one of my rocks. Okay, it's a slither thing. Ooh, what is the goo? It's a like goo strike. I just had a goo strike against me. Can I, like... I have, like, no health restoring stuff because it was all used during that fight I was just at. Ow. 
Ow, 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 fuck. Machine's too close. I can't fire. What do you mean the machine is too close? Yes, please fire. How much damage did you and did she end up doing? Oh no. Okay, well, shit. I'm dead. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> just gonna hook oh my god the spray the spray is bad oh my god I wanted the focus shot actually <laughs> Then please do it. Ow, fuck this. Okay, well, I'm trying. I can't really tell it what to do. What is this thing weak to? Fire. Oh, God. Drink. Did it break the trap before it armed itself? Oh, my God. Fire faster! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm trying. Has the attention been kept from the... Alright, spike throw. Go! <laughs> Miss! I don't know how to defend against the spray. I think you have to roll through it, but it's difficult. You gotta really like. Nice hit, I think. Oh, can I crit? Nice, I actually knocked it down. Crit again. Nice. Ow. Uh oh. Here it comes. Here it comes. Nice hit on my part. Whoa. Oh, I sailed that thing. That was 
bad shot. Damn it, that's less than good. Craft. Craft. Dodge through. Dodge through if I need to. Mm. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Ooh, that's a good strike. Ow! Whoa! This thing. Oh no, don't die now. Hey, wait, don't die now. There we go. There we go. Jesus. Things. I gotta get to them. I need to restock on everything I can while I'm down here. <laughs> I don't, but I can craft some. Yeah, Regal is doing her thing, but also it's imperative that I don't die later on. Uh, uh. Yep. Oh. Psh. Good job, Austin. Try that again. Um. Uh, uh. Here, fighting. They're coming out. They're gonna like. There we go. All right, I'm here. Go. Are they gonna hold? Should I help them? Nice. Alright, I was told to just run, I guess. Plans thwarted. This isn't finished. I'll be back with everything I have. And all who stand with Hakaro will be run red. Hey. Hmm. Hmm. We did it, guys. You 
fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. Kind of like, do the thing because we basically have no other option. <laughs> you I all win. I should have finished with Dala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be cool. remembered like those of the ten. We did it, guys. This ether? Ether! Great ether! This is it. Ether's below. What was this place? What is this thing? What are you? What a place. There. That console. I'm also a thing to scan. Yeah, this place looks interesting. Boom 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 ba doom boom ba doop ba doop ba doo doop. What are you? Interesting. W.T.H. Perkins I'm from Terrence Goodman Ever partitioned the cluster without telling me again We had power surges all over the place Including one in the main building at 831 Right when director Cardori, Cardori was heading out for the night The gold mountain halo lit up from the total darkness Right as she walked by Scared the living shit balls out of her uh, She was pissed dude What are you trying to do? Get us all something to get us all fucked get us all come on Aether. time to go home go elizabeth sobek alpha prime master override activated restoring ether subordinate function to original code Either doesn't have like it's only Gaia that has like the human looking form, right? I would imagine. How do I get out of here? Where's it? Where's the? <laughs> where's the exit? Where the fuck? Aloy, here. Let's talk. I'm I'm trapped. I don't know how I can get up. <laughs> how? Where? What the fuck? It's in one of these holes, isn't it? Please, Aloy. Come here. D please stop yelling at me. Oh, is it just? Oh, I'm such a fucking idiot. <laughs> huh, 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 huh. Aloy, here, let's talk. Aloy, come here. Aloy, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? Maybe. Visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. 
More testimony of the old ones. Should I go ahead? Place your hand. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest has strengthened my conviction that when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me, join us in that conviction. As we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Aye, aye. Yeah, they did the thing. Do the thing. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. Can I say no to that? So, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. We'll do, Aloy. Send him back. Send him to the group. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, so you you got a friend? Poof, I can't believe it. All right, I need to get Ether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms too. Might be worth checking out. Some something else to the, the holograms. Will soon be covered with scraps. Sky clan. Um, me. I think this is the thing we just watched, yeah. What's the new character? Who are you? Avira? A loyal soldier from the Lowland clan, Avira embodies the hope and optimism of Chief Akar's dream of uni for the Tanakh. Committed to joining the tribe's peacekeeping marshals, she competed in the Coal Route, a rite that tested her skills as a fighter against the deadliest of machines. When Regal attacked the event, she fought bravely in defense of her chief and afterward was indeed ordained a marshal. Nice. Berserk. Berserk ammunition. Interesting. Interesting, I say. Slithering circulator. Guy colonel with the thing. Contains ether now. Okay. Cool. So I imagine that's then where the next... Oh, return to the base. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we can do that. We got this. I see some exclamations here. There's a couple of quests, it looks like. We won't let Regala take the grove. Yeah, he 
Did it say that the holograms are new now? Let me see something. Are these new? Yeah, it says new point, so... Yeah. Those are new, but, I mean, I'd have to... Those Delvers better not steal any more of these recordings. I have to, like, find... This place is not just ruined. <laughs> Great! This thing? No. No activating that. Regala will strike soon. Yeah, that's the one I just did. So we'll go backwards. This is where we'll make our stand. Discover how JTF ten claimed. I guess what I could do, interestingly, two eight point five nine, right? So if I Sandstorms, JTF soldiers use them for cover, crippling enemy supply lines. Blood and steel shall mix. So two point two eight point five nine is that what I had said earlier? So I was curious to see if getting these like data points unlocks actual completion percentage. You know. But I don't think it does. The hot trains to outlast, conditioned for any climate. JTF 10 were elite defenders in even the most remote mountain landscapes. Two eight five nine. Yeah, it it fills in spots, but it's not going to actually do like actual completion percentage, which I'm surprised if if they do it by like the points. You know, it feels like. Even getting like a little thing like that would fill in like something. Look at that hologram. Look how that looks on the side. Led by Colonel Edward De La Hoya, their bodies and weapons were always honed for battle. Meals, ink, bruises. These daredevils shared it all. Shut up, Deck. I'm listening to this thing. God. Stop. I'm. I've said it many times before. I'm so annoyed with games that make people just constantly, hey, come here. Oh, you, come here. Come here. Come here. It's like I'm fucking listening to another fucking optional thing, all right? Just chill a moment. Please. Please. Stop talking. <laughs> it's like just. The blood of the ten, Aloy. denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the chief still lives. And hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. Oh? A personal one. Oh? My grandson, Kavo. He was not counted among the dead, which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner. No. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaru cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. Cavo is the last of my blood. You said Cavo is your last living relative? Yes. Before Chief Ikaro, the clans warred constantly with each other. 
Every skirmish claimed another comrade. One by one, I buried my children. And then, their children. I'm sorry. I tried to vent my grief on the battlefield, but I never found comfort there. Only in the wisdom of the visions. And even so, I still couldn't prevent Cavo from following the trail of blood. What made Cavo join Regala's rebellion? For some, Regala represents a chance of vengeance against the Karja. During the Red Raids, it wasn't easy to turn the clans back at Baron Light. Many wanted to pursue the Karja all the way to Meridian. So when Regala attacked the embassy, they took it as a call to arms. Yes. But others, the young especially, <laughs> care only about the glory they think they'll earn by hunting an age-old enemy. As for Cavo, it was probably a bit of both, and a youthful desire for a cause to get the blood burning. Nothing I said could stop him. If Cavo joined Regala's rebellion of his own accord, will Hikaru let him back into the tribe? The chief knows the value of mercy, and the toll of unending bloodshed. The rest of the tribe I'm more concerned about. They won't quickly accept someone who betrayed them. Even with my support, it won't be easy. But you have to try. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Cavo's squad went. Shall we head out? Uh, I'll meet I have you some there. Things to take care of first. I can meet you there. I'll wait for you on the hill crest southeast of the grove. Great. We'll make our way to the outpost from there. Until then, strike true. Strike true. I love strike true. It's just a phrase. Could you imagine what okay, so it'll be a new side quest Charge for us to go. Um, I don't want to not do... I want to finish this whole deal before we pick a, a new side thing, so... Military life. Park life. Oh, whoop, whoop. Oop, oop, oop. Nice jumping, nice jumping on my part. Does that mean there was one more thing here? Or not, maybe. Who's over here? Champion, I fear we must lean on your strength and generosity again. Of course. Just tell it to her straight, Ducca. The tribe needs the arena. She's our only hope to getting it open again. You need the arena? But the cool is over. That's true, but we also use the arena to boost the tribe's morale. We use it for training. Herd in machines so our soldiers can experience the glory of the kill in a controlled setting. Which, of course, boosts morale. But Chief Hikaro won't let us reopen the arena until the ballista protecting the field is repaired. We need it in case a machine runs amok. And it was damaged during the Kulud. The parts we need aren't easy to find. I get it. You need me to hunt down some machines and grab the parts. We'd ask someone else, but every squad in the Grove is on alert. But the task is not without compensation, right, Kala? Of course. Once the arena is open again, I would be honored to invite you to compete. <laughs> That's the reward? A wide variety of machines will be available. And I will award you prizes for victory. Oh. Not just from the arena, but also for medals won at hunting grounds. You'll be able to trade them for some of the tribe's very best gear. To fix the ballista, we'll need a sinew from a roller bag, along with some bristleback tusks. Both kinds of machines have been spotted near a campfire to the southeast. Cool, cool, when cool. When you're done, bring the parts to me at the maw of the arena, on the northeast side of the grove. Okay, I'll see what I can do. One more thing. If you're going back into the wilds, I have another duty tied to our soldiers' morale. 
a regrettable one. Every Tanakh soldier carries a tag carved with their squad symbol. Rebels have been hoarding the tags of the soldiers they kill. You might find such tags at any enemy outpost. If you do, bring them to me. I've been getting I'll make those, sure haven't I? Return to the soldier squad mates and loved ones. Having confirmation sometimes soothes their grief. And there are bounties involved, if that matters to you. I've already found some of those tags. Yeah. I don't have anything to pay you with here. Bring them to me at the Maw of the Arena when you can. Thank you, champion. And please don't forget the parts for the ballista. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got you. New activity. It's under activity, I see. Um, alright. Well, you know, sounds good. I guess I need to head southeast to find that Rollerback. And I think I saw a herd of bristlebacks not far from here. So lots of things. Here we go. Blood for blood. The arena. Opening the arena. One or two gather bristleback tusks. Okay. Simple enough. I'm gonna finish, like I said, this story quest. I do need to go to the restroom. I'm also gonna put something or at least start heating up some kind of food. Um, so that, you know, I think I have something that I can easily quickly kind of make and then quickly kind of eat. So, uh, I'll get that kind of started. So again, super quick break. I'll be RB screen. Maybe again, five minutes at most here. And I swear this time, five minutes at most. And then we'll go to, um, we'll probably be able to quickly fast travel here. Esque. We can fast travel here and get that done. So I'll be right back. Be right back. Uh, let's do that.
All right. Okay. Uh, in a bit. The uh, the oven will go off, and I'll stick a thing in there. But let's see. Assume just fast travel there. We do the thing. It'll be great. Uh, yeah. Almost creeping up to 30% game completion, so that's nice, right? Go! Go! I see you, champion. Sit. If you walk by, do you have a new thing to? Oh, a new rumor? Look at that! I spotted a group of Osram salvagers wandering the edge of the desert near the southwestern border. I'd report it, but I don't think they'll last long. If the machines down there don't get them, the storms will. Oh, that's kind of you. Don't like let the land use a hand. An Osram salvage camp. Down there. Where did that? What is this? Oh, that's what it is. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so there's not. I mean, once we do this, there's not. Like, when you look at, like, the map, you're like, oh, we were right here. This Poseidon area is not that far down there on the map like there's not I mean there's a lot here but just this whole area isn't that deep into the whole thing so isn't that crazy that's all I'm saying we're not too far from doing accomplishing more story stuff you know it's all I'm trying to see if there's more stuff I need to craft, because if I head right back, there's a, a stashed area, you know, right where I was exiting. Wait, is there a stash here? Frostbite warrior bow. Um, compared to what? Frost hunter bow? Oh, you can, like, look at this. Interesting. Um, Frost Hunter, I think, would be the biggest thing to... Frostbite Warrior Bow versus Frost Hunter Bow. What's the difference? Eh. What outfits do you have? Norse Sentinel? Next time, Keep your eyes open purchase. out there, soldier. Is there a stash thing here? I don't think there is. I thought there was, but no. There isn't like a workbench and a stash thing. Maybe back in my little camp thing. I'll be interested to because when we go back here into our stronghold basic area, there's like a lot of we can deposit like the drones. Obviously the next story bit's gonna happen, but we're gonna see some people. Like, we haven't been here in a while. The base is what it's called. The base. Boom, ba -dum, boom, boom, ba -dum, boom, boom. Super base. Is that relevant? <laughs> There's apparently someone to talk to in here. I'd imagine it's the people that we've dropped off here, right? Yeah, like this? Oh, uh, 
<laughs> You're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try it gently. <laughs> That's actually really funny. And my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? <laughs> Bring it back. Trace the line to your right. Other this right. is cute. Learning how to use tech. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. <laughs> is that a reference to the DLC? Aloy. Remember that? Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. Oh, I mean, the DLC, I don't the know. world only goes on. Obviously, I didn't stream thing. that, so. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. I kind of like this whole growing my team kind of moments, though. Your friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Nice. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I see glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. No. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's let them uh, have sex or whatever. <laughs> They're like, uh, we're going to... Often when you return to the base, dialogue with your companions will update as you progress through the story. New dialogue is indicated by an exclamation point. All right. Sounds good, I guess. Um, so yeah, I assume how this story is going to kind of go is that like, as we kind of progress, we're going to add at the, like, as we get more and more of these AI functions, you know, I assume what it is, is that we're probably going to, it seems like it's leading towards like, we bring one person back to this base or something, you know, and then we have all these empty rooms to like stash them in. And then like the end of the story is going to culminate into us having like a large, group of people that have focuses so they can do things that you know they can do with me you know stuff like that things of that nature um let's talk to him oh shit talk is triangle hey hey a yeah, nice place well it's not like i built it or anything right well i can see why you uh well, you had your doubts about bringing us along. It is a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. <laughs> There's nothing I can't handle. I'm just a right. drunk man. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. <laughs> yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see, granted a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I'm still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sunday. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but yeah. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land when he's not getting all tongue-tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. 
I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. Good. I better go. Right. I, I'll leave you to it. Wow, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah, and Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. With the focuses you gave us, we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, learn and train. And if you need us, we'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. Thanks, Paul. Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, a tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Vaughn. That one Zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. So, training with Zell, huh? Yes, training. <laughs> training. Mostly. Heavy quotes. Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. <laughs> I'm guessing you've spoken with Catalo? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy. I told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. For a second, I thought I was talking to my mother. Never thought a Tanakh and a Nora war chief could have so much in common. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory and all Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. That fucking asshole. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Aaron definitely curses the most. <laughs> but I'm hoping Osiram's stubbornness prevails. How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. It's funny that these dialogues keep happening. Nice. Think you can hold the fort while I'm gone? If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, maybe. We'll be fine. All right. My the uh, other one off here, so I'm going to... Let me go put that in. One moment. So basically when that goes off in about 20 minutes or so, I'll get up. I will take like a 10 or 15 minute BRB. We'll eat. I'll eat. I mean, you can eat as well. And we'll, uh, and then we'll just resume for the rest of the thing. But let's see if we can, can I talk to her while I'm standing on this? That'd be funny, huh? Farrow looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. Yeah, it is. Have you gone back to plain song at all? I thought about it, but I wouldn't know what to tell them. The chorus already thinks me a thorn in the thicket. If they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood, there'd be little they could grasp about all of this. No. For now, I must leave the tribe behind. What 
What's new? Oh, your neighbors? So, how does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakh? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakh looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains. I believe I've met them already. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. When the Karja invaded the Utaru plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms, others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the fallen. That couldn't have been easy. Seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong. Day after day. So I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but there weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zo. I made it a point to appear before the chorus as soon as we returned, to demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. Oh. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? There's always I more. Did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my disagreement with the chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on. But we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakh defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the other side. Before we knew it, the gates were open, and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was... not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled, I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plain Song. But even as the harvest passed, it didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along and gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves 
or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. Mm -hmm. Did Gaia tell you anything about Venus? She did. Though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. I gotta say, them being called the Zeniths is kind of lame as shit. Life <laughs> as it does here. Uh, humbling, to say the least. We are... And heartbreaking. That such life should be bent on advanced ours. people up in the stars. What are we called? The Zeniths. What are you up to? Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the old ones. She helped me decipher some of the data you've collected and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but it's been working so far. That's good to hear. I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us. So we could regain control of our lands with her... Terraforming system. Terraform. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much... Metal. You've spoken with Katala? A few words. Tanakh don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was surprised to see she was you. Past, but reborn? <laughs> Not that I claim to understand how. Don't worry, it's a mystery. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. <laughs> well, they all talk about right. him. I should probably go. I shall return to our training then. All right. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Oh. Hey, look at this. That's helpful. It's kind of you guys. Oh, nice. Yeah. Everyone just kind of setting up shop. I kind of like that. I like how this place will probably get decorated kind of as like it goes on. You know what I mean? Looks like someone's made this space their own. I see you found Varl and Zoe's room, Aloy. Oh, it's their room together. I they wanted private accommodations. Oh boy. I see. Aloy, are you jealous though? Looks like this room's changed. Is that your doing, Gaia? Yes. I have repurposed the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from. Interesting. Interesting. Talk to you in just a second. What is this again? Let me see. Do -do 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 -do. It says create job, abandon job. Okay, so fabrication. I fabricate, what am I doing here? Craft override? Is it, so what was the thing? I think it's, I when I go to the terminal or the cauldron, I get the ability to craft the override perhaps then? I think it's the whole thing. That's what it looks like, I mean, based on this. Discover and complete cauldrons to reveal this machine and craft its override. Yeah, I guess that's the thing. So I have to go to the cauldron, do the thing, and then craft the override. Using pieces from the things, you can see. Herd machine that dissolves... In okay, so um, all it takes is a primary nerve. I've got those. I've got enough antlers. So let's fucking craft it wide maw tusk which i don't have three horns i don't have but i can do 
this. So I don't see the... Um, the downside to doing it at all. Aloy. It's good to see you. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the vision you keep in this place. Vision, that's fine. You can go hold vision. Gaia, and gave me this focus. I don't pretend to fully understand everything, but all I really need to know is where to train and when to fight. Welcome to the team, then. Yeah, you're the muscle of the team, then. Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. You've had some time with the team now. Any thoughts? I admit, I was surprised to see Nutaru here. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. I'm told she rallied some in her tribe against the Karja, and fought all the way to Baron Light. Interesting. Perhaps I'm mistaken. Yeah. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So... I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This Hephaestus, it will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the like? Unfortunately, sorta. You said the Bulwark was your home a long time ago. That you were part of the Sky Clan. Yes. Yes. That's all you're gonna tell me? <laughs> yes. Fine. As you wish. <laughs> that was a good moment. My parents were killed in a clan skirmish, so I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja, and led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light from the east side, allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero, and I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Cool Root by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat. Never occurred to him that I had no interest in rising above my station. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Root? Takote knew that if I survived the Cool Root, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command, even if I wanted to. After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Even though he knew perfectly well, I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile, guised as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal and never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. When we were at the Bulwark, the guard said something about the Wings of the Ten. Hikaru also mentioned it at the Cool Root. Dekka, too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings. And 
leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess, and it is why the challengers leap into the arena during the cool route. Many times I imagined it as a child. The feeling of freedom. And the awe it must have inspired. What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the Grove and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well, I'm honored he lent me his best marshal. At least for a little while. Indeed. All right. I should go. Okay. Feel free to check in on Hikaru and your people. Doors always open here. I will. May the ten walk with you. Strike true or whatever. Wait, can I not? Oh, I already took it? Oh, I thought this was like a stash of some sort then. But is it not then? Oh, it's listed as collected supplies. Wait, collected supplies? Does that mean like rare materials I miss like picking up get thrown into here perhaps? Is that a thing? Is that a thing? That would be cool. Oh, good. Door's locked until Gaia can restore access. What is the question mark now? Huh. Looks like someone's rearranged stuff in here. Aloy, I see you found your room. Oh, I your get a room? Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. I was thoughtful of them. It looks pretty cool. Look at that. Oh, it's like a training dummy like we'd see in back in... Oh, I get my own stash. That's good. I like it. I like it. Um, let me see. What are these? Examine token. This is the rite of passage that Vishav gave me at the embassy. Oh. Yeah. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. Oh, do I get cool? I think he was really looking forward to going home. Cool things from my journeys get stashed here. My old spear. Rust. Oh, that's adorable. When I finished my training. Feels like so long ago now. What else is here? Little trinkets for my adventures. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're gonna stay a while, I think I'll keep it here. Where it'll be safe. Cool. I like it. I think that's cool. I think it's great. Great even. Okay, so my food's just about ready. I'm going to, so I'll part for like 15 minutes. I'll keep it on a BRB screen just to keep the stream running. Um, but I'll be gone for like 15 minutes or so as I eat and stuff. So, uh, yeah, then we'll go to Gaia. We'll do the things. I assume I gotta oh, Aloy, go. Your Karja friend came through. She went to that Asaran camp you two were looking for, to the southwest. Oh. And now everyone has exclamation points above their head. I guess we'll see what else maybe possibly is to be said. Um, I'll go ahead BRB. Uh, like I said, 15 minutes or so. Uh, just keep kind of the stream running. I'm going to eat and stuff. Check stuff on my phone. So I'll be back. Uh, I'll do this screen. Nothing. You just look good. That's all. Get back to studying.
So you play pretend on top of a table. So the old ones painted their faces with something called makeup, like the car chair. Why? Yeah, it beats me. It probably meant something to them, as it does to my people and the Tanakh. I just think my face says it all as is, that's all. That it does. seen this before. Anybody seen one of my machine strike pieces around? Why don't you check the cash? Maybe you left it there when you dropped off all that ale. Oh. Hope it didn't get stained. Come on! The old ones used holograms for everything. It let them experience a great many things. Holograms are illusions, though. I wonder if at some point they just couldn't tell what was real anymore. Maybe. They were intelligent, but that doesn't mean they were wise. Is it me, or did the old ones just look funny? Funny how? Yeah, they're close. They're weird. <laughs> they're so tight. For once, I'd have to agree. I'd rip those things to shreds in a fight. Guess they didn't move around as much. Ah! 
God, you are, you are lucky I need you. Sounds very lonely, if you ask me. Did you know there used to be a rainforest so big the old ones called it the lungs of the planet? That sounds lovely. Yeah. They burned it to the ground at some point. Oh. But they helped bring part of...
All right, I'm back. I don't know how actually long that was. Hopefully, it wasn't too long. <laughs> I didn't keep track of like when the when I went to go. Uh, go eat and stuff. Back with Sobek tonight. That's good to hear. I wonder if it grew back after Zero Dawn. Where I heard it. I'd like More to what was all the exclamation Always. points got went? I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long. Oh, Talana. you got that right. Makes you wonder what this immodest guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. So Talana. I need to get going. That was. Don't get too distracted with your training. That was I a person during one of the side missions, right? Training. She just kind of came and went, like just popped and didn't really do much here. Let me see. I'm going to check my character bios. Talana, Talana, Talana. Talana, her. Oh, she was supposed to be here. Does she just? That would have been cool if she was here. I liked her. I liked her in the first game. I like her here. She's cool. She's spunky, you know? She's spunky. So just, I assume she just kind of popped in and didn't. That's upsetting. Talk? I do. Sounds like you met my friend Talana. Yes. The Karja Huntress. I haven't seen armor like hers since the Red Raids. But Varl tells me that she too suffered at the hands of the Mad Sun King. Yeah. She's one of the good ones. Trust me. I've gotta go. Go well. Go well. Go away. You need something? So Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. Yeah, me, but me too. But like she had more pressing matters to attend to. I have to go. I guess it's back to reading. <laughs> nah, you like to read. Don't worry about it. Where's the one guy? Oh, what's down here? <sighs> Door's locked. Maybe Gaia will be able to get it open later. I forget, is there stuff down here? Oh, this is like a whole big area. I don't think I want to actually go too deep into. Now that I look at it. Mountain trail bread. Mountain trail bread. Um, where is... That's up there. Oh, I thought he might have had something to say about um, Tanala, but I guess not. Alright, now we can do it. Now we go. Let's talk to Gaia. Do the thing. Um, I assume there's going to be, oh, do, do, do. where's the, where we drop off the drones? Is that up here as well? I think maybe. Let's see. Let's see. Let's find out. Hello, Gaia. I did things. Ava, I am pleased you have returned. And I see you have recovered ether. Please proceed with the merge. Afterwards, I have a matter to discuss with you. Great. Great. Boop. There. Let's see what we got. Two of ten. Oh, what does this do? What happens if I select it? Oh, oh. Oh. Huh. Whoa. Good choice. Oh, OK. 
can I, oh, I can change, oh, that's pretty cool. I can probably, ch and she said good choice, because I can probably go back and select whatever, um, like, landscape, drone scanned landscape I want in here. Oh, that's really cool. It's really pretty, too. Look at this. Huh. So I can choose. So I've got that one selected right now. Let's see which one I like more. Beep boop, beep boop boop. Ah, uh, it's a shitty another rock thing. I think I honestly liked the first one more. Um, I think it was a little more nicer looking. But I would like something that's not just rock rocks and uh, sand, so hopefully I can find more of those later on. I like this one. <laughs> Good. Stick it in, stick it in, stick it in. Ether. Great ether. Bloop. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Your ether? That's one of the sub-functions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Letters. Oh, we're playing Hangman? Oh, no. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. Hmm. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast. Oh, by it might be a trap. Or something else. You don't well. think it's actually a Luthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Eleuthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Hmm. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so either Eleuthia is in trouble and sent the message hoping you were out there, or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates pretending to be Eleuthia. Great. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So, maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that is? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. 
Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. <laughs> I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful, and... We're coming with you. Yeah, put your foot down. Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. She's like, fuck you, Gaia. Bringing them along. I guess that's just a coordinate. I'm level 25 now, look at that. Cradle of Echoes. Um, oh, my background didn't, like, stay. That's upsetting. I thought that would be cool if it could, like, would have stayed during the whole thing. Oh, here's a new... Uh, Eleuthia. Zeroed on subordinate function, responsible for the birthing and reintroduction of a new generation of humanity. During construction of that, it tend to be the penultimate subordinate function to deploy. It was only after Minerva had successfully deactivated the uh, robots... Wombs could be reintroduced to the planet. It was designed to grow human embryos in artificial wombs inside special cradle facilities, then birth and nurture these children via robotic servitors, educating them through their toddler years. At this point, the Apollo subordinate function was intended to activate, giving these new humans a comprehensive education. Run it from happening. Purge the Apollo database, murdered all zero. Dawn's Alpha Project leads. As a result, after Eulethia deployed, a new generation of humans never received knowledge of the past. They were released into the wilds as teens. Left to their own devices, they fragmented in primitive tribes. Even though they've been fulfilled, the functions it still exists as an empty shell. When Hades was infected, God destroyed herself to prevent it from taking over and triggering another uh, this tiny little deranged and semi conscious. Fled to a processor somewhere in the Forbidden West. Okay. Makes, uh, makes sense, I guess. Oh, my other quests are on hold. Oh, it, they're all on hold until I do this thing. Wow, they really were like, all right, we're fucking doing this. We're not, you can't put this on hold. Or you can't, yeah, you can't put this main mission on hold, basically. Well. Okay. <laughs> I guess I've got no other choice. Hmm. Interesting. Aloy, I was able to unlock another room in the main living area. Oh? Good to know. I'll check it out when I can. What's the new room? Is it this? This is my room. What's the new room? Just run around this whole thing. The room won't open. Guess Gaia hasn't been able to restore access yet. Gaia? Oh, what's this? this? Room for? This was intended to be a recreational room for control center operatives. Unfortunately, the entertainment modules were lost with the Apollo database. Oh, that's too bad. Are these like video game stuff? Video game chairs? Real D? What is this? Just some kind of weird recreational room. I guess maybe you can even watch like movies or something on these or something. I don't even know what that is.
All right. Well, mission on, I guess then. Thrashed at the battle for Meridian. <laughs> there she is. You ready to head out? Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses. Four yeah. Of the oh yeah, baby. Man, that's kind of interesting that they're willing to just be like, hey, no, you got to do this mission now. No putting it on hold and doing other side things. Oh, we're just going. We're climbing mountains. Oh, is it? Th does that mean it's just going to warp us there? Had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? That's interesting. Because maybe it just really wants to get this story across to us, you know? Whatever it is. I assume something important happens here. I really like the detailing of like these like weird tattoo things on her like legs and body and stuff. Oh, look at this! Oh, is it like a boss fight? Is that why we have to do it now? We have to beat girl boss over here. What is that? Nice. Like, what the hell? Interesting. Okay. <laughs> well, that's Girl bond. We can fight her. Let's go, guys. Yeah, so it seems like they're, this is why we have to do it now. Because it's like a boss fight-like thing. I get it. Well, Interesting. See if there's anything over there. On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Or maybe it's not. Is she dead? Well, there are obviously more zeniths than we know about. Can't I believe you fought one of them. Up. Almost didn't make it. Where are we? Oh, we're in like a little area. So it's coordinates. Campfire. Yeah, we're in like a little. We're in like a little thing. Oh, she is dead, right? She come. Is she gonna spring did. back to life? It took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? It looked like she can make it come and what? go at will. Hello, Verbena. But it's gone. Now. What do you have for me? Yeah. I checked everywhere. Well, Still no thing. sign of the asset. I'll wait here. Can we call off this pointless search already? Let's not forget who let it slip away in the first place. Now, I'd like to see results by nightfall. Do you think you can manage that? Hold on. I think I see something. I do like how she was just like, what the hell? Very, uh, space like. Oh, what the hell? You mean, you know? That's how you can tell she's from the advanced. I can get it for my stash later. The advanced people. Oh, do I have to? Oh, whoops. Look at this thing. The Spectre had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. Orders received. Uh, primary directive assist recovery asset. Continue monitoring V Sutter. Orders acknowledged. Status report sent to GBRI. Engaging targets. So go up here. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Ooh. Ah. 
I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. Ow, my hands burned. An Oseram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Okay. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Erend. Bunny? Come back here, come back here, come back here. Nice. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up, all so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. I was probably just so the thing disabled her shield, and then that's when the guy came and stabbed her and killed her. I guess. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the Asset. The Asset? Is that the uh, sub-function thing you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Val. Ginormous supply crate. I called it. That's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called the asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. Oh right. boy. So we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. Good luck. Oh, I thought I could fly down this whole thing. Old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia, found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. Do I go up or do I crawl through here? Oh, that's not crawl throughable. <laughs> nice. Looks like some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. Storage units access, data transfer initiated, operation suspended, fusion reactor on standby mode, download initiated, being cast initiated, destination redacted. Hmm. Hmm. 
What are you? What is this thing? I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. I thought it was like a giant zenith sword. <laughs> This was a far zenith research lab. It looks like a lot of data was beam cast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eluthi is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. But then why were the zeniths still searching for the asset? So, exploring another far zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. Where I came through, right? Or did I come from the stairs? <laughs> I guess I'll find out if I go far enough, it'll be like, no, go back. Okay, that is where I came from. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I can go upstairs. Let me in, there's stuff in there. Well, Aloy really wants to jump on things. All this stuff. Wonder what they were doing here. Well, knowing Far Zenith, probably discovering amazing things. For their own benefit. Yeah, that sounds about right. Ectogenic chambers. Like the ones I saw inside a Zero Dawn cradle facility. What were they for? This place keeps on going. Remember when I told you I was made, not born? This is how. A machine that makes a person. That's incredible. Spoon fed from Daniel McGill to Claire Wynn. Claire, wish you'd been on the call with me with Zero Dawn. Whoever negotiated this deal with them was ingenious. A bunch of our old tech collecting dust and storage in exchange for a copy of all human knowledge. Talk about a bargain. A guy ha uh, heading up the Aletha sub function, Patrick Richard Klein. Practically see sparkles in his eyes when he was bombarding us with follow-up questions on the ectogenic chamber's design. It was like we were waving catnip in front of him. Anyway, they're requesting additional material and nutrition delivery. Higher-ups gave the go-ahead, so send over everything we have. Burchard Klein will probably pee his pants in glee. Dan. I can't open this. No open. I jump through. Guess I jump through, right? This place is huge. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. So, um, how is Erin taking all of this? Really? Well, Gaia, Zenith, Vulcan, it's a lot. But when I caught up to him in the dawn, he said he needed our help, he dropped everything and turned around. Well, he's loyal. That's for sure.
peu. Control console to access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. Oh, I thought this was going to be like smashable. That's a shame. There's also a door all the way down here. Just curious to see. Thought that was maybe where we were supposed to go, but. Here. Hello? Hello? metal eye how far does this go oh this is back oh it's another alternate like path I guess I could have gone Oh, hello. Priority shift. All, oh, as you will undoubtedly have heard by now, we have lost the bright star monks among us. Research on ectogenesis for the Odyssey was near and dear to Peter. On behalf of the new High Council, I commend you all for your efforts and the great strides made over the last several years. Yet as we mourn our founder, we must also keep our gaze on the bright future ahead. To that end, we will be shifting project priorities. Over the coming days, you will be briefed on exciting developments in longevity, Research from our Tokyo and Lagos facilities with new assignments to follow. In the meantime, all ectogenic chambers should be moved to storage. Further leads with any questions. Huh. Find anything that might tell us what the asset is? I'm looking. <laughs> Blank has seen a significant improvement, decreasing the time between touch-ups and commercially available treatments like uh, Osmanthus rejuvagine, what? Rejuvagine? Rejuvagine? Whatever, required. As for Malik's team, their latest results from their uh, neurofla neurophysiology experience mints <laughs> seem promising. The supplementary data provided by our Tokyo facility we seem to be closing in on functional first generational generation implants oh boy wait meanwhile our friends in zurich have sent over their findings on wbe mixed results a couple of promising avenues but anything bordering on real digital transcendence looks to be decades away if not more I don't think so if not centuries if not millennia millennium millennia i don't know use of this enter code 236 containers in storage please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve 236 wasn't oh. there a number in the distress signal Okay, there was a thing in the distress signal. Let's see. Would it have been museum, RCC, salvage kind of scanned? Tech, is it in this? Oh boy. Um, no, let's see. Side quests? No, quests. Did 
to stress. Two three seven. I should check the log. Hiya! Hiya! Be something good, be something good. Be something good, please. Oh, it's like Monsters Inc. or whatever. <laughs> oh, it's a person. Uh oh. Oh no, I don't like that. I don't want to. Don't open it up. Oh, it's another copy? Another genetic copy of her? I think. Aloy. Yeah. It's you. Without the tribalness. Skin's like ice. Ugh. Warm her up. <laughs> Thaw her out. Must have cut this from her head. But why? Hello, hello, Elizabeth. Uh, apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, my name is Beta. I'm afraid I, I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hmm. hoped to find shelter with you, but if you're viewing this, I... I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have Aluthia, Artemis, and Apollo now. Oh, great. But at least they don't have the Gaia kernel to merge them with. Oh, she got it. Oh, baby. So she you made the distress succeed. signal. Interesting. So she's she's still alive. Whoa, we'll that's creepy. To... That's creepy. I don't know. Oh shit, they could fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Aaron? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. Then I will fight, I guess. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I can't let it get through to Varl and the clone. This is prepare for battle. I'm, there's not much I can prepare for at this point. I am... I am just ready to go. I'm always staying prepared, you know? Here it comes! Oh, great. Oh, we're fighting in here. Oh, God! Ooh, ugly one, aren't you? Spectre. Let's see this. Highly advanced. Oh, my God, look at it. Uh, mobile drone. It's gold armor like plates can morph into highly lethal weapons and can gravitationally reattach when torn off. Weak to acid and plasma. Okay. Acid and plasma. Well, I don't have... Ooh, buddy. Ow. Clearly doesn't like the acid. Fuck. Ooh, no. That's not working. That's not working.
Well, if he doesn't like acid. Walk. Good hits. Let's try this out. Damn it. Oh, I don't have the weapon stamina to do it. I was pulling on that thing like, go! Bread. Nummy. Okay, better. Whoa. Oh, that explodes. Good to know. Really doesn't want to get poisoned again. There we go. That's kind of good. Maybe if I... Oh, fuck. Whoa. Maybe, maybe melee combat not my best option against it. Fuck. I'm gonna try to detach that. Nice. Fuck. I missed. Gotta get more there we go. Nice. There. Are you okay, Aloy? Yeah. Woo. I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. Good fight, good fight. Okay. Open faster, Aloy. Back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. Yeah. I hope so too. He doesn't. <laughs> Someone tells me he's not, though. Someone tells me he's trying to fight it. That's gonna be my guess. Aloy! Ah! Errand! Yeah, the Spectre's dug its seals in. It's got me pinned down. <laughs> Great. Stay tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry! Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Aaron. Aaron, I'm here. My job. That thing shooting down the center. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. Tag that. 
I'm there. Spectre's not budging from that spot. I might be able to sneak up on it. If I stay out of the line of fire. Sneak up on it. Joop. Heavy weapon. I could use it against the Spectre. Wait, where's the heavy weapon? Oh, here? Sneak up behind it. Doop 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 doop. Doop 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 doop. Shield down. It's on the move. How long can I hold it? Boom. I just got tail whipped. Did you toss ammo at me? Oh, there it goes. Uh oh. Ooh, oh, God. Try the electric. No. Okay, he doesn't care about electric at all. That's fine. You want me to handle this, Aloy? Aloy, you need this. What do you, you want have? a taste of this? Oh. <laughs> He's trying. <laughs> what did you get? Precision arrows, okay. Ow, fuck, I tried to. Bam. That's a weak spot. Come on. Love this hat. There we go. Gotta have him expose his weak spot to me. Give me that weak spot. <laughs> you and your primitive hammer. Aloy, she's... Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but uh, right now I'm seeing double. I don't Still understand. But it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. If I can figure out how that thing works, maybe the Xenos won't be so invincible after all. Oh, I'll examine it. Uh, let me check. Do I need to... Yeah, restock that. Wait, why is it saying the weapon's up there? Oh, the weapon that cooled down. I understand. I was like, why? I thought it meant the... I thought it meant the, um... The Spectre's weapon. What is it? 
no. is that? Oh, it's uh, busted. I'm getting a look, good look at that. Well, it's better than nothing. Ooh, a mini disco ball. A disco ball of power. I love it. I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zeniths. I should check on the clown too. Burl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. Yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> He's Parents? just having a good old time. You okay? Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I be? Because there's two of me now. Uh, there's two of you now. Uh, at least you seem to be handling it okay. Uh, I wouldn't say that exactly, but I'm trying. What are you reading next? I saw Gaia added something to the archives about metal rods being used to harness lightning during storms. Guy reminded me of a cousin of mine. Thought he could trap lightning if he covered himself in storm burn plates. <laughs> Went up the tallest mountain in the claim to prove it. It ended like a lot of Asaram things do. With a spark and a boom. What are you working on with your focus? I'm still figuring out how to read stuff on this thing. Those two lovebirds over there have been giving me a hand. But to be honest, all the little symbols, they give me a headache. But I'll get up to speed. I promise. Did you speak with Beta at all? She didn't really wake up till we brought her here. And when she did, I, I thought it'd be better if Zoe and Varl took care of her. No use crowding someone when they're in a state. Hmm. I have to get going. Don't go causing too much trouble. I honestly didn't think we would get, like, to hang with Beta. You know what I mean? Like, I thought... I thought she was going to be with, like, the bad guys for most of the thing, you know? For most of the experience of the game. Would make sense in my head. Aloy, you're back. Yeah, I'm just, uh, checking up on how everyone's doing. You mean, after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must I haven't be met her yet. You, you need to go. Us, huh? I need to go down there. You're jumping the well, gun, Zoe. She may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. You said you met Beta? Varl mentioned she was hurt. I thought I'd offer her an extract to soothe the pain. That was kind of you. I just hope she doesn't plan on staying burrowed down there like that. She looks like she's barely seen the light of day as it is. I don't blame her. She should just stay. Stay down there. I would do the same. What else have you been up to? I've been studying Gaia's seedlings, the subfunctions. I wanted to understand why one of them would do what they did to Fa. Imagine my surprise when I looked into this Hephaestus and found out it helped create all machines, our land gods included. In a way, the Utaru owe Hephaestus our whole way of life, as well as our current troubles. That's why we have to make Gaia whole again. Learn anything interesting lately? There's been much to read up on now that Ether has been reunited with Gaia. It's hard to imagine that machines like Stormbirds once helped heal the skies. I used to be terrified of them as a child. Thunder still brings chills to my skin. But everything Gaia creates has a purpose, no? Yeah. And if we can get Hephaestus back, she can get those Stormbirds in line. Hephaestus is just a very I funny name to me for some reason. May the land bloom in your steps. Um, okay, let's go talk to the clone. When am I going to join the trend? I don't know what trend you speak of, but probably never. Do you do you know me as one to follow literally any trends? Maybe Gaia will be able to get it open later. Aloy, glad you made it back okay. There you are. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. 
I thought it best to wait for you. Um, I will speak to her. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought I was going to say. I will speak to myself. Hello? It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. English, Sudden please. Removal of a neurologically integrated data device. Oh. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Take it. Everyone gets one. Booting up. <laughs> She's like, ooh. So, uh, hey, boy. I suppose you want information about yes. you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago. That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet. And now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, oh, I want to say something about that once this is over. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you are... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. Oh, so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. Okay. So, I only literally just saw these, like, pop up, like, what is it? Like, within the last week or so? But why the hell is that what everyone is talking and doing? Like, it seems so bizarre. <laughs> Uh, let me see. It says face cam Pokedex site. Have a counter near you. Click the number up button every time you'd. Oh, I don't even like saying it. Every time I've seen it. Terrible. People, people are fucking weird. People need to chill. People need to chill the fuck. Was, was Markiplier the first person to do it? And that's when then everyone started doing it. Was he the first? Did he start it? It's terrible. Bad. Shame. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb. I'm Horrible. The Zeniths had an people need God. chamber aboard the ship. An updated version <laughs> of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and uh, Aspasia, the avatars of the archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names? They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zeniths have a copy, so it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge just out of reach must have been frustrating. 
Well, I can't say I'm not going to, I would not partake in that. I, you know what? I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. I'm gonna leave the Pokemon that I would maybe or maybe not smash to be a mystery. And then any everyone else can just guess. Everyone else can just everyone else can just wonder. They can every time a Pokemon is a, appears before you, you could be like, would Austin Woody. Game theory. Uh. How did you escape the Zenus? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. Then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Aluthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the Rebels killed, outside the facility. But they missed it. How did they bypass her shield? I'm That's what I'm trying it. to figure out. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zeniths' transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they believed me. Well done. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I got I got I have too much horizon to play to look up whatever that video is. So we're dealing with the same far zenith people who once lived on Earth. Especially if it's some map pat sounding video. <laughs> they were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. You mentioned the Zenith set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, the machine, local fauna. It, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space. Other survivors of the colony. You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age, too. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Guy and I concluded, too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered the tribal people we encountered. Lovely. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia kernel, they'll have a hard time doing that. The Zenus needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities, so they made you. 
trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Excuses. Earth for their own benefit. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well, <laughs> surprise. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs, or so how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get <laughs> two more subordinate functions before Gaius is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? I'm trying. I'm figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single... To a single location, of course not. <laughs> you didn't even know this Venus This lady. Before. You were supposed to be further along by now. Coming here was a mistake. They're going to find me. All right. They're going to find this place and take Leave, me back. I don't care. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. They're going to die. Hey. Calm yeah, down. Yeah, you need to fucking chill, honestly. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? Okay, I don't need this added sense. stress. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad. But I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. She just needs time to chill. She can hang there. <laughs> just. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. For like I see a podium we have a new thing. Guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. Disco the ball. It was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Zoop. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced. It allowed people to get funky on the dance floor. But not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. Not silence again. He's not going to cooperate with us. I don't want to see him. <laughs> well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenus got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However... Our original plan remains unchanged. 
The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, cool. So I guess we won't be making use of Cylon's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more subfunctions to get. So that opened up a... What's this need to know thing? Oh, that was... Oh, this is the side quest that was like locked until I did things now all this yeah opened up it all makes sense um all right so in level 22 main quest i imagine we're probably gonna or i'm probably gonna want to tackle some of the side stuff now um including stuff like wait where's all this oh that was weird that it wasn't on the map salvage contract stuff Hunting grounds, things of that nature. Oh, here we go. Beta Sobek clone. Beta is a clone of Elizabeth Sobek, born aboard, uh, born aboard the far zenith starship Odyssey on its return journey to Earth. Raised in isolation and compelled to learn a range of subjects related to Zero Dawn, from geoengineering to computer science and chemistry, she grew up believing that her role was to fix the broken terraforming system and heal the planet. But upon reaching Earth and witnessing the cruelty of her Zenith benefactors, she began to suspect their goal was to destroy the world and remake it to their specifications. She quickly grew to despise her immortal captors, though she held little hope of escape. That all changed after she encountered Aloy at Lada Ladopolis. I don't know. The Hades Proving Lab. Later, when Beta was sent on a mission to recover Ulithia, she devised a daring plan to defect to Aloy's side, hoping that her genetic twin would offer her shelter. She succeeded, only to learn that Aloy's struggle against Zenith would be far more difficult than she ever imagined. Cry about some more, Beta. <laughs> I'm trying my bestest. As bestest. Beta. Hello, hello, Spit. Oh, we are, yeah, we already know that. Yeah, we already know that. And look at that. Puts us above 30%. Look at that. We're so good. I'm so good. <laughs> All it took is uh, like an eight hour stream so far, you know? So much game, so little to so little time. That's what I wanted to say. Um, okay. I've got skill points to burn. Survivor maybe? Consume a special potion to restore health and gain resistance to status effects. Valor on impact. Gain valor when hit by enemies. That seems good. That seems like a good, good thing to invest in for one point. I think it's smart. Automatically recover health sooner when in the critical health state. Four second delay. Medicinal berries provide more healing and heal faster. Yeah, that would be actually really good to have. Burst dodge. Huh. Activate a special arm guard based on ancient tech to gain a rechargeable damage absorbing energy shield. Oh, it's like the it's like the armor plate, the special armor you got from the final like bonus mission in the first game where it has like that like i forget what they call it like shield tech weave or whatever health potions provide more healing and all potions are faster to consume probably pretty good i think having melee attacks deal more damage when you're dangerously wounded Survivor tree getting built out. Hey, 
say? You and Baron okay? Nothing some rest can't take care of. Are you okay? This beta thing. It's a lot. That's yeah, fine. For you. Just try to take it one step at a time. Fair enough. If you need anything, just let me know. How's everyone dealing with Beta? I tried explaining what a clone is to Aaron. He was totally lost. <laughs> of course. Zoe said something about two trees coming from one seed. That seemed to help a bit. Aaron is dumb. I see everyone settling in. Zoe's planning on bringing all kinds of plants in here. Says a home should always spring with life anew. I asked Aaron to help find some. I think he'd rather stick his head into a snap mall. <laughs> Still, it's not a bad I like idea. everyone loves to take the piss out of Aaron. The like that every comment. It's like, and Aaron's a big dum dum. And it's like, okay, well. It's good to see you and Zoe enjoying yourselves. We're learning a lot. I've actually been looking through the data to find ideas for a gift and to thank her for helping me study the glyphs. Something from the old world that she's never seen before. Instead, I found out they gave each other stuffed animals. If you ask me, stuffing a dead animal with anything really doesn't sound like a good time for anybody maybe Gaia can help you find something else silly silly that's not what stuffed animals are wilds. I'll keep an eye on beta make sure she's comfortable okay there is something I'd like to discuss it's about the land gods if you have time that is I've got nothing but time you said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it a uh, reboot code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. Well, that's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. Mm. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. I'll let you know when I get close to those Grimhorns. Good. If we can get their control cores, maybe we really can heal the land gods. Maybe. Who's to say? Look at him having a good old time. How could you be upset with this man? <laughs> oh, it's just. I forget. Is that an exit? It looks like that's some sort of exit. Where's the one guy? In the, um, what's his face? Let me see. Where's his room? It's not that. This room. Yeah, where did Gatolo go? Was he done? Is he just like, I don't want to be here anymore. Please leave me alone. Like, I wouldn't blame them. Holograms. Gaia, I thought you said the data here was lost. I was able to repurpose the equipment to store the data you have acquired in your travels. It's a metal flower thing. Is that a metal flower thing? Can I do metal flower things now? Ah, there it is. What can I do? The second verse. Oh, that's a cool quest title name. Penzo seeks to prove his mettle by completing a trial known as the March of the Ten, but the brutal challenge may be too much for him. Oh no. Not too much for him. Let's go to the oh. Let's go we'll go to the map when um once I'm out of here. We'll get the fuck out. I 
the pressure building to it. I see like a shadow of a bat of an enemy, and I was like, wait, what is this? Um, okay. So doing side missions. Oh, it's so all the way over here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, would be great. I think I should also probably look into doing the things like um where is it? I don't know. Where is it? Obviously machine strike dude or ma'am. Um outposts potentially. Where was the there was something else that I was like, oh I need to do that at some point soon. Oh, this, the hunting grounds. Yeah. The hunting grounds, because I think I should be strong enough to kill those things in like one hit. One stealth strike hit. I think is the deal. So I will Let me get to Campfire to conserve my packs here. Oh, she has another rumor potentially for me. I love how much rumor she has. I see you, champion. Sit. I was scouting northwest of here, near the village of Saltbite. Yeah. There's a place there where the ground is made of metal. You don't say. I don't know what it means, but it can't be good. Ground of be metal. Wary. Appreciate the warning. The fuck does that mean? Oh, it's a cauldron. Okay. Ground Stay alert. Metal? Might be a cauldron. And where there's a cauldron, there's machine if you walk by, You'll miss out on a good trade. Shush up. Okay, let's go to the hunting grounds. I think we can do this pretty easily. I don't think there's a campfire right next to it. Knock these out, get the metals, do the thing. Easy. easy to find there it is look how green this place is we've been dealing with a lot of rocky places that it just it's nice to see um not just rocks <laughs> crafting some sword bones here okay I didn't see these before. Alright, here's really hoping I can just kill these things in one kind of go. Because I think the whole thing was I would do the stealth strike and then it would just, it would leave them with like a bit of health. And then it would just be like, well... There's no way I'm going to be able to do this with the gold time, so I just kind of gave up. Speed strats. True hunter never stops honing their technique. Yeah, yeah, give me the mission. <laughs> okay, so silent strike. Kill machines using silent strike and strike from above to remain undetected. A minute 30. Got it. Easy. Jump down with the ropes and we'll begin the trial. I'm gonna do this in no time flat. Three machines killed. Thanks to the data from the cauldrons, I can override tracker burrowers now. Yeah, but I don't need to override them. Music intensifying. Dun -dun 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 oh my god, I'm not near any of them. Oh, here we go. From above, right? Strike from above. Good strike from above. Strike from above, please. Strike, let me do it. Oh. Great, now I have to do it like this. Did that kill it? It didn't even kill it. No! This isn't... 
Dow. I needed to knock him out in one hit. Oh. Then how the fuck am I supposed to do this? I can turn this around. Boom. <laughs> in the face. Does doing that, can they immediately, do they immediately know where I'm at if I do that? Just gonna kill him. Fuck it. Reset this. Ow. There. <laughs> I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to reset. Trial failed. Great. Give me my rewards. Alright, new strat. Sneak. Strike. And maybe if I run back There's into no Tall. Shame in losing. Only giving up. You want to take on that trial again? Yeah, I do. Just the slide down a rope to start. I look forward to seeing you compete. Like, does he know where I'm at if I'm like this? Definitely makes it seem like he does. Well, I can still technically do it like that. Do a silent strike. Do a silent strike, hit him with the firebomb. Come on, let me do it, sound strike. Waiting for the prompt to pop. That is not. Damn it. Fuck. <sighs> Meanwhile, I'm wasting just smoke bombs. Uh, okay. This is fucking madness. All right. We got to reset. Yes. Don't judge me, lady. The only other thing I can think of is maybe the strike from above does more damage. smoke bombs like an idiot. Alright, there's two. Yeah, come on over here. You idiot. Let's go. Does 
that work? No, he's just dazed. Gotcha. I have four seconds. Come on. Prompt. Do it. Oh, it didn't work. That, why didn't it? <laughs> I actually want to cry. Ow. Fucking hell. Can I strike from above using these poles? Like if I, I guess I should test it out, right? Let me see. Ow. Oh, he fucked it up. I don't think that's a thing I can do. All right, reset. Ow. Fuck. Where's the, where's the out of here? There it is. I mean, uh. I hate. I hate the inconsistence. Inconsistency with the when the things should be popping. You wanna start over? Cause like jump down with the ropes and we'll begin the trial. Alright, I'm gonna try may I need to see if the strike from above does better. damage and such because I mean I imagine well I shouldn't really guess does this alert him get up Does that kill? Okay, it did. Okay, so maybe this is the way to go then. As long as I don't alert. The problem becomes I have to get to... There's only so many limited spaces, you know? Oh, can I do it from here? Oh, this is ingenious. I'm so stupid. Why didn't I... Oh, I fucked it up. Oh. I tried... I had to, like, try to rush it because... Okay, well, we know now. You didn't finish your trial. Yeah, I know, lady. I go down the rope and I'll start timing. The, the smugness trial. of this lady irks me to n no end. Okay, on top of this. Okay. No, get up. Don't do that animation. Don't do this to me, Aloy. Don't embarrass me. I'm 
not even gonna search because I have to go quicker. Well, level 26 while I'm doing this stupid mission. closer you don't see me don't worry don't look at me don't look at me I don't think that worked oh it did what color me impressed that it counted that but that was a stealth kill This is gonna. Nope, I'm like six seconds short. <sighs> I'm gonna have to redo it. Okay, well, I just gotta get a little faster. Try to reduce some of the like unnecessary jumps. Take this, take this, take this. All right, we got this. Just slide down a rope to start. Mm-hmm. I look forward to seeing you compete. Of course you do. <sighs> Fuck. Well, I fucked this up, didn't I? Damn it. Maybe I can... Now they're all riled up. I don't think it's gonna count it. Anything. Like, I can't. Reset it, lady. Help me reset. Again, I wish there was like a one button thing I could do to reset instead of having to come all the way over here. You wanna start over? You wanna start over? Jump down with the ropes and we'll begin I just the hate how she sounds. I hate how smug she is. I hate everything about her. You wanna give up, you fucking idiot? Go down. Okay, now run. Get up, get up, get up. All right, this is good time, good time. Don't search, don't need it. All right, where are the other enemies? Where are you? Don't have time, don't have time for this. Come on. Please, please, please go, come down and let me hit you. Please, please be within range. There we go. I have 30 seconds. Find this last one. Oh shit, it's coming. Uh oh, I maybe tried to shoot, maybe I should have tried to zoop on faster. Oh no, I moved. Oh no. Come on, get up, Aloy. Aloy, no. Get up, Aloy. Aloy, no. Oh my god, it ruined because I couldn't get up. Oh, that is the worst thing I've seen, dude. Oh my god, I couldn't. <laughs> Fuck. I already gave you medals for those stripes. <clears throat> hunt still deserves a prize. She's gonna give me nothing, right? Just slide down a rope to start. 
That is so infuriating. That is- Oh my god, I was shimmying around the fucking thing. All because of camera angles, dude. I fucked that up. Please not, please let me win this one. I don't want to do this again. Who sees me? Did the exact same thing. Ooh, but I didn't fuck up the angle thing. Please, come on, count it. Yes, yes. Get me out of here. Oh my god. Fuck this mission. Take this. Take dance. Take this. Good. Okay, silent gliding. Use your shield wing to glide undetected over machines and kill them from above. Oh, you can kill them while gliding over? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, that should be simple. Just slide down a rope to start. Two machines killed I like this? To you compete. I'm gonna start from my high perch here. I think I fucked it up. They're riled up now. How do I do this? I don't know how to. <laughs> Is there a button prompt like the other things, or does it have to be silent? I'm not sure if it has to be silent or not. Because if there's a prompt, it would probably have to be silent. You wanna start over? I guess I could probably read the. Let me see. Hold that to deploy shield wing while gliding. Hover of an over an unalarmed machine and tap that to kill. When in range of a grapple point, jump and quickly tap that. Okay, yeah. So it is undetected. Jump it's like a we'll essentially a strike from above. But I gotta not suck. There we go. someone who's not alerted. Ow. I think all three are alerted. Is that all three? That might count. Let's see. Oh, it does. Hell yeah. I'm out of here. Oh, God. Look at that jump over that. Incredible. I truly am a hunting master. You should be proud of yourself.
Grand Quarter Stripes Reward. Look at all that. That's everything. When the hunt calls, I'll be here. When the hunt calls, I'll be here. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny to me. Um, 30, almost 32%. Oh, man. Nothing can stand in my way. I am just the best. Now we have that battle music just just being a thing, so that's cool. I don't know if that's like a bug or something, but it always happens. It feels. Um, soldiers march. I know. Hmm. Hmm. Machine strike. Machine strike person oh, I should do it. and I'll just use a pack because I have many of them at this point many packs many packs all right machine strike scalding spear we must all unite why would the wound give less water Yoshitaka. What mission is this for? The wound in the sand? It's a level 19 thing. Um, I'll do you once I beat These the machine strike. barely get us through the day, Commander. Where is the machine strike person? Our children are thirsty. Does the command have reserves? Exactly. I'll bet they're keeping the water for themselves. They're just yelling at each other. I don't need this. I don't need this in my life. What I do need is a board game. <laughs> a board game of strategy and... Uh... Oh, I went up the wrong path. Damn it. Not a happy place. In here? No, is it up another floor? I think it's up another floor. There you are. Who shall I beat at machine strike today? Oh shush. We playing or what? Yeah, we're playing. Deal me in. Um, I have a new piece, right? A new strong piece or something I should maybe try to incorporate. Plow horn, I think, was the new thing. Growth attacking machine on grassland. Well, no, 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 no. That we've had that. I don't know what the new piece I got was for doing all the things before. So I'm just gonna say I like my set. This is good. Game on. Get your game on. Um, this should be simple. I should be able to destroy it, right? Attacking from grassland. Attacking from grassland. Attacking from grassland. Put you there. Oh, playing defensive, I see. I don't see how it is. Um, and My turn? turn? Gotta love that move. Ow. What the hell? I think she I'm done here. 
Did she say gotta love that move? What do you what do you mean, lady? Okay, she has a wide maw here as well. Killing this would be nice. Question's gonna become how exactly do I do that? Swoop type? Swoop type? Attacking this before it can even start. Out you go. Nice. There Off we go. The board you go. Now I just need to take one more piece. Psh, easy. No time for tears. No time for tears. Okay, just, oh wait, I need aren't looking too good for that me, was only one they? point. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I miscalculated. Oh, so I have to now I'm gonna have to kill this final big big thing. What is it? Is it a snake? When attacking from forest terrain, something, something, something. Can do only one damage. One damage. One damage again. The thing is, whatever I end up doing, it, it can't win. I have nothing that would give it four points to win. So it can kill one of my things. It just can't kill two. So whatever I end up doing, I need to make sure I... I'm smart about it. What should I do? <gasps> no fucking way. Oh. <laughs> I'm feeling lucky. Oh, you Let's suck. Go. Man anything that makes me play more of this strat this game makes me upset that when i lose and i'm like oh fuck, i gotta go again oh it's because i thought that one piece was the one pointer thing was going to give me the win so i really just kind of wasted i mean there was no real point in me taking that because i couldn't have um one i mean I only need to kill the other thing that had four points. That's it for me. Rookie mistake, you could say. Oh, I have to go first. What are your big point things? You're being four and three. I could just kill these two and then maybe win. I'm going to play defensively again. Here I go. Here you go. Yeah, you can That's take that one piece. That one. I don't I don't care. I we do not care. What's that give in our video? We do not care. You can have that, and I will not cry a bit. Victory could be just these two pieces. Why is that gotta be so strong? Why is this piece, I can pull him, right? Pull him off of it. Or I guess not pull them off of it, like I thought. <laughs> cool. Um, fuck. I thought that would pull them off, but I guess I don't. 
to pull him, would I have to have been two spaces away? I might have had to have been two spaces away, now that I think about it. I think I really fucked up. That would be worth it. It just gets such good defensive boost there. Oh, I can't even overcharge and kill. It's all... Man. Really just bad all around. Me back. Yeah. Oh wait, this is my. Uh, I'm gonna take that. Blow. I'm gonna take it. I I I have to do whatever you must. That's the end of that one. Okay, okay. So just killing this will get me the win, but it has seven health. Is the problem. Seven health, pretty dang good. Do I retreat and become defensive? Retreat and become defensive. Me again. Let's go. Again, I can sacrifice that piece because I want to give them a win. You go now. Okay, either take both of these down or take this thing down. I mean, e oh, this would kill it. Huh. You go. I think I might be going for this then. Oh no. That armor really comes in handy. My turn. See what it does. Your turn. Three damage. It might be three damage and then overcharge this to... Yep. Yep. That's mm. it. Mm. You win. Uh. Thanks for a good game. Okay, I'm gonna get a drink here. We're approaching night time. I'll be right back. Give me like a minute. The true Forbidden West experience is just playing um, Machine Strike. Uh oh, I'm caught up in. I got my coat caught up in the wires there. Okay, second board. Let's go. What's the piece I'm going to get? Bellow back? This Bellow is going to be fun. This is going to be fun, she declares. Confidently. <laughs> okay, yeah, same strat. Put these tough guys together. Put my other guys kind of together. And we have a good time. What should I do? So she goes... This enemy goes for the few... Fewer pieces, but, like, stronger. Look at this shell walker. And then stalker again. Oh, 
I would love to take this defensive part. Especially so she can't take it. Me again. Let's go. I think I'm done here. How do you think? Oh, I can't dash while I'm doing that. Well, that sucks. What is this? That's the four piece. If I, I think I can. And then it exposes and then I shoot. No time for tears. Yeah, that was good. Out you go. Now, so now if I just kill the shell walker, I would win. A mighty blow. What is its weak spot? The back. It only does one damage. Yeah, I might as well just focus on that. Ha! You hit armor. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. All right. I'm also gonna win, lady. So I'm fuck deep. off. Well played, friend. <laughs> you dumb dumb. Okay, third board. Show me what you're made of. Show me what you got. Okay, same strat. No point in fixing what isn't broke, you know. Oh, I fucked up because I thought, well, no big deal, honestly. I'm gonna... Again, I, I, I think it's, I think beginning positions aren't too pivotal. It's more just like reacting correctly and moving correctly to what your enemy does and making sure you don't make really bad mistakes. Your turn. Now, what's interesting already, Glint Hawk put its weak spot, its front weak spot, right there next to this thing so that i can like this is that's an auto kill for me that's the end of that one like so just capitalizing on bad mistakes you must like i'm already about to win yourself right now huh <laughs> woo buddy woo buddy Oh, it feels great, lady. That's it for me. Now I just need one point from. Might as well just take out the weak thing. This is a just a. This was just a beatdown. You win. That means you've beaten me on all my boards. <laughs> Guess this is yours then. It is mine. I get your rarest card. A seven zero beatdown Can't on the wait final for the board. Rematch. Nope, no rematches ever again. I will never talk to you ever again. I will do the melee pit here, though. Who do I need to talk to to do this melee pit? Probably over there at the entrance of it. What's going on here? Not as cool as the other pit Close master combat, armor. Training. Fighting at long range is a good strategy for machines. But fighting an enemy soldier means getting up in their face. I'm Luraka. I run Lurake? the here in Scalding Spear. Only a few outlanders have ever made it out this far west. But from what I've heard, you're a pretty good fighter. Yeah, I'm pretty good. You can train here if you like, but you're only allowed your spear and a practice bow in the pit. Everything else stays with me. And if you're looking to test your fighting skills, I also offer challenges. 
complete all of them, and you'll get to go up against me. The pitmasters do get like the best armor, though. I'll grant you a mark to prove you've mastered this training pit. If you earn marks from me and the pit masters of the Bulwark and Thorn March, you'll earn the right to challenge the Enduring. I think I've heard of the Enduring. Some kind of Tanakh's trainer? More than just a trainer. The Enduring is a legendary fighter among us. way of life. The master of masters. Only those master of masters from Kingdom Hearts? Train with the Enduring. Including Outlanders? You're no ordinary Outlander. So, what will it be? Master of Masters from Kingdom Hearts. I love it. Or take on a challenge. Just let me know. Um, no, I don't want to practice. Give me the challenges, you knob. Okay, complete these two. Time limit, two minutes. Elite warriors are efficient, deadly, and precise. Land a basic combo, follow up with a power attack, and finish with a resonator blast to maximize damage. Defeat your opponent with the following combos. Nora Warrior, R1, 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 R2, Power Attack, Resonator Blast. Okay. Two minutes. Wrong input. Oh. I see, it wants me to do them all. Oh, I had to do it in order, didn't I? I see. And now power attack. But that didn't put a thing on him. It needs to... It didn't put a thing on him, so I couldn't do resonator blast at that point. Seems like a weird flaw. Just as you can combine single attacks, you can also chain combinations. Try it with this one. What do you mean try it with this one? I did it. Elite warriors don't just look for openings, they create them. Rise above your opponent, finish them off with a precise resonator blast. Defeat them with the following combos. Aerial slash, R1, R2. Trigger a resonator blast while in the air. Minute thirty to do it. Can this guy stun. Here's something different. I want you to practice using aerial slash to chain into an aerial shot. I did it. Don't yell at me, sir. I did it in ten seconds, dude. Okay. Put your melee skills to test to defeat Lureke, I don't know, the Desert Tanakh Pitmaster. He's a battle-hardened soldier and elite fighter known among the clan as the Desert's Ravager. His fast and precise counterattacks have won many decisive victories. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll do the things. Good combinations. You delivered that well. Walk with strength. I'm still here. Hey, courage serves you well. Now that was an attack. Skill. All right. I yield. Yay! Easy, dude. I knocked out this pit. It was nothing, dude. Less than ten minutes. Here, a mark is promised. Thanks. One down. I feel like yes. I had a harder time on the, the Go first to the pit. Pits and the bulwark and thorn <laughs> bulwark and thorn marsh. Then you can challenge the enduring. Few have ever done so, but I think you might have a shot. And if you want to train more or take on another challenge, let me know. Dude, I can't learn Always anything from you. you. I've I killed you just. That's enough practice for now. Strike true as the ten. Strike true. Alright, that's done. Look at that desert clan mark. Uh, 
Um, that one, remember on the map there was the tall neck that was locked? Why is it still locked? What does it mean? I'm gonna, you know what? I don't mind searching for it. Locked tall neck. Let's see. Oh, apparently it is just until I get later on in the story. Well. Oh, how do I do machine strike intermediate? Intermediate. I just need a map. Locations. Uh, so arrow hand, scalding spear, and salt bite. Intermediate. I should probably put locations, right? <laughs> it's a lot of people being like, "Where's the fun in these?" And it's like, uh. This is to locate all the parts, I think. But that's not what I want. I don't need locations of where the parts are. Oh! Ah. Where's salt bite? What is... Um, filter. All. Done. And then, let me... This was intermediate. I did that. Intermediate, intermediate. I don't know where possibly the third intermediate could be. Probably somewhere down here, right? Because if there's one here, and there's one uh, wherever it was, Uh, one here, and then one here, like triangulation, like here seems right, so it's just maybe I haven't seen it, I just haven't seen it, you know, that's fine, what are these, oh, first to fly, look at these level 32 mission, Jesus, who, who, what does this game think I am, fucking... That mission's way out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there's a side mission near here that I said I would do, right? Yeah, this. Uh, I forget what it's called. It's, um, Wound in the Sand, I believe, yeah. According to Chaplain Chitaka, Desert Clan's troubles are far from over. He needs Aoi's help in the capital of Scalding Spear. I can do this. Why put guards around the wound? You can't just take away our water. The wound gives less water. Our rations adjust. What's going on? We know the way of the desert. Uh, stopping us. Just yell. From taking what we want. And, uh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Anyone else want to complain? We're the desert clan. We survive with what we have. I would hate to be a member uh, of the Desert Clan. Commander's not much for hand-holding. That is not our way. I would Even want to be in the, so the Plain case. Song place. Shall Lush we? greenery. Sure. A weird Can't choir wait. people. She's with me. I want that. I want that. Is not the only one with harsh words for your commander. The desert has bred survival into our clan's blood. We spit at death and charge into battle. Nope. Maybe a little too eagerly. Your reputation has grown since I saw you last. You took down the bulwark, defended the grove, and saved the life of our chief. I'm hoping you've got enough left for one more. Look at that bird. What do you need? You will find out soon enough. What if I shot an arrow at the bird? 
That'd be funny, yeah? So, this is the outlander that bested Regala. And now she conspires with the dissident Draka. Demanding water does not make one a dissident, Yara. Doesn't make Draka a commander either. You should advise him of that. Oh. Jataka said you needed help. Did he now? Aloy has a unique insight into the ways of the old ones. She might be able to fix this before it gets out of hand. Get to the point. What is Jataka talking about? There is no water. What do you mean? I mean the wound in the sand, that which provides the clan with the water we need to survive, is completely dry. This water source, Jataka said it's somehow related to the old ones? From what we can tell, whatever water we take, it restores on its own, over time. A few weeks ago, it stopped. I ordered rationing, searched for other viable sources. But everything else nearby is tainted one way or another. But why the tainted. secrecy? Keeping your people in the dark seems to be making things worse. If the clan knew, my command would be challenged. There's no water, and you're worrying about keeping your command? Think what you want. Between the machines, the storms, and Regala's uprising, I'm the only thing keeping this clan from falling apart. Draka said your clan won't touch Regala. Her grudge is with Chief Hakaro, not me. And I plan to keep it that way. So her troops don't turn on my clan. Besides, if she defeats Hakaro, she deserves to rule. That's the way of the tribe. Draka's people sacrificed a lot to get that water. He thinks you're hoarding it for yourself. The perfect excuse to challenge my command. Like he's always wanted. All right. Of course he makes it sound very noble. That he only cares about his thirsty people. But all he really wants is to be in charge. And if he was, he'd face the exact same problem I have. There is simply not enough water to go around. So how are you going to deal with not having any water? Ration what little we have. Buy time to fix the wound. And in the meantime, people die of thirst? Every corpse weighs on me. That is what it means to be a commander. What matters is that the clan survives as a whole. I can't promise anything, but if this wound was built by the old ones, I might be able to fix it. How exactly do you intend to do that? Just show her the wound, Yara. Show me the wound. <laughs> you can tell me when we get there. After you. The wound in the sand is this way. I'm curious what this wound in the sand is. You're not Karja, or Osiron. I was born amongst the Nora, as far east as you are west. I've heard of your people. They say only those who are exiled leave your lands. There are exceptions. What business does a Nora exception have in the west? Believe it or not, to help people, even the ones who don't want it. Sounds like a difficult path. She's stuck. The quest giver is stuck. I need to go back to the Warwick or whatever it's called to do that melee pit. So I'll probably do that after whatever I do here. Because those are easy to knock out. You know? A new character bio? Yara. As commander of the fra uh, fractious, fractious, like, you know, frac like, of fractured desert Tanakh clan, Yara rules with a strict and disciplined hand. A renowned and ruthless fighter, she has retained, excuse me, command through meticulous planning and willingness to make hard decisions. Recently, she has faced her toughest challenge yet, a severe shortage in the clan's lone water supply. Dealing with it has forced her to squeeze her iron fist tighter than ever, so much so that the clan might finally revolt against her. Ooh. Sounds tough. The wound in the sand. Definitely built by the old ones. Focus should show me more. Pipes leading outside the settlement. What do you see? A trail. Follow I the pipes. Be able to turn off my focus for a while. I can follow the pipes' general direction now. What are you doing? I can always check. Your wound leads underground. We've tried going down there, but like it's they too call narrow it a wound. for anyone to reach the bottom. Even outlanders see that Regala is treacherous. 
There, I need the pipes. There we go. It's like I was like, where's the where fucking are pipe? You going? I think I can lead us to where the water comes from. What we used to. How? Doesn't matter. What matters is that the wound is fixed and my people survive. Just some the way. blockage in the in the pipes. We got pipe. I like these like solar panels that are just sticking in here. We got a, a blockage in our pipes. Our pipe system. Oh, can I not grab any of this? This will be in my stash when I need it. You don't need a poison arrow for this bird. Hitting the ground like that. Just a Um, I'm scared to... I don't want to fight these animals that are... Machines. I'm going to have to fight the machines, aren't I? Also, there's a random... Is that the rebel outpost? It says unknown... Oh, an unknown shelter. Got it. I will bury you. This fucking bird thing? I hate the bird things. You know what would probably help? Huh. Ow. Great miss. I don't need ammo, I need just back up. Just mind the fire. I should be able to. You know, if I didn't miss a ton. Okay, this sucks. There we go, that helped. What killed me? Ooh, oh, the, I didn't get hit by anything. Was it the plasma effect I had on me? Oh. Uh, that's a f fucking frustrating. I'm back out here. God. There was like two enemies left and one of them was already like dead. How upsetting. I'm gonna fight them again. Now I'm really determined to. You guys can chill for a sec. Oh god. No, clearly I'm not.
Ow, I hate how that hurts me. Down it goes. You're gonna have to wait. I'm killing this thing. You wanna fight now? Fucking idiot, I'll kill you so quick. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh my god. Lady down. Yeah, clearly. Another kill! Who's still fighting me? Who's still here? I will kill all of you. Let's see you dodge my shot. Some burrower? Absolutely brutal. Well, rock. Down it goes. Not more. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> well, that was a fight. Still, these this guy. Give me a challenge. 
Fuck off. <laughs> Just go away. <laughs> collect my winnings and leave me alone. <laughs> Doesn't even look like I got much. Either it disapp they disappeared as I was killing things or I don't know. Or maybe I collect things along the way. I felt like I killed like a hundred enemies and it was probably like five. shelter is. Stay in rest and push on. Oh, it's got a workbench and stuff as well. Nice. Fucking nice. apparently a campfire here as well. The thing is, I kind of... Oh, the pipes just keep going that way. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. A slither fang site? Oh, boy. Just what I'd like to see. Okay, let's go find the pipes. Pipes go that way. A pigeon. What is that? Uh oh, sun wings. Great. Those flowers. Crown's wet too. The vein must have leaked here. Not enough to be the cause of the missing water, but enough for these plants to grow. We're on the right track. You see all that from a patch of wet sand? Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty smart, you asshole. <laughs> I'm not a fucking dummy, alright? like the metal from the wound. We really are following its trail. As I've been saying, the desert kills, but it also surprises. I got a pristine skull from one of those things. Where the pipes are headed with my focus. I mean, it's clearly up here, Aloy. Let's not be dumb now. I just yelled at her for saying that, making her act like I was dumb. It's a lot of machines. And a very dead soldier. Oh, worse? very dead. I need to take a closer look. One corpse. I need to get rid of the machines first. Follow my lead. Kill machines. We have, I think, four? Four guys? This thing. One of these fucking... Wide maws suck ass. Now, I'm trying to remember. Do these things, like, they don't like to fight, I'm pretty sure, is their whole deal. 
What are they weak to? Fire. Hmm. I don't care. I'm gonna fucking... Oh! That hurt. No, I don't want to fight the wide maw right now. Alright, that kills that. No, don't jump down. Oh, I forgot. Oh my god. I didn't know I had to. I was gonna. I ran out of room there. I'm coming back. I need more real estate here. That was much better. Okay, I need room to operate here. Huh. Ooh, that was a hit. Tell me twice. Oh shit. There we go. Good job. Ooh. I'm going to say a good fight. The explosive spikes, I just love way too much. I like being able to just huck a fucking spike at an enemy. You know him? That Spiking it and then it exploded like two seconds later. I will cut off that dissident's head and feed it to the vultures if he had anything to do with... We don't know what happened here yet. And we still have a trail to follow. Lead the way. Is it more pipe? More pipage? Barely a lick's worth. But there are no streams in this area. Which means these anchors. That soldier must have used them to get up this cliff. He must have been going back to Arrowhand when those machines got him. Maybe he found something up there worth reporting back about. We'll find out soon enough. I'm gonna think so. The screen channel fetch a price. Oh what hey. What is this? The problem. I'm gonna need my focus. That weapon. Looks like Draka's man tried to pry this open. 
But he didn't know what he was doing. And now the water's not going where it's supposed to. Sabotage. Or ignorance. Just being a big dum dum. This is gonna do anything. Maybe if I follow that main pipe, I'll find something useful. Got it. What do you need me to do? Just uh, stay here. You Let just uh, don't changes. bother me while I get I'm this handle. Take a look around. A valve. That might help. Hey, it stopped leaking. It looks like that stopped the water flow. Now I just need to find a way to get it to Scalding Spear. in here sculpture and a gold ingot valuable the same type of machinery we found outside only this one's not leaking maybe it can help me switch the water flow it sounds like the water switched just gotta open the valve upstairs get that water circulating To... <gasps> Great. Not getting up through there. What about here? <laughs> what is com coming over here, dude? Though the system switched back. Couldn't hold the water pressure. I need to find a way up to that valve. Oh, nice jump, Aloy. Nice jump. Whoa. Flash to black. It's leaking again. Whatever you did, undo it. Nope. Oh, okay. Close that up again. Sorry. I, didn't know, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> don't yell at me. The leaks disappeared. But making progress. <clears throat> Is it done? Not yet. I'm working on it. Is it just some combination? Is that what I'm supposed to do? The water is still leaking. I gotta try something else. How many different bits and bobs are there? Did I not do this right? <sighs> is it just a random combo thing? Okay, so she said, don't open that valve. Sounds like the water is switched. Gotta open the valve upstairs. Get that water circulating. Oh, it's probably reset when I hit that. I understand. I think I just wasn't supposed to touch that at all because it really fucked everything up. that supposed to do anything uh i guess not <sighs> ran out of time i need to hit the switch again and find a way to that valve upstairs wait ran out of time what <laughs> or what Ran out of time. Is this a timed thing? Huh. 
Do I really have to... Upstairs. Get that water circulating. No, come on. Fuck, if this is timed. Go. Or, you know, don't get on there. Pull. What are you doing? Aloy! Switched again. I need to find another way to get up to that valve. What do you mean? Just me. Like... I uh, do not understand. Find a way to repair the. I don't understand this. Mi what the game wants me to underdo right now. Like. <laughs> this isn't making any fucking sense. I'm like, uh, yeah. The flash of black meet there means the leak is back. Oops. Looks like you stopped the leak. Okay, good. Is it just a timed thing that I'm supposed to? It sounds like the water switched. I've gotta open the valve upstairs. Get that water circulating. Okay, I'm clearly missing something. It says upstairs, but sounds like I'll have to try that again. There's gotta be a way to get to that valve. There's nothing else in this room, right? Again, one of those moments where you're just like, am I, am I dumb? Am I not understanding? And it's making itself very clear or find a way to repair the pump. Let me see something. I know I'm going to get yelled at when I just flip this thing. Good old flash to black. Is there something wrong? We're losing water. It's okay. I got this. Something doesn't work with water leaking through the other distribution system. That okay. valve I saw earlier. Maybe I can use it to shut off water to those pipes. Also, this jump sucks. The scanning the things gone. again I will try to keep it that way I see I'm literally about to look up wound in the sand repair Since pump thing switched got to open the valve upstairs get that water circulating the valve upstairs, it says. Valve upstairs. This valve? Didn't work out. I don't even. I just need to find a way up to that valve before hitting the switch. Fuck off. Let me find this. Wound in the sand. This is so dumb. This is dumb. Okay, let me see. Pull 
one was in front of me. Look up and you see a vent. Yes. Yes. Pull it down. Turn on the water. There has to be a way to reroute the water back to scalding speed. Shut up. Shut up, Aloy. In this next room, you'll go to the valve where you can turn. Turning it will cause the water to stop flowing. Go right and drop down to the edge. Far end will be another lever you can pull down. Oh. There is apparently... I didn't... I, I missed the, the number one rule of Horizon Forbidden West. Apparently look up, I guess. Let me see. Oh, there's a... Look at this. There. I bet I can use that. Oh, that's so... Oh, everything is blue in this cave thing. That's it? Wait, but I mean... I, I was already getting... Across... I was getting across anyway. What? That what? Uh... Before you look up, you'll see another metal beam and pull down. Pull it down first and proceed to pull the lever. I, this let's see is it because I literally just had to it sounds like the water is switched I've got to open the valve upstairs get that water circulating I mean I was finding a way to sounds like that did something Aloy I can hear water in the room again. Anything leaking? Not that I can see. Let's hope that means my plan works. And do I just pull this in? That should do it. All this right. Fuck it. I I, I don't know, dude. The only way to be sure. <laughs> Draka knew what would happen if the capital was left without water, but he didn't care. All he wanted was to cause a crisis so he could challenge my command. We don't know that for Crazy. Sure. Meet me back at the wound when you can. Please. To make sure the water will flow. Yeah, I gotcha. Mm -hmm. Don't do anything rash about Draka. Only an upstart acts rashly. A commander bides her time. Hey. The desert was kind to lead you to us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Things are about to get ugly between Draka and Liara. Maybe I can head it off. Oh, I don't want to fight that thing. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. No fight. No fight, please. Campfire, though. Oh, 
Oh god, it's next. It's next to Slytherin thing. Oh god. Oh god. Slytherin fucking Slytherin thing. Uh. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we've now hit like the 10 hour mark. Um. That means we'll probably only be live for another like hour to an hour and a half, I would imagine. Because I don't want to. I would hate to run up directly into like the two hour or the 12 hour mark. If that makes sense. Because 12 hours is the biggest chunk I can upload to YouTube as a saved stream. So, like, I wouldn't want to start a mission at like 11, at like 11.30 and then be like, oh no, I'm racing against time and I can't save or whatever the case. So, we'll probably, you know. Like another hour or so of doing random probably no story bits for the rest of the night probably just hit some like minor mish side mission or errands even errands are small right where is this uh it's in the middle of fucking nowhere there's machine strike experience there's another machine strike oh i can go do the melee pit at the at this right yeah that seems like a good thing we could do tonight Yeah, he says. Knock that shit out easy. Is true. Yara and Draco will end up killing a lot more than just each other. There has to be something I can do. So, say the chief gets his way. I heard your brother was a I see soldiers guarding the wound in the sand. But no Yara. Let's go. I need to see the wound. I'm afraid your presence is required in the commander's quarters. Uh. Is everything okay? The dissident Draka has been apprehended for interfering with the wound. How did he interfere? He entered the wound by force, saw that it was empty, except for a slow trickle that began when you fixed the device in the desert. He did not take it well. Of course he didn't. I'll go meet with them. <laughs> oh, wait, I see it. Look at that. Return the flies. Fran, the environmental risk management team has some new numbers. Biodiversity rates are up across the board. In particular, three species of fly that were previously thought to be gone from the region have been sighted recently. Hepalitis ephyria and Copestylium mexicanum. You know the drill. ERM will conduct more studies, but in the meantime, prepare a plan for reduced production during prime swarming hours. Can't afford to fry too many of the little buggers, or the DCE enforcement division will fry us. Say hi to Betty for me. Let's have a mojito when we're back. When I'm back in the hot zone. Regards, Phil. You have some nerve. You want to talk? That doesn't sound good. Is it in here? Watch your tone. Or what? You let these. How could you let this happen? How did I let this happen? You're the one who sabotaged the wound in the first place. Oh boy. You're lucky we were able to fix it. Or your head would already be on a spear. You call that fixed? Get it's a room. A dribble. And it's not my fault. I already told you, Ukta came to me. He said he found something in the desert that might get us water. I had no idea it had anything to do with the wound. And you expect me to believe that? Aloy, I came for the water that was owed to us. And when I found out that there is no water, they arrested me. As I already told you, the water is returning, but slowly. It'll be weeks before the wound is full again. Until then, I will send Arrowhand what I can. You hid what happened to the wound. How can we believe you now? Draka. No, you know what? Enough of this. <laughs> no more words. And say that a challenge. <laughs> oh, sp spit. Your squads, then. And uh -oh. meet us at the gate uh -oh. of the vanquished. challenge to prepare for leave me 
Well, this will be the end of the clan. This is unfortunate. I have to stop it. We have to stop it. Hold on a second. Help me understand. What do you mean, the end of the clan? Both sides will take their most loyal squads to the Gate of the Vanquished. Then they'll butcher each other as part of a ritual challenge. But it won't stop there. Whoever wins will try to wipe out the loser's loyalists all over the desert. The fighting could last for months. Those that two like scabheads are going to doom us all. Can't you stop them? I'm a chaplain. I provide counsel. I cannot force them to heed it. Even Chief Akaro can't intervene. It is a matter for the clan alone. What is this gate? The doorway to a dead cauldron. A symbol of what the tribe aspires to. The defeat of deranged machines. Dead? What shut it off? No one knows. But it is a place of great significance for our clan. Even greater now, since it will mark the onslaught of a massacre. What makes you think I can help you stop them? I'm not even from this tribe. They both owe you a debt. You aided them when no one else could. And you've seen into their hearts, just like I have. Misguided in different ways, but no less worthy of the people they protect. Your words might be enough to spear some sense into them. Yeah, spear well, some sense into them. They're not exactly good listeners. And you are no ordinary speaker. You took down the unyielding bulwark. Fought off an assault of Bergala's machines. I will go to the Gate of the Vanquished, southwest of here, to stall them. But without you, I'm afraid we'll run out of body bags fast. Hmm. Well, that, that quest is done. got a new side quest to deal with oh it's a level 15 right man that's like nothing interesting um so easily probably doable um do i think i can finish that now Might as well, we're here, and then I'll probably end with the melee pit, whatever. Oh, is this a thing? Look at this. Scalding Spear. Carefully written cardiglyphs with Fashal's personal mark, evidently part of a diary or journal. The desert capital is an intimidating place. It houses the imposing tower from which the unsettlement gets its name, surrounded by a field of strange mirrored plates that resembles a graveyard. Solar panels. From within, the rigid Commander Yar rules the clan with cold steel. Its residents, hardened by perpetual conflict, in the harsh environment fear none, or so I thought. I came here to resolve a conflict over the rights to a tattoo, a minor squabble in the eyes of a Karja, but a matter of life and death for the Tanakh. Having bled during a few of them myself on the field of battle, I feared that neither party would willingly relinquish their claim. So you can imagine my surprise when, upon arrival, I witnessed the two warriors in question coming to a swift agreement. As they saluted each other, a small company broke away from the gathered crowd, coming towards us, another marshal and her escorts. Upon seeing me, Marshal Regala stopped and we stood shoulder to shoulder. When we last met, she had looked down on me with utter disgust during the coal route that made me marshal. Now in a moment of tense quiet, she stared at me, her eyes still ablaze with unspeakable malice. Finally, she set off. Only then did I notice our respective escorts releasing their grip on their weapons' hilts. Afterwards, I learned that Regala has her own way of dealing with disputes. Upon arrival, the claimants get one singular chance to come to an agreement. That attempt bears no fruit well. Suffice to say, merely mentioning her involvement is often enough to resolve most claims. In her, I have an impeccable, implas, implacable enemy, because I am Karja. Revulsion will never debate. I fear that one day we will face each other in a duel, if only one can survive. Oh, well, that happened. 
Well, so we back home. They named me Unyielding Fashal for a reason. Hmm. What is that that I see? What is this? Metal clamp? What is this? Where am I? What is this that I see? A load off. Um, let's see. From Director Edwards, all exterior maintenance personnel. All good news. Due to cloud seeding and replanting projects throughout the region, temperatures are down 4 degrees, wind speed has been reduced by 7 knots on average, and air particle counts have reached the orange threshold. As such, all team members who work on the tower, boiler, and mirror fields can use SM2 hazard suits instead of the current SM3 models. I think you will all find that the lighter gear provides a less bulky and, frankly, less sweaty experience. More power to you, Fran. More, uh, more power to you. Huh. Pull. Pull. Interesting. Whoa, what the hell? Why is it doing that? Slowly but surely, I guess. Yeah. Down goes wall. Do I push this into there? like distant fighting going on some valuables I guess that's pretty good I made a hole in the <laughs> in their place though not sure if that's good Buddy. Wait, where is the mission? What is this? Oh, it's just strong color on this. Nothing fancy. vanquish oh he can't come in with us that's unfortunate he has to he has to just stay here sorry buddy <laughs> that's a lot of angry to knock Draka and Yara are already here I'm gonna have to fight aren't I The warring factions. It's just like West Side Story or something. May your name be honored at the grove. You can stop this. Let our blades speak for Gala together. Yeah, this is like a true fighting pit. I feel like I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do something here. Honor and strength. I see a purple thing I want up here. You're here. I am. Ah, 
The hero of the cool roots. Aloy, did you come to witness the challenge? Does I guess. Have to be a challenge? Oh yeah, there does. If you persist, all of these squads will join the fights. How many will die here? Too many. And how many will die in our villages War, what is it good for? retaliation begins? There has to be another way. Listen to what she has to say. You both owe her that much. Speak with Yara. Choose a side. I have to choose a side? Oh, boy. Yara, do you really need to do this? He sabotaged the wound. You can't tell me you believe he knew nothing about it. And it was all part of his plan to force a confrontation. Don't you see? This is what he's wanted all along. It doesn't matter how many die as long as he gets what he wants. Command of the clan. No. I'm putting an end to this. Now! Oh boy. Draka, you lost a lot of good people hunting machine hearts to trade for water. You want to lose more now? But that cost is exactly why I'm doing this. Why I had to send people to find other sources in the first place. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with what happened to the wound. Ukta came to me, said he found underground leaks that might lead to another well. That's all. I didn't tell him to screw it all up and drain the wound. Uh. So stand down so we can all talk about this. No. No more talking, no more lies. Yara can't be trusted. That's been proven. Oh my god. I actually do I actually is it is it gonna be a thing where I choose a side and then like I have to kill the other side? Because I'm I'm wanting to lean towards Yara Yara side. But draw guy feels so bad. We partnered up and did the whole thing together, like Oh, you both need to stand down. Yeah, fuck Is you. Is this guys. how you two plan to save your clan? I'm not taking a side like that. By causing a massacre over who gives the orders? Drop this foolishness and work together. She's right. Put away your spears. Return to your homes. Which means she stays in charge? Forget it. You see? Replacing me is all he cares about. It's yeah, it event. sort of seems like he just wants and to take charge. To here. Uh, for once we agree. Pick a side, Aloy. Because oh, we're boy. this now. There must be a way to minimize the bloodshed. The Tanakh never make things easy, do they? I'm afraid not. Shit. Well, here's the thing. I think Draka is cool and all, but it does seem like he's like so headstrong in become like usurping her power and becoming the leader kind of thing. I in this case would probably rather side with Yara and be like, no. I kind of understand. He kind of just wants to take over her position, it seems. That seems fucked up. Becoming commander isn't going to change what happened to the wound, Draka. If you really wanted to help your people, you wouldn't be throwing away more lives just to change who gives the orders. Mm -hmm. You really are something, Flame of the Desert. But I didn't come all this way to let things stay the way they are. Then fight us. Just us. Oh. You want to save lives? Keep your squads out of it. I've seen how you fight. These soldiers are with me. Then we stand with Aloy and Yara. Even numbers. <sighs> Fine, old man. It's your funeral. Oh, God. New rules. We're keeping it to just us. Winner takes command. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. This is scary. Nice knowing you, Aloy. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Change of plans. You should have backed down when you had the chance, Draco. Wait, so we are fighting? Whoa! What happened? What happened? What did, what 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 hit me there? That's some fucked up shit. I don't even know. You should have backed down when you Where is Draka? Who is Draka? Which one is Draka? 
Is it this guy swinging his sword like a fucking madman? I can't tell. Who do I kill? Oh fuck. Oh no! Big hammer man! Big hammer man! Oh fuck. That sucks. <laughs> this mission just sucks. I like I hate when people these pe the armor sets don't look that different and I'm just like there's no good way of telling if they're like on my side or not except for I guess the little symbols above their heads and such but like no don't don't shoot that. Face on, face on, face on. I think I missed his face. Fuck. There's a hammer, man. God damn it. This dude with the hammer. All right, fuck it. Ow. Fuck. Fuck. Oh my god. Hammer man! Stop! Stop! Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, it does so much damage. Oh. Okay, down he goes. Can't get up here. I was hoping, sir. Well, you're dead. Hope that was fun for you. Oh God! It's over, Draka. Great. Unnecessary bloodshed. <laughs> Not just yet. You did your best to follow the path. You die with honor. Mm. Oh my God! Jesus! Wow, this mission is just like we don't give a fuck about these people anymore. They're dead. They're dead to us. We did a mission with this man, like maybe an hour ago. That's it. Jeez. Well, that's interesting that you could have picked the other side and been like, all right, I guess we'll go with him. God. Did it have to end like that? It's the way of the desert. Well, what happens now? 
We live off the water the wound ekes out, rationing until it fills back up. And I'll make sure Arrowhand gets its fair share. Oof. Yeah, you'd better. The desert never forgets. And I won't either. How you've helped us, I mean. I give this to you now. For all you've done for this clan. Is it something good? Choose a desert commander. Oh, I got a Firestorm Warrior Bow. Ooh. Interesting. Let me take a look at it. Oh, it's a good warrior bow. Look at that. Very rare. Oh, it looks cool, too. Well, I mean, it do actually doesn't look that much different. Gifted by the Desert Clan's commander, the short-range bow fires quick elemental payloads. Can be upgraded to use shock arrows. Can be upgraded to use shock arrows and deal extra range damage after successful melee hit. Interesting. Fire, acid, and electricity. I'm cu I mean, I have the Tripcaster, <sighs> Spike Thrower, Bolt Blaster. That's my first purple weapon. Do I just start getting good with this? The thing is, what would I put in place of it? The Bolt Blaster, maybe? Because the Bolt Blaster can do electricity... Up acid when falling or sliding. Acid twelve percent. I don't get what it means can be upgraded to use shock arrows, because it looks as if it can already use shock arrows at this level one, you know? I'm not 100% sure. I guess I can check when I uh, go to equip it. But now, this is like my first like warrior bow, I think, usage. I think I maybe equipped one really quickly for like one of those hunting mission, hunting ground missions. Because like it was like, here's a thing to use basically to do this thing. Um... Yeah, it's already got a thing. Firestorm Warrior Bow. Shock Light Arrows. So as far as I understand, yeah, it's like a it's like a short range. I'm up in your grill and I'm going to disperse elements to you as an enemy, you know? This is what it seems like. Um all these dead people, I'm gonna take their shit. Uh <laughs> Because there's no reason not to at this point, you know? Now that they've moved on to the afterlife, I should make use of their goodies. Interesting. Um, the next mission we do, I mean, I would love to do Sea of the Sands. Seeds of the past. I mean, this isn't that far away, and we get to explore down here, you know? A soldier's march. That's like in a weird place is the thing. Blood for blood. That's not too far. We're probably actually going to do that. Drowned hopes. That's like that weird mission. Oh, shit. Wrong button. That's like that weird mission we got from the pair of dudes. The weird bickering couple, basically. I don't know what this is. Need to know. That's Talana. Second verse. That's the... Oh, don't. No, I didn't mean to do it that. What is this? What is this mission? 
Zoe seeks to heal Lutar's ailing mind. Bring him back. She needs Aelus help to do it. Go to the meeting place. So we're going to meet with her. Uh, I think the next mission we're going to do then is probably this since it's right next to here. And then that will start us going down here. Does that make sense? Um, Decca wants to find and convince her grandson. Oh, yeah. Decca from the one place. Okay. So that's going to be that. But uh, let me go to the restroom real quick. Give me like two minutes. Uh, and then I'm going to we're going to finish up this stream with probably like the manly pit. So I'll be right back. All right. I'm thinking probably end the stream with the melee pits, right? That one melee pit in the thing. It shouldn't be long. We can do that. Um, what's more of this? I mean, I have the... Now that I have a good warrior bow, I should probably take these... Like, pick these upgrades up. You know what I mean? Half moon slash... Hold, then release R1. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's actually pretty dope. In a quick burst. Oh, look at that. See? Warrior bow. Deal more damage with light and heavy attacks. Yep, I want that. I want to just deal more damage. This is all very good. Okay, did I collect everything here? Available? Not yet. Medicinal berries. Yeah, this is a weird old cauldron door. But I guess it's not active anymore. Oh, you can repel down. What is down here? Huh? What could possibly be down? Oh shit. Um. Interesting. This doesn't look as if I can easily get back up. Oh, I'm supposed to probably, oh fuck, I'm an idiot. Shit, I can't get back. I'm supposed to like s slide in on that thing. I fucked up. Oh, Cauldron Gemini. This was a... Well, I was not expecting this. Uh... <laughs> Is this a, like a full-blown cauldron situation? Oh, what happens if I fall into that? That's probably not good. <laughs> oh, we don't want to do that. Um, wow, this was unexpected. I didn't think there was going to be an actual. 
Must be an exit somewhere. This isn't activatable though, is it? No. Curious. I mean, it marked this as a cauldron, right? But it's like a defunct one, maybe? That's where I came from. So it's just like not, or is this where I came from? This is, that's where I came from. So yeah, is it just not active? And it's just like a weird. Like there's the curious part of me that's like, why would this be here then? <laughs> why would it be labeled? Huh. Nice valuables. Three gold. Oh, wait. No, two gold ingots. Oh. A door does not open. This is all very curious. My curiosity. Uh... I don't know what it would be. Curiosity. Oh. I don't think I'm supposed to go down there. Uh oh. That doesn't look good. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. That does not look good in there. I took a misstep. God, my life flashed before my eyes there. That was terrifying. I'm like, oh shit, I'm dead. That was scary. Somewhere. <laughs> oh boy. What is this? Oh, medicinal berries. It's like I feel like I probably shouldn't have come here. I probably shouldn't have come here. <laughs> Guys. Whoa, what? Made it. Oh. Long climb. What? That's it? It just fades to black and then goes, oh, you're out? That's really weird. That doesn't, what? That seemed bizarre. I don't know. I tried to do like a quick search. I think it might, I didn't want to like spoil myself or anything. It might be part of the thing that it might be a part of is like a main quest. So like I have to go to it during a quest thing to for it to actually be anything I can potentially fire like follow up on. Does that make sense? I want this dude's hammer. Grab the hammer. Fuck it. Get a cool hammer melee upgrade. I don't know. Do a fucking whatever. Alright. I want to go to the bulwark, right? To do the melee pit here, but there doesn't seem to be a Oh, it's because I didn't. Oops. Am I near a campfire? Yeah, there's one near here. So I can fast travel. Easily. Alright, we'll end the stream here tonight. With a good old fashioned. Uh... What is this? What was this area? I don't know what this was. <laughs> what settlement is that? Oh, can I fast travel to things other than campfires? 
I didn't know that. I'm cold enough for a snow. I'm coming, I'm coming. Is Look at your cave? stupid outfit. <laughs> it is. Sounds like you've been to one of the other clan's capitals. I'm Arayo. My brother Varak and I run this training pit. Who mm. watched you bring down the bulwark? Mm -hmm. Made our day to see our arrogant commander so furious. Yeah. Anyway, if you've been to another clan's training pit, then you must know the drill. Yep. Same rules apply here. Yep. You can train or take on a challenge. Only your no spirit training of practice needed. bow are allowed in the pit. Complete all of our challenges, and you can spar with us. And when I beat you, I'll earn a mark? If. <laughs> and, <laughs> yes. Please. A token of victory to present to the Enduring. Who is this Enduring, exactly? All I've heard is that they're the best trainer amongst the Tanakh. Earn three marks. <laughs> then you'll see. What's in tutorials? Is there any moves that I've learned that... Oh, there's a locked one. So just moves I haven't, like, unlocked. Oh, four... Four missions. Okay. A minute. Jump off and shoot. Quickly reposition yourself and gain the upper hand. Dodge an incoming attack. Jump off. And then shoot your opponent while in the air. Arrows deal extra damage when shot immediately after a jump off. I can do that. I have to dodge an attack, though. First. Oh, here we go. Ow, fuck. Hey, you can't win a battle if Got you're it. dead. And distance will keep you alive. Yep, I agree. This combination gets you out of trouble and punishes your enemy. Seek and strike. Jump over your first opponent. R1, push forward, R2. Land slam talk on your second opponent. Okay. Second opponent. Survival on Got the it. battlefield Easy. is down to tactics. Easy. Your best target isn't always the closest. So select your target and strike. Boy, that was a weird animation there. Wait. Why is it locked? You need to learn aerial slash jump off half moon slash and block breaker. <gasps> oh. oh no. Oh, the half moon. Oh, half moon. Dun 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 dun. That's upsetting. I need one more point. Oh, I should have unlocked it. Damn. But damn. Oh. How close am I to leveling up? I'm about like 5,500 points. Wait, why is this mission? highlighted <laughs> uh maybe i can quickly knock this mission out maybe or is that just wishful thinking I mean, really, I the absolute maximum that I can spend left on stream is like an hour and 15 minutes, about. Um, can I get, basically, the, the thing would be, can I finish this side mission, get the point, the skill point, unlock the thing, and then go finish that melee pit before I hit that limit. Oh, well. We'll we can play a little longer. Just means that I'll, I'll, have unlock, I'll have done this mission. I won't have to do it next time we play this, you know. Hmm. This will keep. Gotcha. Fucking pigs. Nice. A rare drop.
What's the percentage I'm at right now? 33.56. What did I start today at? Did I start at like 23%? I have no idea. Probably something along those lines. Oh, there's a car horn going off. Cool. I wonder how deep involved this mission will be. Aloy, the outpost I love her hair, the by way. the way. Are you ready? The rebels aren't going to give up without a fight. Then we'll have to give them one. Yeah. The bloodshed won't end until Regala is defeated. What matters is their prisoner Nakala. Maybe she knows where Kavo's squad went. Okay, let's head Oh, in. I have to do a whole thing. I have to find a, you know, solve or, you know... I have to like solve the. Or I keep saying solve. I need to rescue like a prisoner. I think gotta like then she'll tell us somewhere. Ah. Sucks. All right. Well, how many people are we thinking in here? Quite a bit, probably. Kill the rebels, as Alt says. Uh, yeah, they've got machines in there. Rebels. I need to get rid of their leader. Maybe then the rest will retreat. Yeah. Well, it is an outpost. So technically, maybe this will count as the point that I need, or it'll give me the EXP that I need at least. Does that make sense? Gonna take your valuables. Right from under your nose. Okay, do you have head armor? You do. Do you have head armor? Nice. Nice. sure what I'm supposed to do against this person. Can I override it while they're on it? Oh, fuck. Probably not my best. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Don't touch me. If it touches me while I'm in here, does I, do I get found out? Good or not perfect. Actually far from perfect, but good enough is the answer. Now here's the thing. If the master is off of it, can I override it then? You see what I'm saying? This is perfect. I love that how this is working out for me. That machine is just like, I have no idea what I'm doing now. I don't know how many people are in this place. They know I'm here. We oh fuck, there. there's a person right there. Ow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, big man. Oh, 
fuck. This is less than ideal. Where'd the guy go? Actually, can I? Fuck. Use this new warrior bow to really. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, this isn't ideal. Explode! Ooh, that was good, right? Oh shit! What's happening? That was the first time we saw that. Did we win yet? <laughs> you can stop there. Oh, the person still. Oh my god, this weapon. This weapon. Stop. She's still moving. More ammo for you. Fucking hell. Yeah, ammo's all well and good. I'm being shot at by lasers. That's all of them. Our scouts said they saw Nakala tied up at a wood post. Let's look around. A wood post? How do I get up there? I want to get up there because look at his goodie. He's got things. Oh, nice. Skyrim up that. Good valuables. He had, what is it, a rebel key? Rebel key. Well, we kind of took out this outpost. It wasn't, again, um, the best fights, but I didn't die. Got a little scary, but I didn't die. <laughs> Get another rock. We're very close to leveling up. So that's cool. There. That's the post. Where? Oh, no, Nakala, obviously. But maybe the rebels moved her. I can look for tracks. Where are you pointing? She just said there, and I'm like, where? Come, Aloy. Back to the task at hand. Don't tell me what to do. I'm I collecting shit. To find Nicola's tracks with my focus. I deserve to get all of the goodies that are here. The fire, this warrior th thing, elemental warrior bow thing, to just like set that guy on fire or the machine on fire and then have it blow up everyone. Clutch, honestly. Um, so very good. Very happy with results. Ooh, I want that. There's a lot of goodies here. Yes, 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 yes. Even if it's just things to sell with arrowheads. I imagine, I feel at one point there's going to be like late game. There's going to be something that costs like a million arrowheads. And you're just going to be like, oh no. I wish I would have collected all those arrowheads. You know? But then there will be me. And I'll be like, yeah, I collected those. Okay, I don't think I need that because that's just gonna be some shitty. Well, sweat, and I'm still not cooling off. What is that? There we go. 
reach up there. Oh, it's a weapon. It was a guy's weapon that I guess I could have picked up. But it was like the last person I had to kill, so it doesn't matter really. There. Tracks leading away from the post. Where do they go? There's a lot of car horns going on outside. Dead end. No. I think there's something under that wood. Uh, under the wood? Huh? Under the wood? Lift. Lift. Hey. Take my hand, Nicola. <laughs> it's like I'm just been hiding here. Steady now. <laughs> Where am I? Chaplin? Is that you? And with an outlander. Whoa. How'd you end up down there? <sighs> Rebels had me strung up. They thought I'd give up intel about lowland squad movements by letting me bake in the sun. Managed to slip my bonds and make a run for it. Slip your bonds. For that. Last thing I remember was a crack on the head and the taste of dirt. Ooh. How'd you end up here? We're looking for Cavo. His squad was last spotted leaving this outpost. Yeah, he was here. It was his squad that attacked us on the road. My comrades got away, but I was taken. You're not looking Cavo very great. To the post himself. Look like if you're, you're looking for him, Chaplain. I'm afraid you'll only find a dead end. His loyalties are clear. Do you know where his squad went? I overheard them mention Fall's Edge. Then we'll we'll pick the search up from there. I'll go ahead and meet you at Fall's Edge, southwest of here. Decca, if Cavo attacked her squad? No. He's not lost to us yet. We have to find him and turn him from this path. <sighs> okay. We'll see you there. She's like, fine, fine. What about God, you? You stubborn. That wound needs to be looked at. It'll scar. I just need to rest a bit. Then I'll report into the grove. I'm telling you, blood hair. The chaplain might not want to hear it, but her grandson is a traitor. I'll kill him. I guess we'll see about that. <laughs> Man, I am so close to leveling up. That's very upsetting. Find a use for the key. Since I'm here, can't I find a use for the key? And then get that should be like enough to level up, you'd think. Oh, I want to get up there. Ooh, baby. Helms do get up there. Bum, 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 bum. How do I get up? Like I want up there. Oh, there's a pole I can... Whoops. There we go. Now we're climbing. Or we were climbing. Nice. Hags from dead soldiers. Do go along these. Oh, I didn't get skill points for clearing out this thing. Oh. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. At all. What is that? Oh, wooden post? Okay. I mean, I could probably just clear, kill a couple robos, and then... And then it would be like, oh, good on me, I guess. 
Always good to have extra. This is gonna be these robots I kill. <laughs> Weak to electricity, you say? I can kill him. I mean, how much would I actually? How many of these would I actually have to kill? <laughs> Rabbit fire. Ooh. Actually, not where I was aiming. Yeah, you charge at me. See what happens, you idiot. Oh, he's not. I didn't think I was going to have to be fighting the bird things, so that kind of sucks for me. Oh god, I'm stuck on some rocks. This isn't ideal. Can I just kill things from here? Can I, like... Do they, they still know I'm up here, right? Oh my god, this thing is... This thing's accuracy is not great. This thing is not known for, uh... Ooh, fuck. That's fire. Oh! That does so much. Fuck, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Where's that cleanse potion I... I disregarded so long ago. Wow, it Still literally... Fight. It set me on fire and then ran away. I respect it. Um, the thing is, I still need to kill, like... These robos to, to get the level up I want. The level up I need. can't do with so many robots in one go. Like, that's when I'm gonna have a bad time, you know? Ow! Fuck. Shit. I don't know where else you can shoot this thing for as like a weak spot, you know? Once you've once you've hit its uh, 
sound thing. I'm like, I don't know where you want me to hit anymore. Hey, level 27, that's what I needed. Two skill points for killing it. Or for leveling up. Sunwing time too? You want a piece of this? I actually don't want to fight the Sunwings. The pair of Sunwings. If I start to fight one, it's going to be both are going to start coming after me. Hello. Oh, there was one right there too. Fuck. I'm running away. Fuck you guys. I don't need this. I literally just need to level up for the sun pit. Or for the sun pit. The uh, sun. Or <laughs> the pit. Melee pit. Oh my god, the birds. They're still coming. They still want to fight. Oh my god, there's three of them. Yeah, I knew there was three of them, but they're all aggravated. Aggravated, I mean. Aggravated. I can't even speak anymore. I've been streaming for 11 hours. I can't speak. They're mad. Dun, 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 dun. I can't fast travel when I'm in combat, can I? Maybe I can. Fuck it. Fuck it to heck. Yeah, fast travel. I do not care. I do not care about those sunbirds. <laughs> oh, I gotta unlock the mission the thing, don't I? Or unlock the ability. I'd imagine. We do not care. It's in the uh, this thing, and it is the what is it? Half moon slash, hash singing slasher. Close in on an enemy with a quick strike. So it's just hold the uh, R1. Heading into the pit. I set up something new since you were last year. It's great. Love it. Break your opponent's weapon guard. Follow up with a fast, punishing attack to close in. Then jump off them to reposition yourself and finish with a precise shot. Defeat your opponent with the following combos. Okay. I did this wrong. Great, too late it said. <laughs> it was like, you fucking idiot. Wrong input? What do you mean wrong input? No, no, no. Oh, I... Oh, that was wrong. I know that was wrong. Okay, what is this? Okay, so boom, boom, boom. Great. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Didn't want the game to do that. Oh, got it right at the last minute. Okay. So the Game half moon strike, you can combo into slash. the jump off thing. So that's where I was getting confused there. Cool. Put your melee skills while your Arayo focuses on speed. Varrock favors powerful attacks. The two brothers. Oh, I got to fight two people. Renowned for their tenacity, earning the nicknames Kestrel Slayer and the Bone White's Execution Executioner during the Red Raids. So killed it both of them in the time limit, I guess. Earn your and honor. Defense, attack. Cause this fight. I can go. Fight on, brother. I imagine if I can just now. Can I heal in here? I don't think I can. So that's unfortunate. That. Good 
combinations. I'll survive. The thing is, if I can kill one of them, it would make this uh, a lot easier. Oh god. Enough. No, damn it. Maybe next time. You maybe next time. Don't fucking maybe next time me. I'll fucking kill you. If I can kill the skinny brother first. Can still strike. You have to win your mark. Good combat. Thanks for. I like how he he lets you know, like, hey, good job. Fuck. Electricity, not fun to deal with. Ow. Good combination. Okay, I think I knocked one of them out. out of two. My Bring us your best. Excellent combination. You fight. This face, so fight. Wise. Where did she learn? Oh shit, don't die now. Whoa, what is this? Enough. What? Challenge is over. How is he allowed to do that? Maybe next time. What? Huh? What? You, what am I supposed to do when he picks me up? Uh, that seems unfair. Keep that blade moving. I call fucking shenanigans there. Enough. Oh my god. Challenge is over. Maybe next time. I have to beat this in 45 minutes. Shit. You need conviction. Yeah, I'll strike them both at the same time. Damn it, I can't hit his thing. Well, it's gone. Keep that blade moving. Keep that blade moving. You alright? I'm not done. It won't work. Where is your confidence? You'd be right to use range attacks on machines. If people try to blade. Half a victory is no practice. I don't like how they're both yelling at me. Is he like enraged? Is that what that means? Oh, you asshole! Maybe next time. Asshole! That sucks so bad. Make every attack count. A skill blade is a useless blade. God damn it. Are you hurt? Excellent combination. You have mastered the yeah. trail. Did you do that? You have Don't hit me with that. Good combination. Good combination. Good combination. Oh. My blade shall conquer. Not well. Arayo. Have courage. Master combining attacks. That blade moving. Excellent combination. Right. No. No. Maybe next time. Don't. No. Maybe next time me. 
Choose your moment. Fight on, brother. Oh. She has a Boom. Oh, the electricity is so stupid. Exposed at least. I mean, can I? I can't get up. Earn your mark. You've mastered. You have close to, to knocking them out. Where is your confidence? Try some close combat. Brother, there he's down. You are finished. Why? 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 <laughs> oh. Make a fire skill. You... I love how he can hit his own brother. Are you in? in the name you all right? I am not done. Not bad. If I get hit by the more nimble brother, it's not that big of a deal. It's it's these fucking hammer strikes that just do me in. Brother, could come back. The Outlander has shown us. You wanted this fight. Rock? Where did she? Good work. You need conviction. Stand and fight. Keep that move. You've mastered combined. Don't hit me with the hammer. Enough. That's so Challenge stupid. It's Maybe it's not that he's not even hitting me. It's that he's got the stupid el ranged electric thing that ripples around the ground. So I can't like Earn your honor. I can't Where dodge that. Great. Brother? Like the fact that they're both talking to me is good. Company. Really would love to hit it. Close in and use melee attacks. Stop yelling at me. He's swinging. This is your combat. A good use of evasion. Thanks. My blade hasn't fallen. My blade hasn't fallen. Hammer A sharp blade is the best teacher. I ought to just murder these people in their sleep. Ow. Keep that blade moving. Don't do it. You train to fight, so fight. You need conviction. Face me. Brother, keep that. That attack sucks. Ass. You're done. 
Good old one damages. A good use of evasion. Are you hurt? Nice attack. Good combination. Where did she learn that? Okay, he's enraged. Enough. Wow. Challenge is over. Oh. This is what I get for making fun of the melee pit earlier. I was like, oh, this thing is easy as shit. Enough! 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 Time. Enough! Fuck off, brothers! <laughs> Bring your blade, Outlander. Blade is a useless blade. The fact that both of them are jarring at you, even when you destroy one of them, they just keep going. They don't give a shit. They're like, we're. We will just constantly yap, yap, yap at you as you're trying this. Cool. Cool. Not bad. Fight. I got good combinations. Keep that blade moving. Oh, I'm keeping the blade moving. Let me tell you something. My blade do be moving. Good work. Defeat is one must take away. No more practice. Enough. <laughs> the challenge is over. Maybe next time. <laughs> Enough. Okay, that's some bullshit. The fact that I it, the fight immediately starts and then it's that. I'm using blade, okay. That's some bullshit. My blade hasn't fallen. You have to win your mark. You dodge well. My blade. Okay, he's doing his thing. I gotta make sure you I dodge this. Conviction. It's like a, use of a very Challenge wicked me. combo. Excellent combination. Bring us Not bad. I have 20 seconds. Enough. Uh, Challenge is over. Enough. Maybe next time. I'm going to just straight murder you man <laughs> I 
sharp blade is the best thing. Unfair. Concentration. Fight on, brother. Enough. The that was quick. Is over. Maybe next time. Make every attack run Ow. <laughs> Fucking hell. I could do anything. Okay, maybe I do need to beat the bigger guy first. Good combinations. Excellent combination. Good combination. Using the space. Wise. Not bad. Great. You have skill. Don't hit me in the back while I'm electrocuted. In your mark. That's some bullshit. Excellent work. Enough. Oh. Challenge is okay. Over. Okay. <laughs> I literally make a fight of it. Good old electric hit. Ow. I just got kicked. It's some big, just bullshit energy going on. Enough. Challenge is over. Enough. Bring your blade out, Have courage. You have what it takes. You wanted this fight. Invasion is protection. You hurt? Are you injured? Not bad. You have mastered the body. Ow. Good. No, don't kill me, please. I don't like how he's running after me. I'm dodging like a madman. Challenge me. Keep that blade moving. Go down. No, please don't kill me. Enough. That's no. Maybe next time. This sucks so much ass, dude. Earn your mark. Good Use hit. Your Good hit on me. You assholes. This is so stupid. It's probably because I'm on hard difficulty that this sucks as much as it does. Enough. I'm about to mute like the audio so that I can't Choose hear them complain. I have to. This guy is the one that's killing me, so I have to just go hard on him. That's not a good use. I got hit, you asshole. Don't give him any airspace. I'm just gonna go. Oh, look how close he was. If I could, maybe next time. If I could knock this guy out, then the second guy, the skinny guy, easiest shit. This reminds me of the Komodo Brothers from Crash Bandicoot for some reason. Great.
work. You teach her that? You trained to fight. So fight. Nice. I always said you were the weaker brother. There we go. There we go. Oh. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Are you injured? Skill, use it. Stand, fight, mass. Blood of the ten. We yield. Damn. Whoa. Damn, you're tough. I think Barack might have even cracked a smile. Here, burn this mark. Thanks. Two marks. One more to go. And then the enduring. Most never even get this far. Good luck getting your final mark. And let me know if you want to rematch another challenge or more training. You'll always be welcome here. Whew, buddy. All right. I shouldn't have talked shit about the, uh, the thing go. here. If you want to spar again, we'll be here. My goodness. It's the second mark. Sky Clan mark. Holy moly, dude. Um, what was the, this was the one, Deca at Falls Edge? Where's this? Oh, that's in there. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is this? Oh, God. Opening the arena. Opening the Let me see. The ballista in the arena was damaged during the cold route. Must be repaired before competitions can resume. Go to the roller back site, gather bristleback tusks. I see. So bristleback tusks, and then whatever this is. All right, that'll be the next thing we do. And then as we move along to basically go to Poseidon's coordinates, Easy, right? <laughs> Easy. Easy peasy, dude. Um, wow. Almost a 12-hour stream. Basically 11 and a half. Maybe 11 if you count out the time that I was, like, pausing, going to the restroom and eating and stuff. But basically an actual full day of streaming. Um, and it wasn't too bad, honestly. You know? We did a lot. I feel like we did a lot, right? Ending at 34.47 completion percentage. Um, story-wise, I mean, did we do good? I think we did somewhat good. Um, I'm going to be honest. I think with putting in 11 and a half hours, 11 hours or so, and only getting like this far into it, it feels as if, unless I just literally just stick to story now at this point, it feels like I'm not going to be able to just like, finish the game like i want to before um stranger paradise and like i said i'm not i'm not gonna put this game down to start stranger paradise i'd rather start stranger paradise before i or after i'm like completely done playing everything i want in this game so if we have to wait till if we don't play stranger paradise on like tuesday when the game like comes out early I think it comes officially out Friday, but if you pre-order, you can play on Tuesday or something weird like that. It's kind of stupid, but um, if that's the case and everything, maybe we just wait because I'd rather play through this game and get everything I want out of it before even touching Stranger Paradise. So maybe there's a chance, but I would say it's probably not likely unless like, here's the thing. Next time we play this game, it's either it's most likely going to be Monday, right? Because I'm off Monday, and I could see myself doing some more day stream of this. I don't know if I'm going to do 12 hours again, but um, tomorrow, Sunday, I'm not streaming until like late afternoon slash evening type is when we're going to start. And I would love tomorrow to be like finishing first uh, one shot, finishing whatever's left of that. Hopefully, finishing. And then spending that night playing Somnium Files and maybe finishing that at night 
or getting close to finishing that at least. And then Monday, probably playing this, right? That's kind of what I'm hoping. So that's kind of what the next two days are. And then, like I said, Stranger Paradise comes out Tuesday, apparently. Um, I don't see myself, like, literally getting everything I want out of this done. So, I mean, I'm not going to be too bummed. <laughs> just holding off on Stranger Paradise and then just going from there. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see come Monday when we play more of this for probably more time. We'll see what's left of this map and missions and such. Maybe Monday I put more of an emphasis on these main missions. Um, which wouldn't be the worst thing. And then we can kind of like do, you know, we can, I mean, this isn't too far. I, I said this earlier in this part, like Poseidon's coordinates, it's not that far from like farthest stretch of where we actually ended up getting to, right? Like, you can see, I did, I did things, um, and this is just going to be a thing, so, uh, I will, I did select this, what is it, did I pick? It's in here, the arena. I do kind of want to open the arena up, so that means I'll go, whatever this is, oh wait, unknown machine strike, unknown machine strike, is this the, going to be the, what is all this? Oh, no machine strike is this going to be the intermediate that i'm missing out on oh we got time to check this out right we have time to check this out dun, 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 dun. let's check i mean it doesn't hurt to fast travel here because huh. But yeah, that's basically it tomorrow is. Tomorrow is going to be hopefully finishing one shot and then Somnium Files the rest of the night. Maybe we finish Somnium Files and one shot in one go. I don't know. I can't, can't guarantee it. Is this them? Is this how it looks rebuilt? Enjoy your time in our settlement. The Maw of the Arena? What is... Is this area... So it's slightly different than the Memorial Grove. You honor the Tanakh. What is that exclamation point? Talk to Nako. I guess I just haven't even been here, really. Oh, I thought the game went to that fade to black crash type thing. Pyre Hunter Bow. I don't think I need any of that. Visions of the ten are the new strongest of the outlanders. Are you intermediate? No, you're an expert. Fuck off. Gotta be aware. But you should know that I got some new pieces. Wait, there's a. What is this, Prize Master? What is this area? <laughs> what are you guys? Oh, there's a lot of things to read and such? Oh man, I really got into this, didn't I? Oh boy. I really done it now. I was supposed to be ending the stream. Oh no, okay. Um, here we go. The arena. Um, Fashoff says, Every time I set foot here in the arena, I've taken back to my own cow route. At the time, I couldn't be sure why Hikaru allowed me to partake in the trial. I hoped that the chief would have was obliged to let me enter, but instead he seemed merely intrigued. I won't lie, I enjoyed the obvious frustration of the other contestants. Highborn through, though I may be, I know how to kill. One desert to knock couldn't contain his discontent. As I stood bloodstained over a prone machine, about to kill it, he blindsided me, spearing both its head and my cap. The crowd cheered. Me, not so much. Smug as he was, he even turned around to take in the ovation. I used the moment to break the spear to free myself. He did not take kindly to that, nor to the fact that I used half his weapon to impale his foot. 
I was ready to leave it to the, at that, but he wanted to continue the brawl. He didn't notice that all machines had been destroyed. It was just us. The onlookers, onlookers yelled angrily when the bout started leaning my way. Other contestants closed in on me, but a car's voice boomed through the arena. Leave them. He who draws first must face the consequences. A long minute passed as he wrestled without rules or grace. With one, the very last of my strength, I snapped his neck. The whole place felt silent. Then a car walked up to the edge of the arena and spoke. We fight shoulder to shoulder. We do not stab our fellow soldiers in the back. We must look our enemies in the eye as one. It took me a while before I realized he was talking about the division between the clans. Even so, I'll never forget how he gave me, an enemy general, a fair chance. It is why I served him wholeheartedly. And now Chief Akaro has given me leave to return to Sundom. The embassy is only days away. From then on, I'll do everything in my power to broker lasting peace for our people. Akaro. Uh, this has been the grandest of adventures. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, my friend. There was like another thing that I missed reading or something, I feel like. I was like walking around and I was just intrigued by all the things. I think I was actually intrigued by the fucking, maybe the the last strike person. I was like, oh, is that... Oh, here it was. Yep. Ah. From Raul Bishop to Micah Kadori. Um, Micah, you'd better hear this from me. Remember Sonia Bu Bu Buena Vida, the aide to Senor Maria Medina? <laughs> she just did an interview going on about how you are unfit to leave the museum due to a confirmed bias toward government history. She's accusing us of erasing Roberto Medina's legacy by substituting his heroic efforts to curb the government's reliance on machine power with a both sides narrative that deflects from the real issues of federal overreach. I know Buena Vida is a hothead, so I'm not sh uh, surprised by her wording, but we should be concerned. As an aide to Maria Medina, she could probably sway her to abandon support of the museum. And you know how, as well as I do how fragile Senate support is at this moment. Losing a vote is one thing, but we can't afford to lose Roberto Medina's daughter. Symbolism alone would shatter our hopes of future funding. Please advise on our PR, stra PR strategy. Maria Medina's visit is due in two weeks. The timing couldn't be worse for us. Raul. Okay. I really do need to end. So I won't even talk to this person with the exclamation above their head. I really do need to end unless I find one of these things again. What is this? Sonia. Glad we could talk just now. I know we have our differences, but I feel we share a common interest in keeping memories of the hot zone crisis alive. The museum is a living thing with exhibits being discussed all the time. In the future, whenever you have suggestions, I'll be happy to discuss them before you commit to interviews. I hereby confirm in writing we have reached the following agreements regarding Senator Maria Medina's visit. One, the museum route will be altered to accommodate the Senator's wishes. USRC displays in rooms two and four will be temporarily switched out. My team will update you on the precise items we'll show, but rare earth history will be the main focus. I can confirm we will have Roberto Medina's combat uniform, Desert Camo one, in-house on time. It will be prominently displayed in the main hall, along with the artifacts Mrs. Medina bestowed on the museum back in May. Two photo ops design, uh, designated press zones include the main hall front rooms 4 and 5, excluding 5.2, and a crater memorial. Kindly ask the center to walk outside no later than 7 30 p.m outside conditions will be suboptimal after that heavy dust and low sunlight will ruin the pics three your office will run the press list if you could confirm your retraction of earlier statements to the press we're good to go yours micah kadori executive director do you have anything good what is this thing on the head karja shadow may be interesting Fight well and return. okay where's the i i can't i we gotta end i must end we'll come back to here where's the where's the fire where's the campfire where can i save <laughs> where where can i save and get the hell out of here this isn't a fire this is my stash That's a workbench. That's also not a campfire. Is it out here? That spear is 
a weapon of real strength. Oh, there's a fire. There it is. Okay. We'll explore more in there next time we play this. I need to save badly because we're about to hit that 12 hour mark. Jesus. Nope, not fast travel. Wrong button. Nope, not crouch. Manual save. Go. <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. Oh, it's been a long day. Okay. There we go. Manual save. Officially at what? 34.47. Great. Um, all right. So like I said, tomorrow won't start stream until about like late afternoon to evening time. Hopefully finishing one shot. Hopefully fin maybe finishing AI Somnium Files tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know how much is left in that game. And then we probably will pick this back up on Monday. So that's the stream. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday night or what's left of it. And uh, yeah, I'll be back uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow later-ish. Later -ish. Definitely not early start.